Pow! And welcome back to another episode of Legends and Liquor. But it's not just another episode. As you can see by the title right there. It is our three year celebration. You know I love to celebrate the milestones on this channel. As they should be celebrated. And today is no exception. As it is three full years of legends and liquor this started as an idea when i was streaming with brandon he thought it was a terrible idea but i was like no we need a place where we can just hang out and talk toys and legends and liquor was created for you guys the people supporting this channel what can i say this show wouldn't exist if people weren't supporting the channel it's as simple as that you guys allow me to do what i do i'll try and create a safe fun place for collectors to have any opinions they want. It's fair game. It's just a nice opportunity to share this hobby. I always say that collecting is a much more fun hobby when you've got good like-minded people, passionate people to share it with. And I hope Legends and Liquor gives you a taste of that, a glimpse of that. And we have been constantly adding new faces to the regular lineup for the last three years. We're always adding new people. Of course, we've got our regulars and we love our regulars, but we're constantly adding new people, trying to expand the community. As I say, if you are supporting me, I will give you all the time in the world and get you on the channel just as much. So thank you. Thank you very much. Today is a celebration. Usually we do Legend of Liquor on the weekend, on a Sunday, but it's just been one of those months people scheduling has been a bloody nightmare. So I couldn't do it this weekend. So I didn't want to miss it because April is our anniversary. In I think it was Easter 2021 we started doing this. So I definitely wanted to make sure I got the uh, anniversary episode in. And today's that day, Friday. So uh, Amanda's in the other room, probably already annoyed that she didn't leave the house this evening because I'm very loud. But I had to do it, people. I had to do it. So it's one of those special occasion episodes. You can see it's a celebration. Again, as a little bit of fun, as a little bit of a gimmick. What have I got down here? The super chat shots. I have a Sentinel bartender. True story. Let's have a look over here. So uh, the Sentinel bartender has prepared me some beverages. Uh, thank you very much. And I've got the, the, the crazy vodka down at the back as well, the school vodka. But uh, thank you very much to the Sentinel bartender for uh, getting my drinks prepared. So I have a few options this evening. So if you uh, want to see me torture uh, myself or just uh, gradually decline uh, my speech throughout the, the show, because <laughs> you know these shows like to go long, uh, please contribute. Uh, let's get into it first and foremost. For the 75th episode, people, Ledgers and Liquor is just a gimmick. You don't actually have to drink alcohol. Just bring your favourite drink and let's talk toys, collectibles and whatever you want. It's, of course, part of the network here on the channel, Dan Who Live, every single Thursday with me and Rich or whatever the day of the week we decide to do it. Depending on the Marvel Legend news, uh, we are there recapping the week that was in Marvel Legends. Legends and Liquor, of course, is today the fortnightly show, bi-weekly show, where I invite people supporting the channel. My channel members on to just talk toys and i say channel members but we're all friends at this point i know it's cheesy i know it's cheesy but it's the occasion we can do it uh, and of course if you want to contribute anything over four pounds or four dollars friday would usually read out your super chat but because today's one of those days where it's super chat shots Friday's not going to speak unless you're contributing for the Super Chat shots. And I think I've also changed the sound effect, but I don't even know if any of that works. We will find out the hard way. Uh, so if you want to hear Friday at some point this evening, you've got to do it that way, okay? Uh, and I will also let you choose what shot I take. But uh, no one, I'm not taking the, the crazy vodka shot unless it's a big Super Chat, all right? A generous one. Uh, but again, it's just a way to uh, help contribute to the channel here, all right? I appreciate the support ever so much. Let me jump into the chat and see who's actually here. So I'm rolling on my own for the first like 10, 15 minutes. And the way I'm going to do this is just, usually we do groups, don't we? But it's one of those days where I am streaming at an odd time for both UK and US, as it's probably too late on a Friday for our UK friend. friend and then in the US, people are still at work or finishing work. So uh, people usually have plans on a Friday as well. What can I say? So it's one of those where I apologize for the awkward time. But if you can make it, I appreciate you. Of course, we're going to recap the Marvel Legend news. Of course, we're going to talk about pickups. But today's topic... I want it to be, what has been your favourite pickup? The best action figure, if you will, of 2024. 
so far. Now we're already a quarter into the year. We're in quarter two right now. So there's only been a slice of the year so far, but it's still fun to have these conversations, see what the benchmark is going to be for the rest of the year, see who is setting the bar for those top 10 lists at the end of the year. So today's question for every single guest is going to be, what is your favorite or what is the best in your perspective, in your collection? And again, it's your favorite. Don't feel like, don't, don't pander to the audience here. I right? don't try and pick you the most articulated paint worthy figure. See, is Friday working? I don't even know. Andrew, he says, testing the new Super Chat shout sounds. I don't think it will work unless it's over 14. It's got to be 14, my friend. But I appreciate your Super Chat. I appreciate that ever so much. Uh, I'm going to hit the like on that. Thank you so much. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I heard anything myself either. But, uh, yeah, so don't pander to the chat, all right? What is your favorite purchase for your reasons? That's what makes this show unique. Everyone has their own collecting preferences, their own favorites, their own habits, and etc., etc. So... What is your favorite action figure of 2024 so far? Try and make sure it's a release that happened this year. That would make it more on theme. As I know, always people like to always sneak in. They like to sneak in stuff, don't they? Oh, okay. Okay, Christopher Allen. Now, this is a test right here. Christopher. Uh, Rich M's favorite, by the way. There's no secret. He's one of my favorites as well. There's, there's no denying it. Christopher Allen, thank you so much. Dropping in. Let's, uh, let's make these super chat shots work. Yes, we, let's try. Let me put the headphones on. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't even. I can't even remember what the sound effect is. I think it's just some voice. Um, but uh, let's do it. First shot. Let's wake me up. Let's get me started. I have got my Koppelberg. Still waiting for that sponsorship. They could have had 75 episodes, three years of sponsorship by now, but they just don't want to do it to me. So it's their loss. Their loss. But uh, the legends are behind me. And this is the liquor. And uh, my Sentinel bartender will help me out with a beverage in a second but uh thank you very much to uh, both andrew and christopher allen i'm just i'm just gonna linger for a minute christopher i'm just gonna make sure friday is working for me as i said i'm i'm, I'm still i'm still testing let me scroll up for a second let me say hello to some people uh who did we have in early so we had a california red devil in nice and early mark tack tack pixels and plastic big m damien uh eric uh calls cave who i think call is in I think he's in Spain, if I remember correctly. He's got like a villa in Spain. Uh, we've got Paul McCarthy as well. He says, hello, all. Legend of Lick on a Friday night. This is why I hate working in retail. Uh, going to stick around for as long as possible. Uh, well, it's always, the replay is always there, my friend. Again, I know it's an awkward time. I apologize. But the replay is there if anyone wants to join in with the nonsense. Uh, we are racing ducks as well. It's the standard Legend of Liquor show. need another drink. Oh, there you go. She, she Christopher did... Allen donated $19.99. Let's make Suriri these super chat shots work. There you go. There you go. I heard I heard a voice. So it must have been... Did you hear that as well? Did you hear it? Uh, did anyone hear what it said? I can't remember what it said, so let me know. Uh, Christopher Allen, thank you so much. I'm going to go for some uh, cherry rum. Cherry rum to start off the easing. All right, cherry rum. Uh, shout out Andrew Clark in the chat. I'm drinking cherry rum on YouTube, Andrew. That's how crazy, crazy it can be. Wild, wild Friday night. <laughs> uh, okay, cheers to you, Christopher Allen. There's my uh, little skull thing. Right, here we go. Okay, first super chat shot of the night. Cherry rum. Wash that down with some Koppelberg. Ah, ah, okay. Thank you very much. Right, who else? I was shouting out names, weren't I? Uh, who else we got? We got Super Turk, Jared, One Six Shooter, Trevor, Marvel Fan RP, Mike Hex, Daniel S, Jason Lopez, the Retweeting King, Disenvowed, uh, Derek, uh, Jay's Toy Collection UK. Happy birthday to Jay, by the way. He's going to be on the show later, so I'm sure I'll get somebody to sing happy birthday to him. Uh, but yes, it is Jay's birthday today, so please send your birthday wow wishes to Jay in the chat and uh, subscribe to him on. Insta YouTube as well. I think that would be a great birthday present if you haven't already, but I'm assuming everybody in the chat has already subscribed to Jay. Good stuff. Uh, right. <clears throat> Let me keep scrolling. So thank you very much, Christopher Allen, for that super chat. Uh, who else we got? We've got Andrew, uh, who is the real legend so far this, this month with the most super chats. Thank you very much, Andrew. I appreciate that. Uh, and then Christopher Allen today. I need to move that over, don't I, a little bit. Let's see if I can uh, edit my stream live here. I'm very, uh, move Christopher Allen over so he fits in the box. There we go. He fits in the box now, all right? There you go. Look at that. Live YouTube editing. 
I said, I'm still sticking to Streamlabs. Every other YouTuber's went the easy option with Streamyards. All right, I'm sticking with Streamlabs. All right, from the get of three years of Streamlabs, I never ever went to Streamyard. Uh, no disrespect to anyone who uses Streamyard, of course, but you know me, I'm sticking to my guns. Uh, who else we got? Asherholic says, shot, shot, shots, loving the new angel. Thank you very much, Asherholic. Yes, that new angel is very, very good. Uh, Figure Cave Collectible says, rum's not bad either. Um, yeah, rum's not bad at all. Cherry rum. I did have, like, Malibu downstairs, but I thought you guys would take the piss out of me, even though I'd never claim to be, like, one of those manly drinkers. I don't drink whiskey uh, or brandy or anything like that. Like, I'd rather a fancy cocktail, to be completely honest. But I will drink... If I'm drinking to drink, you know, I drink spirits, but I do like, I do like rum, rum with a lot of, you do uh, need another lot drink. of mixers. Thank you very much, Asherholic, much appreciated. There you go, some birthday wow wishes for Jay in the chat as well. So, okay, what am I doing? I just wanted to just real quick um, bring up Legend of Liquor here. So there's the YouTube channel, you may have heard of it, Dan Who Reviews. Apparently he's a great guy, great guy. Uh, he's got a new review on the channel right now. It is, of course, Superior... Iron Man, uh, thank you very much to Rich for sourcing this one nice and early from the Zabu Builder Figure Wave. Uh, the only one we have so far, but we are on the lookout for the rest. So I've already got messages telling me to review cable. I don't have cable yet. This is the only one I have. Live tab, so you can see that we're live right now. The three-year celebration, best action figures of 2024. Let me just show you the podcast tab. Now, I tell you every week that all my shows are broken down into podcasts. And I've now made the Dan Who Extra Show its own podcast. And I've made last week's episode back to channel members only. So last week's Extra Show, by the way, got over a thousand views. So it just shows you that people are willing to watch the extra content, but not everybody is a channel member, so can't do it on a weekly basis. But I appreciate every single person who is a channel member. So look, Legend of Liquor has 77 episodes. Today's episode 75, so I can only assume that a couple of times I had to break down a stream because we had a stream crash or something like that. But uh, technically, this is episode 75. So it just and, uh, shows you that people... Oh, there's me live. Let's pause that. It's not very good. Inception. Um, but yeah, there's all the... You can go back and watch these podcasts, playlists, whatever, whatever. You can listen to them in audio form as well if you have the podcast or the YouTube app. So never an excuse to miss out uh, on the replay crew. Uh, 75 episodes. And remember, Legend of Liquor is every two weeks as well. So every two weeks, people look at coming on, talking about their recent pickups, etc., etc. Uh, and today is episode 75, our three-year celebration. Should we scroll down to episode one for a second? Episode one... So there it is, right there. Episode one, Legends and Liquor. Happy Easter pilot episodes. I think, shout out to Rich, Brandon, and Mr. Hill Phones himself. They all joined me, and then we had some of the regulars starting to join. I think Cloud was on the first episode. Uh, Jamie, of course, was on the first episode. Tanner was on the first episode. Uh, so shout out people who have been there for the whole three years. All three years. Crazy. Um, do you remember what was the first episode you joined Legend of Liquor on? Do you actually remember the number? I'd be you interested need to know. Drink. Oh. California oh. Red Devil donated Thank $15. You, Best legend so far is Patch and Fix It. What's a Coventry? We're playing on Sunday. They'll probably beat us. Drink Matha E F F F F E E E R R R R R R R R. Thank you, Friday. And thank you very much, California. That is very true. So I'm from Coventry. If you're not if you're not if you're not from England, you probably don't know what Coventry is. Coventry is just a city within England. It's near Birmingham, no, about two hours away from London. That's where I live, okay? So I don't, people think I live in London. I live in Coventry, all right? So uh, I've, I support Chelsea, always have. But of course, I follow my hometown team as well. Um, I went to the playoffs at Wembley last year when we lost to Luton. You do need another league. drink. Uh, thank you very much, Mikey Moonboots. So uh, I've already been to Wembley. I was going to go Wembley this Sunday, but I didn't want to be a curse. I felt like it was my fault we lost to Luton and never made it to the Premiership. So I just thought this time round I won't go. But yes, Coventry City, uh, the lowest ranking team left in the FA Cup and they play Man U on Sunday. Should be a fun game. Uh, Man U, you know, they're beatable. They are beat. I'm just saying, Cal you know as well, California Red Devil, you know, all right, you know. They are beatable. It'll be a fun game. But yes, Coventry versus Man U on Sunday. Oh, I see. Mikey Moonboots has done the two super chats. So combined, combined, it will be enough for shots. That's two shots I'm owed right now. Okay, let me uh, let me hit that. So let me take two shots. Then I'll do my pickups. Uh, and then I'll get some people in here, all right? So again, it's a freestyle show today, all right? So no groups. If you want to be on, 
I will send you the link. Simple as that. And we'll see how many people we can get on. If you can wait until a little bit later, that's great. Uh, but if you really must come on right now, that's fine. I'll get you one now. But I'm appreciating all this super chat love. Uh, again, that's what it's all about. If you guys are keeping me on YouTube uh, and these anniversary streams are all about doing exactly that. Like, uh, let me, uh, where's the thing gone? There you go. Look at that. Look at you guys showing some love. So thank you so much to the people already throwing in the super chats, celebrating with me today for the three year anniversary of Legend of Licker. And if you watch Legend of Licker every single week, and I know people do because we get more watches on the replay than we do live, uh, please let me know you in the do comments. Need another just, drink. just let me know. Just say you're still watching. All right, I appreciate that. Uh, if you're on the replay crew, just say happy anniversary or happy birthday in the comments. And then I will know that you came and watched the replay at least, all right? Because I know there's people watching. So comment, let me know you are watching, then I'll remember your name. Or more importantly, become a channel member and come on the show. Um, right, let's go back. Let me, I owe shots, right? I'll go for a Di Serrano. Let's go for something smooth. All right, Di Serrano, yes, fair game, all right? Uh, okay, Di Serrano. Okay, straight from the bottle, people. Oh, it's still got a bit of rum in there. Ooh, rum and Di Serrano. Okay, that's all right. That's smooth. What should I have now? Ah, uh, um, you do need another. I've never drink. usually shot these just for fun, by the way. Like it's all for the YouTube gimmick. But remember, drink responsibly. This is just a bit of fun. I don't expect anyone to play along. I'm gonna go for uh, citrus now. I've got two flavors: citrus and uh, mango. Absolute vodka. Uh, <laughs> I've got like you the residue of drink. other drinks in here now. <laughs> RP donated RP. fifteen dollars. A big what's up from M Iniesta. Let's get Dan drunk tonight while talking toys. Ah. No nipples tonight. Ooh, the new Jim Lee Sabretooth is the best of 2024 so far, hands down. RP, thank you so much. He says, uh, a big what's up from Indonesia. Let's get Dan drunk tonight while watching <laughs> while talking toys. No nipples tonight. The new Jim Lee Sabretooth is the best of 2024 so far, hands down. I haven't actually opened that one yet. I haven't actually opened that one yet because uh, it was the last of my reviews. But uh, other things have jumped in front. But I am looking forward to opening it. Thank you very much, RP. Also, I can see Michael Davis there of the Super Chat. Michael Davis says, congrats on three years of the best YouTube show out there. Thanks, Dan. And happy birthday, Jay. That is very kind of uh, you, Michael. Thank you. Uh, I, I do pride myself on being one of the best YouTube community shows on YouTube. Like Again, like I feel like there's a lot of great podcasts or live streams out there within the toy community something for everybody all right something for everybody uh i'm, I'm not one of those I'm naive I'm people I'm who thinks that everyone's gonna like me some people ain't gonna like me just because of my voice and that's fine i get it not everyone's gonna like this channel but the people that do i appreciate and uh yeah i do feel like i try and make everyone feel welcome i'm consistently here always adding new faces uh giving everyone their moment to speak regardless of their opinion uh, no matter what Rush says, he's still here, all right? Shout out Rush. I'm sure we're watching the replay. Because people can say what they want, all right? It's to a certain extent, all right? Like, but you know what I mean. I'm fair game. Um, right. Cheers. Okay. Damien says, three years. Three cheers. Well done. 2024 Graviton rules. Uh, thank you very much, Damien. Uh, three cheers. Hooray. Hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip. Hooray. You do need another drink. Thank you very much. Uh, Pixels and Plastic says, Me and Queen V are watching, Dan. Uh, move, uh, one move and out, W. Uh, one move and out, W. I'm confused. Um, but hello, Big Will and Queen V. Hello, how are you doing? Uh, thank you for spending your Friday night with me. Uh, Stu as well, Figures and Vinyl says, Congratulations, Dan, on the three-year anniversary. Thank you very much, Stu. I'm sure you'll probably catch the rest of this on the replay. Uh, he's a Man City fan, so he's not... He's not in the best of moods after the Real Madrid situation. Uh, they were the only UK team left in the Champions League, so I sort of wanted them to win the shootout, to be honest. Uh, but the old Chelsea player let you down, didn't he? He missed. Um, but shout out, Big, uh, shout out Big Will and shout out uh, Stu as well, Figures and Vinyl. Appreciate your channel membership. Uh, right. I've got drinks all on the table now as well. This is going to be this is going to be a mess. But I've probably just seen the glimpse of my pile, all right? So if you want to be in the first group, okay? So if you can wait until a little bit later, if you can wait for like an hour or so, 
please hold back if you can, if you can. But if you if you're just eager to jump on now and you're like, I can't, I have to be on right now. Otherwise, I'm going to go to sleep or I'm going to be too busy. Like if it needs to be right now, then get on, get on now. All right, start hitting me up with those fresh DMs and I will send you the link. All right, uh, so send me a fresh DM if you want to be on right now. Uh, let me just go through some pickups. Uh, shout out Mike uh, and uh, I'll get you on. All right, so if, as I said, shout out Mike. Mike Heck sent me a massive parcel from the US and uh, finally. I now have my hands on the Punk Turtles, one of my most anticipated sets of the whole year. Since the Toon line came out, this was a variant of the Turtles that I wanted. And now they are here, the Punk Turtles. Tempted to buy another set, but it's been an expensive month. I'll show you why. Uh, but the Punk Turtles are here. Very happy about that. Uh, continuing the Turtle love. Uh, I am going to get all the Pizza Club. But I had to start off with the best turtle. That's right. My favorite turtle, at least. It is Donatello. Pizza Club Donny. Uh, very nice. Looks good. Uh, I want to get the whole squad. But they are yet to go up on Hall of Fun. And AliExpress is not doing them individually, annoyingly. Uh, I know Damien was asking me about Mikey. Hit up Mike Hex. Mike Hex won't be able to help you out. I know he managed to track himself down to Mikey. Uh, but uh, yeah, mate, they still haven't went up on Hall of Fun. Uh, but quick look at Hall of Fun real quick. Um, what's going on here? Hall of Fun. So yeah, Hall of Fun week one and two is happening now. So week one was the Punk Turtles, as you can see, but they are sold out. Sold out now in Hall of Fun. Uh, oh, Cheeky Monkey Kiara says, happy three years, Dan. Great to finally meet Amanda. Thank you very much, Cheeky Monkey. Um, I will pass on the message to Amanda. To say, saying that, I'm talking so loud, she can probably hear me. You, you know, you've been to my house. You know how close this room is to my bedroom. So, uh, Amanda, Kiara says, it was nice to meet you. Um, but uh, thank you very much for the channel membership. So, uh, oh, how come it says sold out, but then I can add to cart? That's odd, isn't it? It says sold out, but then I can... Add to cut. Oh, okay. Now it says. Now it says I can't. All right. Fair enough. Uh, and week two was today. And I didn't think anything would sell out, you know. But uh, Bebop and Rocksteady, the re-release, which I'm tempted to get because they are different. Only a little bit, though. Uh, they are also sold out. And then the Turtle Toon 2 pack of Space, Donny, and Samurai Mikey, I didn't go for because I didn't think it would sell out. And it sold out. Uh, so <laughs> foolish me. But uh, yes, so Hall of Fun's a bit weird. I'll tell you what I did do. Uh, I, 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 sh I don't know why I did this because you the thing need terrified drink. me. Uh, where is it? The finally, that Saw Ultimate figure. We've talked about it on Legend of Liquor before. Like, we didn't know what it was. Uh, Derek, thank you very much for the super chat. Best legend so far is Angel and Sabretooth. That's another one for Sabretooth and another one for Angel. Both of them have been mentioned already today. Thank you very much. Um... Let me go back to my live chat. So uh, yeah, I I went in on this uh, this ultimate of the of of Jigsaw. Um, Amanda's not going to be happy about it, but I, I, as much as the film freaks me out, like it genuinely does freak me out because let's be honest, Saw isn't about witches and wizards. It's about someone who's just got an engineering degree and a sick mind. So yeah, I'm I'm that's going to be on my shelf. Uh, and when Amanda likes flick switches and my, my screen goes on and off, which isn't her fault, but that's what happens. Um, so there's that. And it also comes with a little tiny Billy puppet. So I, I, I don't know. I just got it. I got it. It's going to freak me out. I've only got a few horror stuff, but uh, that's the Hall of Fun stuff anyway. Um, so Mike X also got me the whole set. All four of the 2023 Turtles, uh, 2003 Turtles. Um all set, the whole set of re-releases. Now, I never watched this. I'm not going to lie. Like By the time 2003 came around, I was in secondary school. Thought I was too cool for the Turtles. And also, I didn't like that they changed them and the tune wasn't continuing. So, I did ignore it for a while. But I know people really do have the same love for this as I do for the 80s version. So, uh, I, I do like these figures, to be fair. So, I've got them. Um, also... My favourite Netflix show is Stranger Things. And obviously, you know I love the Turtles. So Mike Hex has helped me finish that set of Turtles and Stranger Things. Uh, will I ever open these? I honestly don't know. But I just think the packaging is cool with the upside down. And you've got the Stranger Things. Uh, you've got Dustin and also, who's in this one? Michelangelo. Uh, and then here you've got Lewis uh, and Donatello. Uh, and again, so there's four sets. So I've got these two. Uh, and also... 
the two that were available in the UK on Amazon, quite cheap as well. These were like £13 on Amazon, which made me spend the extra money to get the other ones because I felt like it rounded itself out. But we got Hopper and Raphael, uh, and then also Eleven and Leonardo. So now I've got all four. I feel like I've got a complete set. Uh, got all the turtles, but we didn't get Mike. We didn't get Will. So will they ever finish that line? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not, because if they were... We would know by now. But shout out, Mike, for helping me finish that set. Uh, just glad to complete. I like to complete collections, right? When I've started something, I like to finish it off. Um, what else have I got? Let me put this back. I'm making an absolute mess. I'm trying to be organised. I'm here for a while. Uh, this arrived from Pulse today. Uh, this is the uh, Cobra Hiss, Techno Viper, and HMS. So this is packaged in the same way as the Hiss tank. Uh, now I need to move my Hiss tank because there's no way this is going to fit where I currently have it. So yeah, this is the big, massive missile system, uh, which I look forward to opening, but it's going to have to clear. I'm going to have to clear some space. So I think the UK got this before the Americans, but the Americans did get the vamp for Fora. So fair, all is, all is fair. Um, so yeah, we still don't have the vamp, but this has arrived and I think you guys get this this coming week But yeah, the HMS and the Techno Viper. Talking of Techno Vipers I got a couple, but the purple ones, so I got a couple of Techno Vipers. It's an army builder You need at least two, at least two. That's the golden rule uh, But in regards to Joe's, I got uh, Quick Kick And then the retros that we have been wanting. This is, this is like this is what G.I. Joe should have been from the get-go. This is what six-inch G.I. Joe's should have been from 2019. We've got Duke and Scarlet here on the retro cards in their classic looks. Pinless, uh, lots of accessories. These look beautiful. This is the version of Duke and Scarlet that we have wanted. Like The ones we've had are okay, but they represent a more updated sort of modern take on the characters. Where these are a little bit more of a callback, a tribute to their original looks. These are going to be my main Duke and Scarlet under display. These look beautiful. I will get a second set to keep on card, uh, but that might have to wait. Uh, and then also Rakondo as well. But we already have Rakondo in his Tiger Force stuff. Uh, so there is that. Um, so, yeah, uh, I did get other stuff as well. Uh, He-Man, I've already showed you, didn't I? So I got He-Man and I got Skeletor. But why am I getting these? Why am I bothering with He-Man? Well, you know I like a turtle crossover. Uh, and Mike also helped me track these down. So uh, I've got Leonardo and Donatello from the Masters of the Universe line. And it was these being released that made me go back and get at least He-Man and Skeletor to go in that collection. So I now have a tiny little He-Man section, which I'll put somewhere with there. Uh, and you know I already got Battle Cat for an absolute bargain at Toy Fair and Panther as well. So tiny little He-Man collection now, but only for the turtle, like just a little turtle realm on the shelf. Um, so yeah, shout out Mike. I will need to get Raph and Mikey, uh, but I don't think they're readily available yet. I know I know Raph is out there somewhere, but uh, yeah, all my headphones came out. That's not good. Uh, okay, let me go to my Instagram and see what's going on. So that's me rambling. There's my pickups. Uh, what have we got? We got uh, RJ in the chat. It says, hello, Dan from St. John's University in Queens. Uh, so far, Angel is the best release, but that Iron Fist and Luke Cage set has me hyped. Uh, you are not wrong. Thank you very much, RJ, for the super chat. And uh, shout out to Queen. You do need another um, drink. There it is. Um, Luke Cage and Iron Fist goes up for pre-order next week, according to Dan Yoon. So Dan Yoon has said that uh, those two go up for pre-order next week. So next week we should get a pre-order for Carnage, the retro-carded Carnage. Uh, and we also should get a pre-order for Luke Cage and Iron Fist as well. So yeah, keep an eye on socials. And I'm sure Dan will keep us updated on that. Um, let me get this uh, link out to the people. How many messages do you reckon I've got? Um, okay, there we go. Links are being sent out. We're going to prioritise the UK guys just for a second. Um, okay, should I just get every? Should I just let everybody in? It might just get a bit messy, but. As long as everyone goes mute, I don't mind everyone just being around. Um, I'm gonna everyone who's messaged me, I'm gonna send you the link, and then because some of the Americans have hit me up nice and early as well. Um, so, okay. 
links have been sent out to anyone who has met the chat. So I have got a poll up in the chat right now. I should have mentioned that at the get-go, but you guys are pretty good at spotting those type of things. Uh, so the chat quite simply says, or the, the question, the poll says, uh, will 2024 be a better year for Marvel Legends than 2023 when all is said and done? Okay. So far, 83% of you say yes. 2024 will be a better year for Marvel Legends than 2023. 5% say no way. So 5%... We're really happy with what we got last year with Marvel Legends. Uh, if you were, what was your what, what was it? Was it Black Widow? Was it Giant Man? Was it were they the highlights of last year? But uh, five percent thinks last year will stay will still be better, uh, and then thirteen percent think it already is a better year. Thirteen percent already think this year is a better year for Marvel Legends than twenty twenty three. Um, do you know what? Is it too early to say that? No, I don't think so. Maybe I'm in that category as well. Considering the pre-orders that have come out and we still haven't seen everything we're getting in the year, it's looking hot, isn't it? Legends are heading in the, a better direction. It's pe peaks and troughs, all right? Peaks and troughs. And let's be honest, the Plastic Free Era was a trough. Uh, now we're climbing back out uh, because Legends, from their last set of reveals, were hot, like were on fire. So hopefully Legends stay in that direction uh, because... Yeah, we still, we've got, we know we're getting Hulkbuster now. Let's be honest, Odin was leaked. So we're getting a new updated comic Odin. We haven't had one of them since 2015. The All-Father Build-A-Figure Wave, which was, wasn't was easy to track down. And he's very limited in articulation now anyway. So a new comic Odin would be a good shout. Can't wait to see what the Hulkbuster looks like. Apparently he looks epic. And then there's still a couple more uh, sets that we are yet to know about. I think maybe another multi-pack and then another something else. But we will discuss all of that a little bit later, I'm sure. Uh, but I'm sure you're aware Marvel celebrating 85 years. So we're going to see more of this before the year is out. I'm hoping, hoping um, my Hank Pym and Wasp two-pack arrives tomorrow. I know the US guys have already been getting it. But uh, in the UK, uh, it only just shipped. So fingers crossed Yodel is doing Teddy. I should have brought it here to be fair. But I don't know where it is. Teddy's ran off with it. But uh, he brought a little duck for Ted. Uh, and he brought Amanda some cookies. It was the perfect plan. It was like, ignore these toys. Here's a Teddy. And here's some cookies. Don't worry about how much I spent on toys. Alright. So it works. That's the new plan. Anyone sends me anything. Make sure there's something in there for Ted. And something in there for Amanda. And that is all good. We are all good. Alright. Let me put my headphones on. And start getting some people in here. Okay. Okay. So... Again, thank you to everyone joining me to here on a Friday afternoon talking about what could potentially be the best figures of the year so far. Okay, let me get my zoom up. And let's start getting people in here. Okay, I'll let them roll in and then I'll jump to that screen. Okay. Let's press this. Let's see who's here. Uh... Figures of vinyl with another super chat while these guys are coming in. Uh, so Joe Fix It and the Wolverine arrived today. Really look good in pack. Uh, but got to go to Portugal tomorrow. So open when I get back. City best beats Chelsea tomorrow. Uh, I would love Chelsea to win and Coventry to win. And it's a Chelsea Coventry FA Cup final. That would be epic. But we shall see. We shall see. But thank you very much for another super chat. Uh, figures and vinyl. Appreciate that. Enjoy your holiday in Portugal. Uh, I am definitely not jealous of you going abroad right now because it's raining you do need another randomly drink. in the UK. All right, let's go around the board here. Jared's up top. Jared, how you doing? Hey, Dan. Oh, good. You good? Oh, good. Can you hear me? Oh, you can indeed. We can indeed. Oh. Uh, we've got Adam Batman Moran next to you. Adam, how you doing? I'm good, Dan. Yeah, how are you? I'm all good. Are you in like a little gym setup or something going on there? I like the TV no. stand. I'm in my sister's bedroom, so it oh. is like I'm in some kind of like boudoir. There's perfume <laughs> powders. It, it's a very unadam like setting. So <laughs> you bring the masculinity to that otherwise <laughs> fragrant bedroom. It's fine. Just, yeah, there's nothing in here. It's Balancing it out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right next to you, we've got Tanner. Tanner, how you doing? Yeah, good. Uh, happy it's the weekend. Long live the weekend. Happy anniversary. To Legends and Liquor, and Thank also happy much. birthday, Jay. Indeed. Well, I may as well jump to Jay. Yes, then, since uh, down there happy anniversary, happy birthday, Jay. Uh, happy birthday, Jay. How's your day been? Thank you very much. Um, it's been it's been at work, so it's been a, a long day of work, as I had last week off, and I didn't want to use any more annual leave. But it's nice that that is over, and we can talk some toys. So happy three years to everybody here. And thank you so much, everybody in the Who Crew, for the birthday wishes. I've never had so many birthday wishes in all my life. So 37 <laughs> years, 
Let's keep it going. So thank you very much. T- I told you, it's a, it's, that's an example of how good this community can be. Three years we have been building this uh, little, as I said, the inner circle, the Who crew, whatever you want to call it, of just collectors. We all love the same shit and we get to share it every day. I think I'll talk to you guys more than I do anyone else <laughs> apart from the misses. Like, let's be honest. So... Uh, I'd be a bit lost without you. Uh, next to Jay, we've got Jamie, the Quack Cat Commissioner. Hello. He's, of course, on Legend of the K. He doesn't miss a show. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm all good, my friend. I'm all good. We're going to race some ducks today. We are, and a happy birthday, Jay, and happy three year. Three years, Jamie. Can you believe it? I know. It? Three I know. years. Crazy. And I've, I've not missed one show. I've good. been here the whole time. And that is why you're the quack quack commissioner, my friend. Uh, right next to you, we've got Colo. Colo, you're in Spain right now. You're just making us all jealous. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? The we internet's can. really shit as well. Yeah. We can see okay. and hear you. You're good. You're absolutely fine. Yeah. Why are you in Spain? Yeah. Tell the people while you're abroad. It's my mental getaway from work, really. So, yeah. I've got a little place in Mercia that I come to just to escape. That is so, yeah. very nice. I'm I'm definitely yeah. not jealous at all. No, I'm not jealous. I'd never want to go. Never want to go. I'm I'm, I'm <laughs> no, I'm really jealous to be fair. Really yeah. jealous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just I've just got a little place I can escape to abroad. Like, yeah. I wish. I wish. Uh, you enjoy my friend. You I'm glad that you can join us here today. Uh, and then in the yeah. you, we've got our American friend uh waving the flag for the US. It is of course Cloud. Cloud, how are you doing? No flags here. I'm good. Uh three years. That's it's a bit mad. Um, you were here, episode one too, by the way. Episode one, you yeah. No, I was, I was thrilled to be there. I, I think I've only missed maybe two or three streams, but every, everyone else, when I can be here, I am. I yeah. move my, I re- revolve my schedule around this show. Um, just the friends I've made doing this is just incredible. I, I mean, not even just here, like Facebook friends, Instagram, Twitter, which is dangerous. But yeah, you guys are amazing people and you really kind of do well to help me break out of uh, a really shitty time. So I appreciate this. Of course, we are here to be that happy distraction and you know you were always welcome. But I, I try and tell people this all that some people literally only watch Legend of Liquor. So they only see us here, but they don't realize that we continue talking for out of the weeks in between like it's not like we just don't communicate until the next legend of liquor there's a constant flow of conversation going on behind the scenes between all of us um and again i know it's cheesy to say but i, I as i've met most of these guys in person now uh, and i consider these people friends um and it all started because i made a stupid youtube show called legend the liquor which brandon tr- taught tried to talk me out of haha <laughs> brandon legend the liquor three years strong and i'm still drinking copperberg because he doesn't drink you see he wasn't interested he wanted like an ice cream show or something like that but i didn't legend the Liquor outlived Brandon, to be fair. <laughs> it did, it did. To be fair, he has gone to work for Hasbro, so he's, I guess he's in the toy game where we're all still talking about it. So uh, he's doing absolutely fine for himself. But he still lingers. I know he still lingers. But shout out Brandon, who was technically the first guest ever on Legend of Liquor. Um, and so, and then as I said, Rich and Phil was there as well. Uh, so shout out uh, the OG Who crew back in the day for sure. Um, but right, okay. So, oh, RJ's jumped in with a new for Super Chat. He says, uh, really curious why we didn't get the dates for Scar and Warbird. Uh, well, Warbird is going to be a Target exclusive. So I guess it's a little bit more awkward for them to figure out pre-order dates because they have to go through their retail partner. And you know what Target's like, an absolute nightmare. So... That's probably why that is. And then, then maybe if they haven't given us date for Scar, maybe here's a Walmart exclusive. I don't know. But maybe there is always a couple of exclusive mixed in with that summer program. So maybe they are exclusives to somewhere. Warboard is definitely exclusive to Target. Um, so maybe that is the reason, RJ. Maybe you do need another reason. drink. Um, was there another voice talking for Super Friday, by the way? Did anyone hear it? Sounded like she was saying you need another drink. Okay, good, good. I, I thought it was I, that was something. I wanted something drink relevant anyway, so that will do. That will do. Um, okay, let me uh, just have a quick look at the chat. Okay, let me just have a quick look at Instagram, and then we can get into some just some pickups. You know, we, when you mention talking about getting people onto the show, yes. um, I should just go out and say that. I started as an incredibly anxious, shy person, and I still kind of get a little nervous before I I get on a stream. Not this one so much anymore, but I know that keeps a lot of folks away from kind of wanting to be a part of this. But if if I can do it, absolutely anybody can. This is one of the best environments in the collector community. So if you're a little nervous, pop on, stay for five minutes, stay for 50 minutes, but it's absolutely worth it. Don't let your... uh, Anxiety get the best of you. 
I appreciate that, Cloud. I, I genuinely do try and, and just create and try and give everyone a moment to talk, make sure everyone gets heard, and just have a fun time, like sharing this hobby with people. Like, Cord, you, you've literally one of the fresh faces on here. How's your yeah. experience been so far? Was it as scary as you built up in your head, or has it been all right? I'm I'm pretty good when it comes to talking to people. So yeah, like I'm lucky in that sense. I just I just felt pretty at ease straight away. Happy days. But yeah, like I agree with what Cloud said. Like if people are dealing with like the anxiety around coming on a live stream, they should just go for it at first, face that fear, and then they'll develop and become better. Absolutely. So, yeah. and, and like Cloud said, if you want to come on for five minutes and then it gets too much for you, just leave the Zoom call. It's not it's not a genuinely not a problem. No one will be offended. At least you give it a go. Um, but yeah, just just give it a go. This is this a safe is, place. It's a safe this place. is also a good spot because of how many people are involved. So you're not under the spotlight if you don't want to be. Yeah, of course. And again, people can talk as much as they want to or as little as they want to. Uh, and some people definitely take advantage of that talk as much as they want to, all right? We've got some storytellers with Legends of the Lake. <laughs> you know who you are. You know who you are. Um, but uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's, 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 it's fun. Uh, I'll, second, I'll second what Cloud said, is when I first came on, I think it was episode uh, way back in episode 11, and I made yeah. Cheeky Monkey come on with me. We came on in episode 11 in the toy room on the tablet and i was i was i was shit in the brick as we like to say here in the uk but yeah soon relaxed into it and now a few weeks in i've literally started my own youtube channel you can't shut me up effectively <laughs> so it has brought it has brought myself out michelle because uh, kiara did say that i'm like uh, your personality now comes out because i was always quite quiet at home i've always been quite a tried to be kind of a, a funny entertaining guy but I've, I've gone quite shy into myself i suppose after finishing school and not getting in sort of groups like this so it really has brought that out in myself so if you are nervous about getting on it's definitely it, i would second what clay said it's worth the shot because uh you you never know what toy dreams will come out of it and yeah i've had a, I've had a very different life now than i had three years ago in terms of interaction with people so it has brought myself out michelle so Give it a go, people. I used to hide Marvel Legends under my bed. I used to go to Smith's, buy Marvel Legends, hide them under my bed, buy eBay stuff, you know, like, because I was embarrassed of, like, Amanda. And then I started to put a few on my shelf. This is when I lived on my own as well. But I didn't want, like, my missus coming around and seeing my figures on the shelf. But <laughs> for whatever reason, remember those shitty Marvel Legends stands that were, like, those weird shapes that you got? Like, I had, I ended up having a pile of them. And for one day, I just built them all. And, like, I had loads of little pegs on it. And I started to I started to build a little shelf. And even Amanda straight away went, what the fuck's that? And I was like, look, just, just ignore it, all right? Just ignore it, all right? Because I, tra- I used to display my trainers, for fuck's sake. Do you know what I mean? I was... Um, but uh, slowly, figures started to take over. Uh, and, like... Now, as I said, I talk to you guys more than my even family. <laughs> like, my family are pretty boring, to be fair, to, 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 compared to you guys. So, um, no, I, this hobby is more fun, more fun, because I've met people you, like you. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. Like, you can enjoy the hobby on your own if you want. You can be content. You can just linger and lurk and watch, which I'm sure people do. But uh, honestly, take that step to get involved with the community, and you'll be surprised with how much fulfillment you get from that it genuinely is a, me- a better hobby like jay and tanner were at my house just the other week do you know what i mean like so uh it's crazy it's good times so it was adam. adam i've got a picture of adam playing with teddy on my floor do you know what i mean like um, ted doesn't like anybody really so that was really sweet so uh yeah no it's, neither, it's crazy neither, neither do i that's why ted and i got on like because <laughs> i probably from a different from jane cloud maybe similar to call like I, i'm lucky i've got absolutely no issues talking to people i just don't like it like i just don't like people i've never met anybody in this group i didn't like so that's a testament to kind of the kind of people craig that we craig? get on sorry <laughs> Just with the like... exception of Craig, I've never met anybody in here. <laughs> I don't like his eat test of patience of a saint. Um, so yes, for different reasons, I, I would if you're in the chat. It is literally just the chat, but kind of like in person on the screen. It's just everything you talk about in the chat here. Look, so if you are a member and you want to give this a go, just do it. You won't, you won't regret it. Absolutely. Like, as I said, a, a group of lads and girls can go to, down to the pub and talk about football or whatever, and no one would blink an eye. It's the same principle. It's just, unfortunately, we can't do that casually because we all live on different places around the planet. So thanks to technology, it allows us to, to do this. So um, it is just, I, I, as I call it in its most simplest form, it's a virtual hangout. 
It's as simple as that. Jump on, talk some toys, uh, and let's get into exactly that. Let's talk some toys. Let's do some pickups. It's been a while since the last Legend of Licker, as I think we've had Toy Fair in between. We've had an inner circle. So the floodgates are yours to talk about what you want to. Uh, Gerald, I can see you're looking away. Have you not? Have you? Have you got stuff prepared? Did you know I was going to ask uh, this question? I do. I after buying an awful lot of stuff has arrived okay. in the last couple of weeks. Let's go for Ridiculous then. amounts. Let's go. Now, for it. Show uh, us what you got. I've, I have a few bits I've picked out so. One I was pleasantly surprised with was the um, the Bandai Tekken nice. figure. So, so I bought, that's all four of them that are released now, but this King figure is actually really good. They're cheap. They're a bit um, fall apart as I call them, but but in general, they're uh, no, they're really nice, and they look good. Like the, They're not as good as the Street Fighter figures, and definitely not as finished as them, but this King one's actually quite good. Good body on them as well, like it's sturdy. Um, Jin isn't as good and the fabric they've chosen to make the bottoms out of i don't know how long it's going to last until it starts to rot it's like a, a light layer of rubber around the the bottom of them but the, you can see the texture on them and stuff they're really quite cool wow so is that wave one yeah. just those two those two and there was a um, the Hihachi and oh, i forget the guy's name the main the, the father and son as well whatever their names are so, Hi you know, yeah Hihachi, yeah, is one of them. Um, so and then I got a couple of Mafex figures. I got the Stealth Cat. He looks which is, very good. I love that. Sheep, he but that is can just hold yeah. the, the the cowl. Yeah, he is amazing. Yeah, like he, and, and he's properly proportioned as well. Um, I had the Hot Toys version of him, and it was it was okay. This this they you'd use some weird kind of puffy suit underneath him that kind of slipped a lot. This is actually better on shelf and on display. Than, than the does it scale with legends cool. okay or is it a bit short yeah i haven't uh, so i got all excited when i uh, when i got him i was like oh, he's brilliant he's amazing and civil i am I, um, that captain america would be my favorite movie yeah, of the, the mcu soldier, you know sure, winter yeah. soldier yeah Real brilliant film. and so so then i saw i was in big bang comics over here in dublin and i saw the scar the black widow from that and um so i bought it and it's probably the worst figure i've bought <laughs> in about oh years. the black widow wow <laughs> The hip, it, it she just won't stand, and I don't know what what's going on with the hips, and yeah, so, um, but she he scales okay with her, so I just put her in behind on, on the shelf, and it's fine, um, but the Mafex Winter Soldier I think is out next week or two, so oh, um, of course, so you get you're gonna get yeah. a Bucky Barnes as well, nice, yeah, yeah, so um, and I, then you, I got you need to get the SH Figure Arts Falcon. I don't know if he's wearing the same outfit from that film, but the SH Figure yeah. Arts Falcon's really nice. Yeah, I, I said I had the whole wave from Hot Toys for that movie with the Nick Fury and all. Like they were amazing, so it might be nice to get them in the in the Mayfix. I, I I definitely won't be going back to Legends after that. Uh, that Black Widow, she's god awful. Yeah, they um, only updated the arms and her. That otherwise, it's a pretty old figure, like a decade old yeah, figure. Yeah, and because everybody's been raving about Black Widow, and I wouldn't be the biggest Legends guy, so I was thinking, oh, it's the head sculpts. Must be the head sculpts are nice. It's yeah, but the body they didn't update the body, only the arms. Yeah, so I have, her, I have to put a little stand on her to make her even stand. <laughs> and then when you compare that to um, Scarlett, who just came, like she is nice. amazing. She is, yeah, unbelievable. Like She just pops as soon as I put her on the shelf. So I got the whole wave came. Mm. I got that dreaded, I think it was 10 Joe Joe figures came last week. Yeah, And she is the standout of them all. Her and Big Boa for me would be the two now that I, uh, I really, really like. Um, and Big Boa seems to be an older body, but he still looks really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's um he's a gorgeous figure. Um, and then the line that I'm not collecting that I am collecting. So the final version figure I was waiting on came today. That was Trap Jaw. So like like uh, Jay, it was my birthday yesterday. So oh, he's all birthday. right for my birthday. Happy Thanks birthday. very much. Yeah. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Thanks Happy all. Birthday. Um, and so I have all the animated ones now, and I've started to take the toy versions off my uh my mo2 display and start to replace them with these for the these look great the cartoon on shelf. ones yeah they pop a little bit yeah more, they, they? they have much more character on shelf they look great I, i'd say like um I'll, I'll replace them as they come out um and then the final thing that i've picked up that was a bit random was i went and i got the uh if anybody's ever seen hold that breath hold that thought one second while the super chat reads out uh classic spidey 
Uh, it says, hello, Who Crew. Long time no see. Hope everyone is doing well. Didn't want to miss the three-year anniversary stream and talk toys on a Friday evening. Thank you very much, Classic Spidey. I appreciate that. Uh, get get Again, we're going to be here for a little bit. So get comfortable. Get yourself a drink. Uh, you do need another I'm gonna be talking drink. Toys. And uh, Mike Hex as well donated some super chat and said, I can't beat meeting Legend and Liquors uh, in real life. That is true. Mike has met a few of the lads now as well. Uh, I know he's always meeting up with FOMO Joe. Uh, so shout out Mike. I felt FOMO Joe wanted to be on today, but he's he couldn't make Friday annoyingly. But shout out shout out FOMO Joe if he ever watches the replay. Uh, but go on, Joe. Your last uh, your last pick up there. Yeah, so I picked up there was three figures released from I don't know if anybody remembers that movie Valerian that came out. Do you know out. why I remember yeah. it? Because why? because can you guess can you guess why a man with a particular taste would remember Horror? that film. <laughs> well, not so much. Her. There's a, there's a not there's a scene with uh, Rihanna. Oh yes, and, like, yes she wears yes. like this maid outfit and like she's wearing all these fancy outfits and like that's all I remember from that film. I have no idea what yeah. else happened in that film. That's all my brain wants to remember. I I like to collect like so that's a full wave from that sci-fi movie. So I went and picked them up. I found them in a place in Finland. Um, I got them shipped I, say, over, I didn't so. even know they existed until you posted a picture. Either, They're necker as either, well, right? Yeah, yeah. And the suits. Now, the head sculpts are a bit weak. I don't know if you can make it out because I haven't opened them yet. But the, the suits, the detailing on the suits is really nice. Harry Osborne himself. Yeah. And I think like they're about 10 years old, so... They'll probably fall apart before I open Who's them, the third figure, then? So they're the main two. Who's the third yeah. one? Yeah, uh, Katron. So it was the robots. Oh. I don't know if any... And he looks pretty cool as well, so I'm looking forward to it. Is that an army here. builder? Or a... Yes, yeah. yeah, you will be, yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's that's all of them. And other special mention, I forgot to bring out as well, is the Mayfix. Um, oh, cool. And those skeletons, yeah. yeah. I am petrified he's going to break yeah. because he <laughs> is so delicate. Like, you move one piece. That's where he gets his own dedicated shelf over there. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Just keep them nice and safe, <laughs> never to be touched again. Um, but that's that's been my busy month. I hope it'll be a bit quieter now. No, of course, lots of imports as well. And like you said, we got a lot of Joes this month as well. Like I think once, oh. the, once the vamp ramp, vamps due just this coming week, and I think I would have yeah. spent over three hundred pound on Joes just this month, which is stupid. Yeah. Not something I wanted to do, uh, but they keep moving around those bloody pre-order dates, pain in the ass. But some great stuff. If anybody is looking for any hard to get GI Joe figures in the UK, Ireland, Big Bang Comic sent in a mail this morning. He's imported in. Like I'm talking um, Zartan from Comic Con, the first release of um, oh. of Cobra Commander. Like they're, they're after getting a big import box in with hisses and everything in it. Oh, wow. um, okay. So yeah, so if anybody's looking for hard to get figures, he he had uh, Big Ben was in it. Uh, the original Firefly, original uh, yeah. Beachhead was a load. Like those Vibram so, yeah. figures were very hard to get. Yeah. But they're expensive, but they are, the, if anybody wants to backtrack and get some. It, well, the market value, ain't it? It is what it is. Yeah. It's one of them where if, if you missed that, it's how the game works. Collectors know. Uh, and by the way, Jared, thank you very much. Uh, it was you. It was you that managed to get me uh, that uh, Falcon to review on the yeah. channel. So you yeah. you brought it. People thought Brandon sent it me. And I was like, no, it was Jared. Jared no. got it from. So you brought it from Hasbro, so Hasbro. Europe, right? Yeah, so it comes from Germany for me. So it usually takes about five days to get my my figures from Pulse. So it came from Germany to Ireland to you to yep. Craig, and then I sent it to <laughs> Craig. Yeah, yeah, very nice. But I, I managed to do a review, so that was all good. Uh, and I, I think I will I will try and track one down for sure. Uh, Adam, let's go across to you now. You're at your sister's, so I very much doubt you've got any pickups. Yeah, no, I, just I, I randomly want to pick up stuff around the room and pretend you purchased it. No, I was already, yeah, I was already here, so I didn't bring it. But I did send you some photos okay. on Instagram. Okay, let me go. Of just the look. ones I remembered that I'd got. So the first, I sent them in descending oh, order. So I, can, I first, can be your glamorous assistant here. You can, you can. So the last ones you got, the last three are the pickups, and then the first two, so further up the messages you've received, they're my two figures of 2024. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I don't want to show off the right phone thing to no. it. Say it again. Say it again. So the the last three that you received. Oh, do you know what? I'm on the app. I'm on the internet, so I don't see bundled pictures, so I can't actually uh, see it. You need to oh, send well. them separately. Okay. Well, I'll, but... I'll come to you. I'll come back to you. You send them me as a you separate image, and I'll come back to you. You come back to me. I'll do it now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sound. B right. Bundles don't work on the web. It's sh Instagram on the web is shit. Uh, instead, right? Let's put Tanner there. Tanner, you jump the line. All right. 
Woo! <laughs> so so you, you probably picked the right person to jump to because in the, what, four or five weeks since we've been here, I've had a lot coming. Uh, so, yeah, you've got enough time to send whatever pictures you want, Adam. <laughs> so we're going to start off with the... Uh, so if you guys have been watching the previous uh legends and liquors you know i've been spiraling spiraling down the hole of the turtles and gray skull so i've had wave one i've had the deluxe in of the mousetrap uh mouse short whatever, whatever his name is where do you get uh, from? Uh, so those ones i got from ebay okay because i got a really good price on them uh and then i got wave two in well three quarter three fourths of wave two wave two so i've got Ram Man, Beast Man, and the Shredder. So I'm missing Raph, oh, but annoying. I've got I've got Raph pre-ordered uh, with the whole shebang. So hopefully, when they get him in, I'll complete Wave Two, and that'll be Wave Two brilliant out of the way, which is good. That is also um, where I've pre-ordered my Raph as well, by the way. So I'm with yes. you on that one. So that's that. Uh, question, another question, thing. Question before you move yes. on. So when it comes to the master stuff. I'm I'm being lured in because the turtles, of course, and so are you. But mm. are you a fan of Master of the Universe anyway? Like, are you aware of all the characters and stuff, or is it just the turtles just, that brought you in? So it's the turtles that have brought me in. I have knowledge and awareness of the main characters, say your He-Man, say your uh, Skeletor, say your Evil Lin, uh, Man-at-Arms, yeah. Tila, She-Ra, just the main characters. When it goes deeper than that, uh, I look forward to learning a little bit more. Yeah, learn by the medium I, of action figures. I exactly. Say yes. So then we will move on to Legends. Um, so Amazon, I, I wasn't going to pick up this two-pack, but Amazon came in with a really good price on this two-pack, and it was the Black Panther, no, Black Knight and Cersei two-pack. So... Because I've now got this, I was originally going to get rid of um, the, uh, what's it called, the Eternal that comes in the next, the Zabu wave. I now will probably keep him to do an Eternal oh, Icarus. Icarus. display. Icarus, Icarus, that's his name. Yes. That's the one. Yes. I've also had uh, somebody who on your channel may not have the right paint apps. But oh, on my yeah. one has the right <laughs> paint apps. Yeah. Brilliant. There's a brilliant, nice. Uh, I'm actually the only really... person with Angel missing paint apps. Everyone else is absolutely fine, apart from mine. Typical. Mm. Typical. Annoying. What can you do? Uh, I also got all the Wolverine two packs. So uh, at the moment, I've only got the Wolverines next to me. So we got Brood Wolverine and Lenandra, who's up in the display. Ninja Wolverine. And Lady Mandarin, we got uh, Logan playing card Wolverine and Sabretooth, who also is up in the display. But the two I've got here now, these two. Yeah, I do like that set. Yes, very good set. Um, and now we will go on to where? Uh, no, one more le one more wave of legends. But I've only picked out one. Okay. Because uh, I can't be bothered to pick so, them all out, and that's the X Men ninety seven wave two. So we got Cyclops here, who has actually replaced my uh, Cyclops in my comic book collection, oh. just because he looks so good. It's a worthy upgrade. Happy with it. Look, he's, Brilliant. If you want him, don't hesitate. Uh, this mm. is like literally. You know me when it comes to legends. I'm pretty good at knowing my stuff. Like Wolverine has come and gone. Like try and get Wolverine at retail right now. You cannot. He is sold out everywhere. The going price on eBay right now for the ninety-seven Wolverine is like eighty quid. So like, if you want Cyclops, don't hesitate. Get him now because he is going in that same direction. And I can tell you that uh, places ain't going to restock him anytime soon. All right. So if you want Cyclops. Don't hesitate. Don't think. Wait for sale and stuff like that. It ain't getting to sale. Get him now. That's that's my advice for the day. I know my legends. Don't wait for the sale on Cyclops. He won't get to the sale. Buy him now. He's a great figure. Yeah. Now, Wave 1, I wasn't a fan of because I got them all in. I literally sold them all and then rebought Wolverine because Wolverine is a good upgrade that's over the, hard the one to get. So wise exactly. Choice. So I got him when Hasbro Pulse UK restocked him Very for a certain clever. while along with the Spider Man 2. So I picked them both up then. 
uh, yeah, not looking back on either D- of those Dale figures. in the chat says, uh, I hate the face sculpt. I, I agree. The face sculpt's probably my only nitpick about the figure. Like, it's okay. It's but it, not bad, though. Yeah, oh, no, I agree. It's not bad, but it, it could have been better. I agree. Mm-hmm. Hannah, do you have the VHS one? No, uh, I originally am just doing just comic books. So, That's no, I don't have the VHS one. And the cell shading on those ones have put me off wanting to mm. go for them. So, I just wonder if there's much difference between the two of them. You can, I, so again, you can. If you watch my Cyclops review, I do pop the heads and swap them. Yeah. There's a tiny bit of orange for cell shading on the side of the visor. Like t- That's the only bit of cell shading on the head. So you can swap them. And the blues do match, so it's an option. But like my psycho brain, like knows it's not right. If you know what I mean, like, and that's just a me problem. But you can swap the head. You can. Yeah. But yeah, definite a worthy upgrade. So we now move on to the turtles and tea section of my pickup. So uh, everybody knows I'm gone down the rabbit hole completionist on the last Ronin. Uh, line. So two of the figures are uh, were missing. I uh, was missing. Should I rephrase? Were the Singer bots and the Singer Elite. So I got the Singer Elites in. I got two of them. Thanks to Uncle Ali. They do look good. Still waiting on those Singer bots. Uh, I've, I've got three of the Singer bots. I've got two of the Singer Elites. So the black and white come with a couple of heads to display them with as well. A couple of guns, some swords, so the, the white ones and some mouses as well. So the elites are the black and whites. Okay, yeah, okay. The normal ones the are blue, the bluish ones. Blue grey ones, yeah. So there's that. We will oh actually I'm going to divert from turtles and tea for a second and say I've broken Jay's one rule again. Um You've got a select. With, yeah. I got a select. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a select. I got the crimson dynamo. That's a worthy, which is a brilliant. That's a worthy, is a brilliant rule figure. Break, is it? Yeah, yeah. He's in with my winter guard. So I've got two Crimson Dynamos. Uh, the Titanium, Titanium Man is there as well. We've got loads of different ways to come off. And he's got quite a few face plates. So his face... Oh, you got the, the special unmasked... Come off. Have you got the special unmasked Phil Jones head school? I do indeed. Oh, look at it. There he is. Yes, there. Shout out Hill Phones, a.k.a. Phil Jones. I just need yes. Phil to grow enough moustache that he can curl it. And then he's good to yes. go. Pretty much. So, Fair yeah, you've got... That's a challenge. I need, we need a curly moustache. And I want to see you twizzling it as yes. well, if you do grow it. Yes. He's always yes. going to be the villain of the Who crew, so I think he'd be fine with that. Yes. So, back to the Turtles and Tea segment. Well, not quite Turtles and Tea. We'll say the not Turtles and Tea, because we have... <laughs> He's in the chat. Figure of the year, he says. Figure of the year. <laughs> <laughs> we woke Phil up. We woke him up. <laughs> yes. We have not Donatello. And not uh, Splinter. So they are looking very good. They pair with Leonardo really, really well. What's the official name of them? What's the company that makes them, if you remember? So they're, uh, I believe they're Fury Toys or Samurai uh, Toys. And it's like Samurai Force is the line name. Okay. And this is Autumn, I want to say. And this is the Master. So I have got the accessory set as well, which come with some little baby tails oh, as well. Fun. They look fun. Yeah. So it, I plan on doing a little photo with the master and the baby tails. So where did you order these from to get the accessory pack as well? Like where? So 5K toys. Okay. 5K toys. They still have, they have, they don't have the Leo up anymore. But they've got the uh, the Donny, the Splinter, and Mike has gone up for pre-order as okay. well. So anyone who's a Mikey fan, pick it up. They're smaller than I originally expected, but they look nice. They, the amount of detail has gone into the scaling, the technology on the back of Donny as well. You have, you have ways to uh, make him look so they look completely different to the Turtles, but with the accessory packs, you may as well just have a smaller bunch of Turtles because they look you can make them look exactly the same and brilliant with regards to those look forward to seeing what they do with leo uh no we look forward to seeing what they do with with mikey and raf yes so something you have already shown but again shout out to uncle ali with hall of fun we got the punks the punk turtles right here yes so one of my also as you were saying 
most anticipated figures from Hall of Fun. I, I mean, I was very surprised that Hall of Fun, the shipping was so easy and picking things up was so easy because the punks were up for a good couple a of whole, days. I know they were, they were up, yeah, until pretty today. much they were up for a week and it, they were so easy to pick up. You may, it, it's the shipping was good. It, rivaled the price you would have gotten from Ali. Uncle Ali for. So I think the price was, it, think. Yeah. yeah, the Let, price was roughly the same. Let's just take a moment to uh, to acknowledge that for the chat. So you guys, if you're... If acknowledge you've, me. If you've been watching Legend of Licker <laughs> for three years, you will know we hate Hall of Honor, right? We hate it. Because for the last two years, where Hall of Honor has existed... They, they always sent us to costumes.com where the international shipping would be like $80 or something. It would be ridiculous. It was just unfeasible. At a pure principle, we refused to pay it and we're like, screw you, costumes.com. You're like, we just didn't want to do it. For, so for the last two years, Hall of Fun has stressed us out. But uh, I do want to say bravo because I do think Necker have sort of amended it as now, instead of costumes.com, they have their own Hall of Fun website, which they should have had from the bloody get-go, by the way. So I don't know why it took them so long, but now they have their own Hall of Fun website. And every week, as you can see there, week one and week two, they are releasing the different items that go up for sale. Week one was the Punk Turtles, and they weren't an instant sellout. They were there all week. They have sold out now, but they were there for seven days. So if you missed out, that's on you. Uh, and then week two happened today. And... Because the Punk Turtles lasted a whole week, I wasn't in a rush because I was like, ah, if I want it, I'll get it in the week. But too late because Bebop and Rocksteady re-release sold out and they are the main Bebop and Rocksteady, which a lot of people have missed out on. People want to backtrack. There's new collectors that missed out on them. So I think that's a fair re-release. And there are a few differences, upgrades, if you will. Uh, and then the Space uh, and the Samurai Turtle, which are the new ones, they sold out. So, like... I'm an idiot because for once, Hall of Fun actually did a decent pre-order and I was too casual with it. So that's on me, that is. But bro, I just want to say credit where credit's due. We moaned for two years about them getting Hall of Fun wrong. They have fixed it. They've got their own website. Uh, shipping was very reasonable. Like Tanner and Jay said, it was like $11 or whatever it is, which is very reasonable. 11 pounds. Yeah, very reasonable. So credit where credit's due. They have fixed the Hall of Fun issue. But we do love our Uncle Ali as well, because let's be of honest, we, we have to of love course. Uncle Ali as well. And I have two more pickups. One I have right here. The other one, I have a vehicle in my vehicle, which is the Super 7 Turtle Party, bag, party Wagon. It's just so big, I haven't had a chance to so bring it in your yet. Your Turtle Van is literally in your, in your car. In my car, yeah. yeah, in the boot of my car. So, <laughs> yes. Pretty much, see really the massive. iron there. People don't realize how big it is unless you get it. It's uh, it's it literally <laughs> takes up the entire space of my boot. It's sort of like I didn't realize how much how, how it'd be that big. And I've got a pretty big boot, and it's just filled up what three quarters of it, if not a little bit more. It's just unbelievable it's how big enough big that Adam could drive it is. as a van. It's as simple as <laughs> yes. Yes, and the final thing was something I picked up with my bonus this month because I got my yearly bonus from work. Very nice. I thought I've been looking at this wish my work did for that, a while. Way. Fucking cheapskates! Huh? I said I wish my work did that. The cheapskates. Yes, so I've been looking at this for a good long while. I've been going on about it for a good long while. Uncle Ali with the hook up here because I was looking at a few stores. With different prices and then the anniversary sale kicked in so i saved oh yeah i've seen that. Quite a bit more yeah quite a bit more off this and it was something i've been as i mentioned i've been going on for a while a mezco and it's the mezco a uh, gomez and Mech. Wow. so i'm i wanted this ever since i saw it i didn't pick it up to begin with it's impressive um purely because of the price uh and then it's pretty much sold out so and then you can ask Tom if he does come on later. Mini plastic, multi a mini plastic multiverse, and also Jay. I've been going on about this bloody thing for over a year, and as soon as the, that bonus came in and the anniversary sale here, I'm like, yeah, I'm pulling the trigger now. And it came in, brilliant. Uh, look forward to seeing what else comes from that line, what else they decide to do from the Void Wars. Yeah, it looks impressive. Um... All right, Adam, I've got your pictures now. So <laughs> I'm just setting them up. And then we are good to go. 
Uh, I think I can see a few people in the chat asking what's going on. Uh, I, I, I say that. I'm talking about your boys got toys. Alexi. So Legend of Liquor had to be moved from the weekend till today due to scheduling conflicts. So rather than skipping a week, we are celebrating the three year anniversary of Legends and Liquor today. Super chat shots and all. People have already been very generous. I've already took a few shots. Uh, but yes, the, the forum, the door, the gates are open. If you want to jump on right now, you absolutely can. Dale, don't worry. Craig is here. Don't forget the dots. He is here. He has joined us. As I said, it's a free for all tonight. If you want to join us, just sit, send me a DM. As long as you are a channel member at the Members Club tier, you are absolutely allowed in. So uh, hit me up with the DMs. Uh, I've sent you the link if you want to join us, Alexi, but it's completely up to you. I am going to be here for a little bit, so I probably will get another set of people in a little bit later. Uh, Dale, Dale was also talking about what turtles he should get if he wants just the regular turtles. Get the Pizza Club turtles, all right? They are due uh, very soon. On Ali, you can get all four right now, but... Um, they haven't gone up on Hall of Fun yet. So we don't know if all four are going to go up in one week or they're going to scatter them. We don't know yet. But they're an opportunity to get these. That's probably the best rendition of the original Turtles you can get. Or, uh, I on. will say, if you have the excess money to spend, go for the Mezcos. The Mezcos look amazing. I haven't had them myself, but every... Well, I'm waiting for the invoice for them to hit the UK to come in. I'm looking forward to those. Everything I've seen from those are just making me drool a Homer Simpson style. Just, I want those in my collection. I want those things in my hand. I think they're going to be the best version of the tells going forward. Do but, very good. pricey. You do need another drink. They do look very good. Uh, shout out Profit with a super chat. He says, three years. Thank you. This channel makes this hobby more fun. Thank you very much, Prophet. That's what I try and tell people. It really does. Um, so thank you so much for the super chat. And also Encounter Cultures dropped a super chat as well. It says, cheers for three years. Hopefully I can jump on in a bit. Kenny, just let me know. You send me a DM. Send me a DM when you're available and I will send you the link. And you can absolutely come on. Um, but uh, yes. And by the way, Friday's not going to read anything until it's over £14, all right? Friday is only Super Chat shots today, uh, but I do appreciate every Super Chat. All the same, you know it goes towards contributing to the channel, and if you can constantly support the channel, it means Legends of Liquor will survive another three years, all right? So keep supporting the channel. I appreciate yours. All right, let's jump across now to Adam. Uh, and Adam, you were just setting up some toys, so the floor is yours about your recent pickups, and I will throw well, the images as you speak. Well, while you're doing it, despite you know, being away visiting family and not knowing about this stream, when I got here and unpacked my bag, one of my most recent pickups was in my, in my trainer. The stowaway! Which, like, I don't know how that happened, but yeah, he was in my trainer, so I do have a pickup with nice. me, which is, yeah, the Scarlet Spider-Man, which is, yeah, brilliant. Like, probably in my running, but he got knocked off the top spot for figure of the year so far because I, I wanted a more sort of muscular um oh it's a worthy upgrade for sure compared look, to the old one for sure yeah, and like 90s a peak comic reading time for me so this is quite a nostalgic here's one. another one again if you want another hot tip don't hesitate get him because he ain't gonna last those retro cards for the spider-man characters come and go they look plentiful at the start but you give it a few months and they vanish so again top tips Cyclops from the Wolver uh, from the X Men ninety seven wave, and also that Scarlet Spider Man from the recent Spider Man retro wave. Only came out at the start of the year, but it ain't gonna last much longer. All right, get them if you want them. They're not getting to sales. It's not happening. And then, yeah, I sent you. Uh, I can't even remember. What okay, I'll throw, I'll throw up a picture. For, I've got you cap, up and I'll cap. Yes, so the uh, Secret Empire cap, recent <laughs> one, which I'd. I think I said to you before, it was one of those really well-timed ones because it was announced just as I was rereading the um, the oh, series thanks. on Marvel Unlimited. So the timing was just brilliant, and it's a great figure. I, I wasn't massively keen on Marvel at that time. It's when they'd, they'd swapped out a lot of... Uh, all kind of all different. They changed. Yeah, it was yeah. controversial, it, for sure. It, it was awful. I, yeah. I hated most of it, but yeah. that run... And that idea of kind of the, the bad guy cap, I absolutely loved. I thought that was really good. So, yeah, the figure's, the figure's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, I've got this cap as well. Uh, yeah, that was just a quick game pickup. Like, game have been so good for just getting random figures in for, like, five, ten quid. And, I mean, this one was a bit more, I think it was 17. But, again, it was one that I'd wanted from the wave. And the year before, 2023, Jay just played a blinder 
of not sort of pre-ordering things and he managed to get so much of it when it came out on sale yeah. i tried that and absolutely fuck yeah. all i wanted went on sale <laughs> literally nothing and then this is one of the ones that that did so i think yeah i think i got him for, I, I, again like, that tactic might not work so much this year because their quantity no. they're ordering is just lower like no that way. was like covid covid it seemed like the uk but that was during the covid hype so they proved they were friday everything. underscore uh, really Friday's donated reading. 14 dollars and one cent dan you cheap slag it's been three years and i've not had a single raise i'm reaching out to my union representative ultron for legal action have some poison, you meat bag. Cheers. <laughs> okay, thank you to the super chat who it just quite simply has come through via the Streamlab donation link in the description. By the way, the Streamlab donation link it just says the real Friday underscore really uh, has donated fourteen pounds for the the super chat shots. It says Dan, you cheap slag. It's been three years and I've not had a single raise. I'm reaching out to my union rep Ultron for legal action. Have some poison, you meat bag. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much to Friday, who's contributing. She nearly she hasn't she hasn't signed up for a union. It's her own fault, all right? She got offered the union when she took the job. She didn't uh, she didn't want to sign up. She didn't want to pay the monthly premium for the union, and now it's backfired because there's no pay rise guarantee. Sorry, Friday, uh, but I'm gonna take another shot in there on her. But uh, this by the way, this is a good pickup, Adam, because you can use that own mass Steve Rogers head on any Captain America yeah. you want, including the Secret Empire one you've just showed. That shield's yeah. a nice touch as well because previously it was only available via a very variant version of cat back in the day and also when we get that shield <coughs> free pack and we get the uh, nick fury jr head sculpt that suit is yeah. the actual comic accurate suit for nick fury jr's debut so of course you need to swap out the hands but i reckon you'll be able to do that with what we get in that free pack so this is a nice pickup to add to your collection that you could probably mix and match and fudge in there yeah, so yeah damn right. shout. Uh, you also sent me a picture of Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Uh, well, if it, it's only because it's an older figure that I've just been waiting to pick up from uh, from Jay that it's not my figure of twenty twenty four. Boxed since I was a kid, so Ali was an absolute icon, hero of mine, probably for my my whole life. So getting this figure was absolutely amazing. Like it ticked every single every single figure box for me. It's probably in my top five figures of all time now so i was waiting to sort of meet up with g in person to get it from him because we went halves it was the referee two yeah, pack, I, remember, yeah. I think from yeah. the wrestlemania um so yeah got to see g in person which was brilliant and picked up ali which was great as well yeah for sure you so you got that at toy fair right on the other did week? yeah 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 grabbed it at toy fair when um when i saw you all there very nice and it's yeah great figure great figure and it's up on the display even paula was like that's a really good figure I've never heard her say that. So. Oh, wow. Nice. She noticed. Very nice. I always get excited when Amanda says that. Oh, wow. But the problem is she never says it. That's the problem. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I put under her nose. She's like, nope, nope. I, I was trying to get her to show, I was trying to show her the turtle, uh, not the turtles, the Simpsons stuff, because she likes the Simpsons. But uh, she did. She said that Ralph Wiggum's hair looks like a spider. Let me just show you. She's not wrong. So I showed Amanda Ralph Wiggum, and she was like, his hair looks like a spider. It sort of does, to be fair. It does look like a spider's just died on his head. Um, but yeah, I was trying to show them off. Right, let's go back. Right, so thank you very much, Adam. Uh, let's go back down to the birthday boy then, since we bounced that way earlier. Uh, Jay, happy birthday. I'm assuming on birthdays you get presents. Now, I've not, I know you posted a video before we went live, but I was eating dinner, setting my stream up, so I've not watched it. So it's up to you if you want to save that for whatever you revealed or show it off here. It's completely up to you, my friend. It, if you show it off, we have a toilet break. So <laughs> the amount of bloody toys in that video. <laughs> There's, there wasn't that many. It was only a nine-minute video. There was a no last week's live stream. Should we just all go for a break and play that video instead? <laughs> so, I'll just yeah. play it here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, last week's video with Tan when we were doing the live stream. Yeah, there was a bit of a. A bit of an epic call went on there, but I've, it's literally all surrounding me. So I've just, I've just picked a few highlights. So we'll go with that. But we'll start with the birthday present, shall we? That wasn't in the video. But um, so the birthday presents. So what I actually got? Not a single toy. Got some bubble bath here. So Very we've nice. got some, uh, Very nice. some Avon water mint bubble bath to start <laughs> us off. So apparently I smell because. I had about four different sets. Of, it's a big yeah. hint, isn't it? Yeah, usually when you get that. Four different shit. sets of bubble bath. So that's gone well. <laughs> Cold um, bubble bath, deodorant, new underwear, just, just <laughs> everything. The hint that you stink. 
Let's, uh, <laughs> what should we have here? Let's go for some stuff I don't think I've showed off on the channel. I can't remember. But I managed to get some very cheap pickups from B&M. So three ninety nine from B&M Bargains. Craig's oh, uh, place of mischief to shot. get Babu in squat. Yeah. I'd get them for three ninety nine dollars a piece for sure. So I thought you would because we don't have Babu in squat in anything do we super this, seven haven't made them in this is the big a, line a, a message to my uk friends phil jones i know you go in loads of uh bnms if anyone sees these guys in a bnm pick them up for me because jay's right we don't have them represented in plastic in any other form so at least i'd have that on card so yeah we we haven't had any super seven in our store since the turtle ones ah, shit, well. we haven't had any of the power rangers you know, my B and M's usually not very good, but they was literally two on the shelf, and it was Babu and Squat, and I was like, "Oh, I could make a full sort of Rita's crew on my little mint on card." Could you just pretend wall, that they've so. been shrunk? Yeah, <laughs> they're going, they're going on the wall. So I've been saving those. Um, something that's coming a bit later for me, I think, and they'll be asked, "Was the biker mice from Mars?" So they're here, and I have started to open them up, and so my good. goodness, these things—they're so smooth. They're so it's good. Like, it's like a Mafex, a Nacelle company for like their probably their second figure they've made. They made those robot ones last year. They're literally buttery smooth in the articulation. So pinless as well. These, Lots of yeah. accessories. I, I I completely agree with Jay. If you are a fan of Biker Mice from Mars, don't hesitate. Those Nacelle That's... figures are really nice. They are premium, premium action figures. Great representation yeah, for... of the characters. For thirty-five pounds, you're almost getting like a seventy-pound Mayfair. Animated in quality accurate there. as well. They're absolutely, they absolutely literally represent what you've seen on the cartoon, which is what we want from our toys. So, really, really good stuff for sure. Yeah. So I've, as I picked up one of the original play sets I had as a kid as well to go as the background. So they they all scale in quite nicely, which is pretty fun. Um, what do we have here? So Rock and Roll Collectibles have come through with the I think it's Target exclusive oh, Van. Rob Damn. Van Dam. Yeah. Get your RVDs in there. So Very been nice. looking for that one for a while. The night he cashed in the money in the bank all those years ago to win the title. So RVD has joined my Ultimates, which uh, they're making loads of now for WWE. They want to slow down on those bad boys. Uh, I've got a reach. I've got a reach. Here we go. So uh, what I know Dan probably needs to get himself, as he hasn't yet, is oh, little baby Anakin. Of course, he's already here. He's already upstairs. Got him. Of course I have. Of course I have. Yeah. Good. Been waiting for that one for a while, so yeah, I cancelled some of my Hasbro pre orders because there were so many coming in at once. But I didn't cancel to little Annie, so little Annie has a has made it finally to the Black yeah, Series. He, he was so genuinely, if him. I had to write a list of my like most wanted Star Wars figures, he was on it for a long time. So I, of course, I, I didn't cancel my pre order of Annie, I got mine from like Star Action, I think, when he first appeared. So all good. <laughs> One I did forget to cancel from Hasbro Pulse because I had an influx of emails last week if your item is going to be shipping soon was the C-3PO wow. and Super Battle Droid 2-pack. Because that one I thought, oh, I'll just wait on that one. But <laughs> forgot to press the button. So here it is. There's £50 I didn't want to spend straight away. <laughs> but at least it's a at least it's a cool 2-pack. So it is nice to have him. And at least they have now announced we are going to get Super Battle Droids single-packed after they... It's going to be quite hard to army build that one with C-3PO not having a normal head. So that has arrived. Most of my G.I. Joes, there's no G.I. Joes here because they pretty much all did get the they did get the chop this week. Uh, the vamps. There was a lot yeah, of them. I've reordered some of them. So PayPal credit trick out there. Wait till they come in stock on Hasbro Pulse and then it will charge you in one bulk order. So you can use PayPal credit because it goes over £100. So... I've got Duke and Scarlet and Rakondo and all those I've reordered, but once they're in stock, so hopefully they'll be here next week and I've spread the bill over four months. So as a as a top collecting tip for you. Uncle Addy's come through, so I will join the uh, Punk Turtle Club. Shout out to Mike Hex, who is also helping me out there on the the mean streets of uh, Boston, I believe, uh, trying to find some of these uh Hall of Fun items. We've got me the mighty Bebop and Super Rockstar, whichever way he says the the robot versions. But um, I needed the punks, so they've come in what, from what state, is my, what state is Mike in? Mike, is it Massachusetts? Or am I making that up? Somewhere yeah, on the East yeah. Coast. Yeah, he's not far from me. Yeah, I think it's it's MA. I think his state is MA, which is could be Massachusetts. Yes. I think. Be Mass yeah, he's in yeah. Massachusetts. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so he's uh, he's on the Do hunt. You know, I remember, so look I, I remember that from the, the you remember the film Road uh, Road Trip. 
where it was like Boston and Austin, and she went to the wrong place. Anyone remember that? No, just me. Right. Boston, uh, Austin, Massachusetts. <laughs> this is, yeah, that's what, that's what happens on road trip. He goes oh, to I the love wrong, that. He goes to the wrong uh, university. Uh, I I remember that movie yeah. and that scene as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a good they film. left him to feed the snake. Yeah, there you go. It's a good <laughs> they want to eat. Yeah, I rem- Tom Green. Oh, I remember the snake thing. bit. Yeah. I remember the snake bit. Yeah, yeah. Unleash the fury. <laughs> I guess literally all I remember is the snake bit, but I do remember the snake bit. Um, what else we got? So Uncle Ali, I had to try and get the... Uh, didn't want to pay that uh, VAT, so I had to add some other items in there. Clever. So this is a Dan Who exclusive. I haven't shown this one on the channel yet, oh, so nice. I forgot to. So there's, uh, there's, there's Elkhorn from Dungeons & Dragons uh, for literally half the UK retail price from Uncle Ali, so that's... Uh, that's a nice little bonus. So he is here for the D and D collection. Would fit in quite nicely, I think, with your with your mythic regions as well. Pretty cool uh, dwarf character. So he is here from D and D. And uh, I see the saw figure's gone up. You were mentioning earlier. I've got another neck horror figure. Mm. So I've got the My Bloody Valentine Ultimate Edition from that sort of classic eighties slasher. I wouldn't see like so the 3D a... remake of that like ages ago. Do you know when 3D was a gimmick in the cinema and you wore the? Like, oh yeah. I wouldn't seen the Valentine yeah. 3D. I remember that. I've never seen that that version. I assume yeah. it's not very good. I like the original, yeah. but I've never seen the. It's like a 2000 3D version. Ish, it's got to be. It's got to be about 2000. Yeah, not, not great. What should we go to? Right, let's go to a let's go to a Grail. Let's have a toy Grail for oh, the nice. third year okay. anniversary. Yeah, of course, yeah. of course. <laughs> So I've I've bit the bullet like Tanner on something I needed oh, from the Mondo okay. collection. There uh, it is. So oh, there man. is not not just the normal version. I found the timed exclusive wow. edition missing of piece. Mr. Threes. Yes, the missing piece of the Batman animated collection. You'll have to go to the video to see the figure because it is in already in the collection. But I do have Mr. Freeze, including his wife's tombstone that's covered in snow, oh, which is the nice. exclusive accessory. So yeah, it was a bit of a, a bit of an eBay. For bidding any, war for anyone curious that was the last mondo batman animated series figure that jay needed for his collection and it was the first one released that so was hard to get and he's finally now got it so he's got the whole set now. i wish i'd got it 16 seconds before the auction ended because it was 100 pound cheaper into the last 16 wow, seconds was it? Was it that when intense? the bidding war it was one of them i i got it with two seconds to go it was on this last sunday i was sat there clicking at seven o'clock so uh, uh how do you pay right. for it if you don't mind sharing you're in a safe place. Right? Um, well, no, she's downstairs. I'm sure she knows how much I pay for it. PayPal credit came to the rescue. £340. Yeah, yeah. So that what you'd expect on the aftermarket for that as I well. I suppose it's only £100 over the retail yeah. it would have been when it came out originally. So that was my justification. It was only... And it was a rare reversion. So but, uh, it did yeah, go it cheaper you, than the you standard got it for version. You quid. Just tell you. You got yeah, it for 100 quid. Yeah. 100 quid. That's <laughs> what we want. Right. Why we're, why we're rolling in the 12-inch, let's keep it going. Because Comic and Cocktails have come through with the latest hot toy, oh. which is the Hugh Jackman Days of Future Past oh, 1960s yeah. edition, when he's back in the 60s. So he's got all these sort of flowery shirts on and the bone claws and everything. So that's the deluxe one that's one gone of the on the uh, best hot, live action X Men films, I think. Without sure. a doubt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted I wanted representation of of Hugh Jackman in the collection, so that was my favourite X Men film. I think that was the best of the yeah. sort of X Men films. So I like the sixties uh, look. So he has made it in, and we got two more to go. I've saved the best for last. Okay, but uh, why not? Let's make it toddy time on the three year anniversary here. So the Kyle Rayner and Kilowog two pack from Amazon dot com has come in. That was a five minutes sell out in the uk pretty much so i had to go to amazon.com so todd's really a todd's starting to hit over here he's selling out in minutes yeah it looks so good Killer what looks good it looks big and beefy yeah it's kind of a rainier i particularly wanted because the other one was really hard to get in the uk the 90s version but the final pickup then i'm talking 90s i've saved this for dan so i have been collecting the super seven ultimate okay. power rangers and the display wasn't quite doing it for me it needed something in the background to really make the collection pop so i've been trolling mm. ebay for a few weeks and i've managed to find something so i've gone back to my childhood here Hang on, and the... i found I fucking knew it it's yeah I... it's... yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Of course found it was. the zordon command center playset for 40 quid as well so i didn't think it was a too badly priced. It still works, I believe, as well. Can you put the flip and head the... on there and the, you put the flip head up and down on it? 
Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't even know. I've never seen oh, so basically, him. do you know the flip head figures? You put him on that, yeah. that thing next to Zordon. That oh, there's yeah. a stuff. Yeah. yeah. And when okay. you pull it up through that thing, he transforms one in the in the thing. I, I don't know how okay. to articulate it. Go and watch a video, oh, I... but... <laughs> I, I didn't remember that. Yeah, I remember having this as a kid. So I was like, oh, I wonder if I can find this. So you but can morph them. I... Every, you, go, you take them up the lift and they morph. It's pretty cool. My cousin had a, it. I never had it's it. It's got a wire on the back of something. So to be some form of it. I know it lights up, I think, as well. But yeah, so by literally one millimetre, and I'm not lying, by one millimetre, oh, wow. it fits. fits in the shelf. So that will be the background to the Super 7 Power Rangers. Because I like to mix these sort of diorama and background pieces into the collection. It so, works. As I said, I've been there yeah. in person and it really does work for like uh, display pieces for sure. Jay, mm -hmm. with that diorama, you're going to need the Alpha 5 Hasbro from the Lightning Collection as well mm -hmm. to pop in there. I'm I'm holding hope that Super Seven will do him because they've done oh, they've been such shit. a bulking done skull. Alpha, they? they haven't done Alpha Five, yeah. so hopefully they will. They should do. So if they continue, will... we don't know if they're going to do yeah. any more. No, we don't. But we will we will see. But I have a background piece, and uh, yeah, that is it from me. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, Super Seven are cancelling left, right, and centre <laughs> at the minute. Uh, shout out, obviously jay's youtube channel hopefully you're already subscribed but i know he posted a birthday video today which uh, i have not seen yet but i'm assuming you were showing off a few of these on your birthday haul video um, pretty much there's a few other things in there that yeah, i haven't yeah. brought up but yeah i just thought, thought i'd do a quick one before we went on this evening because i haven't put a video up in 10 days apart from live streams so i thought i better do one there you go so i've posted it in the chat right now so save it for later people and subscribe if you haven't already jay's toy collection uk uh, as you can see the man has a massive impressive collection um worth the subscribe absolutely if you're a fan of the channel it's all part of the network all part of the same branches of the same tree uh, right, I owe uh, I owe Alexi. I'm assuming it was Alexi, by the way. I don't know, but I am assuming it was Alexi. Uh, a super chat shot. Um, so let me go full screen. I've went for Disarano, Alexi. I don't know if you, you do need another not. drink. Oh look, there's James. James, James I'm, I'm donated two $15. Shots now. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> happy birthday, legends and liquor, and happy birthday, Jay. I'm stuck at work. Catch you all later. Oh, I, well, I appreciate you, Saint James. Of course. So uh, I'll take a super chat shot for Alexi. There's one Disarano, and then I'll go back to the rum, uh, cherry rum, uh, for James's super chat. There you go, straight from the bottle, no messing around. I'll join I'll you be, as well. Look. I would be fucked if I drank one of those shots by now. Ah. <laughs> the fact he's mixing the shots, I don't fancy his chances <laughs> to make it to the end of the night. I did warn Amanda because <laughs> Amanda seen me like drink, <laughs> bring all this drink up, and I was like, I may. I may come to bed a little bit intoxicated, you know. I may be giving you a little bit of a, nudge, a bit of a nudge. You know what I mean? She's like, <laughs> she's going to well, pretend to be asleep by the time I go to bed. So like, head under the pillow. Or something. You 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 give a nudge, nudge, it'll actually be the dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was that? Uh, what was that? Who said something? Oh, my bad. Sorry. Uh... I said, Dan, you probably wouldn't even make it to the bedroom. You'd be laid on the corridor yeah, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, just... yeah. She'll find me in the morning. She'll find me in the morning, just lying out on the floor for sure. Ted yeah. licking my you face or something. You and your birthday <laughs> suit on the landing. And you'll have a tooth missing as well with Mike Tyson's tattoo on your face. <laughs> yeah, like Tiger in this room for some random reason. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I start, my, my, my throat is starting to feel a bit warm. That's got to be like five or six shots of just... <laughs> Of uh, of spirits right now, isn't it? So I, got, I can I, I feel warm. Is all I'm saying. I feel warm. Um, we're still yeah, early in the bad time. Uh, did you say you're drinking as well, Craig? You're joining me with shots. Yeah, I've just done one. Wait, what you what shots you got? Uh, red leg. Red leg. Rum. Is that what is that? Is that oh, it's a rum, spiced rum. 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 Very nice. Very yeah, cool. spiced rum. It's got vanilla, ginger. Um, yeah, vanilla and ginger in it. Very nice. Uh, your biggest fans in the chat as well. Dale is around, right? So hi, Dale. Yeah, Dale. Uh, there you go. Let me go full screen. Give give Dale a shout out properly, right? Full screen. Well, I love my fans, so it's nice to see you again, Dale. Thunder, thunder, <laughs> singular. <laughs> thunder. Fans. There's no fans. S. There's no S. Fans. There's no S. <laughs> Don't forget the S. <laughs> 
shout out Dale. Dale was what he was asking about you earlier as well. To be fair, he went, "Where's Craig?" Be Jowl, not be yeah. really not Jowl, Adam. <laughs> All right. God. <clears throat> but uh, thank you very much to uh, uh, Dale. It was Alexi, or uh, I think it was Alexi, or it could have been the real Friday after all. I don't know. He says, Alexi, who is Alexi? My name is a commentator incognito. My name is Guy Incognito. <laughs> yeah. I do love a dog Simpsons. with a poofy tail. I do love a Simpsons reference. Um, I'm coming to bed intoxicated. Be ready, uh, says Alexi. Uh, Daniel S. Okay, another super chat. Thank you very much. Daniel S. Says, happy three years, Dan. We need a new emojis based on regular guest members. J, Craig, Hannah, uh, DES, and Cloud emojis please so basically the way channel emojis work you get a certain amount of emojis based off your channel memberships so i would basically need a few more channel members to be able to unlock new emojis if that makes any type of sense um so I, but i would absolutely love to have emojis of everyone's faces as the I, box I, the I box mean, works absolutely do that. Te technically i may already have one because of the tells and t one so even if it's not my favorite tell uh, I'm not going to say which tell it is. If Daniel you want to throw that up in the chat, or you more than welcome to. Just to give happy three Friday years, Friday. Dan. We need new emojis based on regular guest members. There you go. Jay, Craig, Tanner, Des, and Fox emoji, please. Uh, thank you very much, Daniel S. I appreciate that. Uh, there you go. I'm going to give you that a like. And it's a good idea. I may look into that, but I, I, I definitely think I need some more channel members. So if you're not a channel member and you want to become one then it does contribute to that type of nonsense. Uh, Guy Cognito is in the room. Guy Cognito, are you there? <laughs> yes. Hello, hello. Did you not know we were streaming today? Uh, I didn't, but you know what? I was thinking about it, and I think while I was watching the stream on Thursday, you guys had mentioned that it was going to happen today. So Andrew that's Temple on me. Andrew donated $14. Right, so another super chat talking. Another Thank shot you. now, and a tongue twister while drinking. Uh-oh. How can a clam cram in a clean uh -huh. cream can? Oh dear, okay, okay. So I've got two shots here I've got to take here. Let me take one for Daniel S first with the emoji. Thank you very much. Are we going to get to see Dan puke on screen? You might. He's right. And he's mixing a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's literally, of the three I've got on the table is rum, vodka, and disarray. Oh my God. Can you get the yeah, uh, It's a dangerous mix. Dangerous yeah. mix. Honestly, that I feel my sour. chest feels warm. Like it's, it's, I can feel it in from the love. Just, just yes, yeah, just it's the three-year anniversary love. Um, Dale is here. I'm by so where do you need to be for your busy weekend? I, I, do you know what? I'm, yeah, do you know what? I probably. Sh yeah, I'm going to. Do you know what? I'm it's depressing, but I'm going to my like my, my, my an anniversary of my friend's death tomorrow. So like, mm. it's very depressing. Like so, maybe it is not a good idea. Maybe oh, hopefully you don't drink. have to drive yeah, uh, uh, make an early drive mm. uh, if, if it really comes out amanda doesn't drive like I'm, I'm is anyone else in one of those couples where it's like it's not spoken about but there's always someone in the couple that drives everywhere you both drive there you go jc jay knows exactly what i'm talking about because yeah, yeah, the driver yeah. yeah i'm the driver so if me and amanda are going somewhere like it's not spoken it's just a, it's just taken for granted that i'm going to drive but tomorrow i may say to her look come on now Come on now. Um, right, Andrew's got another super chat, as we've seen. Another shot now and a tongue twister for Dan. All right, let me take this other shot, and then I'll do the tongue twister, and then we will jump to Jamie and Cole. Uh, I do appreciate everyone's patience today. Again, it's going to be one of those shows. If you want to jump on at any point, let me know, because we usually do different groups for Legend of the Licker, but because it's a Friday night, we're out of schedule. I understand it might not work very well, so... As soon as you're available, just send me a DM. I'll send you the link. You can jump on just like Alexi just did. I know I know. Rush was in the chat asking. Um, but I'm going to be here for a little bit. Anyway, don't worry. Don't worry. We've got plenty to go. Uh, but let me take Dan this. didn't even know he was streaming tonight. That's true. I, I, I had to wait for Amanda to confirm, you know. I had to get the green light from the boss. It was Saturday. Then it was Friday. Then it was Saturday. Then it was she, Friday. What's annoying is that I moved it to Friday today because Amanda said she was going out. Then Amanda cancelled her plans today and was like, I'm not going out now. And I'm like, well, tough, I'm streaming now. So, Drunk Dan's <laughs> her own problem. All right, okay. Drunk Dan will be everybody's problem when you take the <laughs> camera into the bedroom with you. <laughs> <laughs> this way, let's go, let's go. All right, guys. <laughs> uh, uh, members, members, only. All... <laughs> members only, yeah. We'll create members that channel only, membership. Amanda. Let's go. Um, <laughs> He'll create a uh, only Dan's. <laughs> Super chat for the next physician. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. 
Um, <laughs> that's, uh, take his trousers that's off and edit his head off. Do, the I heard. End of the um, look, this is for the channel. But channel members, don't, this is what the channel members usually see. All right, just don't give, don't, don't give away our secrets. <laughs> right, Andrew's says, got. A, I can't even speak normal, let alone a fucking tongue twister. Uh, how can a clam cram in a clary? Oh, hang on. How can a clam cram in a clean cream van? How can a clam cram in a clean clean? How can I clam cram in a clean cream van? How can I clam cram? Can, can, not van. Can. Oh, can. can. How can I clean? Oh, how can I can? How can I clam cram how, how in a clean clean clam... can? Yeah. How can I clam cram in a clean cram? Clean, yeah. Clean, yeah. Cream yeah. Cream that was close. It was close enough. Close it's enough. Cream. He hasn't got a chance. He started the stream off. Somebody from Minnesota did a chat and he said it was from Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> and now we're getting vans and clans and crams. So. Is, that ain't even me being drunk. That's just me being dyslexic as fuck. That's all that is. So please bear on, with yeah. me. Um, Get the catchphrase out. We this is what I'm worried about. Look, this is my view. Streamlabs with buttons and screens and cameras like... This is what I worry about, not being able to press the right buttons on Streamlabs. It's fucking technical shit. Um, right, let's um, let's go to Jamie. Jamie, bring us bring us back. Bring us back. Talk some toys with us, Jamie. Uh, firstly, if there is an emoji for anyone, I'm I'm claiming that duck one. There is a saying. duck emoji. Drop the duck emojis in the chat for the quack quack commissioner. Um, firstly, I've got the two pack from Game. So that's twenty five quid. So. Very nice. Oh my god, I overpaid for that. <laughs> <laughs> it is the same thing we got in 2015. Everyone's getting everyone's getting that two pack so cheap, and I bought it for full price. I bought all of that set for full price, by the way. Just putting that out there. I don't have a YouTube <laughs> channel. <laughs> it makes no difference. <laughs> so Ben Riley came Very in. Nice. I'm just getting my drink, Jay. Um. um like you and Jay, got little Anakin. Little Annie. Whoa. Very nice. That wasn't you being drunk. My camera did actually just go really fun. Oh, good, good. I was a bit <laughs> concerned for a second then. <laughs> got the Padme to go with Anakin. Very nice. I'm also drinking and... Koppelberg to wash all this shit down with. Brand new bottle. There we go. Thanos. It is Legend of Liquor after all. We are... It is a celebration. Oh, got man. Amiga from season two of The Bad Batch. Very nice. And then I got a very special parcel that I need to thank you and John Compulsive Collector for. Oh, okay. So hang on, give me one second. Let me just send these links out to people. Let's I think I've got. That back up. I've got Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> right, everyone meet at Jamie's. It's a... <laughs> <Pizza. laughs> we're we're seeing you at Jamie's this weekend. Right. So uh, yeah. So basically, uh, John, our friend John, compulsive collector, won the competition on the inner circle. He won like the Knights Duck Racing to uh, to win a prize to win his very own. Hellfire Hank, all right? The mascot of Dan Who Reviews, he won his own. But, but he decided to donate it to to Jamie, who was a runner-up. Uh, so Jamie has now received this Hellfire Hank. So shall we do a live unboxing here, Jamie, instead of Hellfire Hank? Let's, let's do it. <laughs> Only makes sense. Make sure your camera's focused here for this one, all right? Give it a little, give it a little clean. Are we good? It just went <laughs> worse. <laughs> Are you sure so it's not me? Back. Are you sure it's not me? All right. All right. It's definitely not you. Okay, cool. I think right, it's so the light like, behind you. Hal Fire Hank unboxing right now to celebrate the three year anniversary. Let's go. Hal Fire Hank. Oh, Jesus. What's going on? It's a potato. Oh, it is the plastic free packaging. You've got to be close. Careful. What's going on? Um, It came for me, Greg. Ah! <laughs> ah! 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 There he is! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> He's coming for you. I knew he was coming for someone. He's coming for you, Greg. <laughs> now, Jamie, <laughs> tell the people, is it as terrifying in real life? It actually is. <laughs> this is my mouth fuel. <laughs> Show it to the camera once more. So for people who haven't been watching The Legend of Liquor this oh. season three, this is the duck that was meant to be meant to be Greg Finstad's prize for being the duck race champion of season two. <laughs> but but Greg, for some reason, just doesn't respond to my DMs when I ask him for his address. I don't know why, because it's a lovely duck. Uh, shout out Mark Tat Tak, who custom made that for the champion. 
Um, but uh, he's clearly escaped my house and climbed into this package for Jamie by accident. So I apologise about that, Jamie. It's going to make its way around this group before it makes it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so the Hank was in there. Good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Hank was in there. Yeah. Hank was still in there. Good, good. But there, we have a stowaway. We have a stowaway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. There is a stowaway. The duck <laughs> has made it to, to haunt the quack quack commissioner. There he is. There he is. Yes. Now Jamie's got to look he's, after it for a little bit. terrifying. And Greg, if you give us your address, we will send it to you, all right, Greg? Please, Greg, we are talking to Greg now. This is just... Send us your address, Greg, all right? He's coming for you. Whether you like it or not, Greg, he's coming for you. We're going to find out. Greg, gonna speak to your family Greg, and get your address. Greg is absolutely doing time somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> he's in Parkhurst or something like that, and he's like, I'll get absolutely fucking crucified if this action figure arrives here. <laughs> Yeah, Greg is definitely ignoring us on purpose. He's. We'll find a way. We are going to find a way. To get I tried. Him. I tried. I said, you need to, yeah. to contact Dan. He was just like, nope, LOL. <laughs> yeah, little bastard, little bastard. Uh, Kenny's joined us. Kenny, how you doing? Hey, how's it going, everybody? How Happy about? Friday. Happy three years. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wow, welcome, welcome to the nonsense, my friend. Uh, None of us thought he'd make it. Cheers to you. I know, three years. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy. Still here. We're still here. Right. So, Jamie, was that your last pickup, right? Yes, it was. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> uh, I think we've got someone else popping in as well. We'll keep going around the board. We'll go to call next. Uh, Christopher Allen. It's, it's only Rich M's favourite right here in the chat right now. Christopher Allen, special, special appearance. Christopher, how are you doing, my friend? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm I'm better now that you are here, my friend. You are also one of my favourites, but don't tell anyone. Don't get get around. I don't want to make them feel jealous. Do you know what I mean? Like people get very jealous very easily around here. So one of my favourites, Christopher Allen. You got you got any message for for Rich? You want to shout out Rich while he's not here? Hey, Rich, come join us. There you go. Yeah, Rich, where are you at, Rich? I, I genuinely, to be fair, I don't like bugging him because I already bug him on a Thursday night. So I didn't ask him to come on, but Rich. If you're around, you know you're welcome, my friend. You know you are welcome. Uh, right, let's go to call. Cool. Now, you are in your holiday home in Spain, chilling. So, again, yeah. you haven't got many of your figures with you, but you can still talk us through some pickups, whatever you want, my friend. Yeah. The floor is yours. If, if you guys can imagine what they look like. We can. Happy we will use our, everyone yeah. close your eyes, right? Every, <laughs> everyone collectively watching the stream right now, just close your eyes, right? Listen to Cool's yeah. voice. And just imagine. I've got my notes here anyway, so I don't forget, because my memory is fucking shit. So, and there we um, yeah, so... Pretty much Master of the Universe, I'll start with that. I picked up all the cartoon series. I just bought them all just because I like those characters. Oh, wait, okay. Never have you got them to show? Or... I've got two of them. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I've got all of those. I've got the He Man, Skeletor, okay, the Trap Draw, Beast Man. Um, is it Layla or Leela, the female? And then Leela. that's it, pretty much. Yeah, those are the ones I did buy. And then going to uh, BMs. In Stoke on Trent, there was a Super Seven. They had a few teenage, teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Super Sevens. They had this cat, like with the jail outfit, oh, with like the ball and chain. Scratch. Yeah, Scratch. they had mm -hmm. it for twenty four ninety nine. Oh, and they had the Sewer Surfer Mikey, which I got. I got the Mikey, um, which I never thought I'd see in, in B and M's. I was like, "Fucking, I'll pick that up." And then, have you opened it? Have you got it out? Uh, no, they're waiting for me. Like. When I get back to open stuff, because I pre-ordered loads of stuff being in Spain. It's yeah. been like, you know, so when I go home, I've got the some more the stuff. The Super right? 7 stuff, right? The Turtle Super 7 stuff is genuinely really good. The only thing yeah. people don't like is the price. The $50 price is too much. But when at B&M, getting them for that price, it feels much yeah. better. And they're, they're nice figures, honestly. Really good. Yeah, they are good. And then other things I got were going to Mythic Legions. Clouds know which characters I'm talking about. I got Kalazir, Kalazir okay, the I'm, Genie. I'm trying to remember. Like, Oh no, the I gym. think I've seen that. I think he has showed the yeah. genie to me, yeah. I got him, and then I also got the Samir Scroll Warder, which is like one of the wizards. Just got him. Um, Legends wise, I got two Scarlet Spiders that arrived, one to keep on the wall, one just to open up. And I got a Hellfire hat that day you guys dropped in the chat on oh, Star, Star Action, action figures. figures, yes. Yeah. Hellfire yeah. I got one of them on pre order. We'll, we'll straight just order it. So when I go back to England in two weeks' time, I'll open him up. Very nice. And that, that's pretty much it. I've pre-ordered loads of stuff, but like, yeah, that's what I'm, you know, I'm focused on at the moment. So yeah. it's, nice, it's nice that you got a little pile 
uh, waiting for you yeah. when you get back as well. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. My brother moans about that though because he's like, there's like 15 parcels there. Oh, so you have to like... take them in for you. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, my dog as well will go mental. So like he'll be chilling out, and my dog. That's how you know the mailman. So he'll go mental, like you know. So yeah. I'm not, I like knowing he's going through that pain while I'm on holiday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Just Amazon yeah. there at the door every day. You're just ordering yeah. toilet roll and whatever yeah. just to wind your dog up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ted's the same. Yeah. Ted, if I hear the, if I know the postman's coming because Ted will start barking, so I'm with you. Yeah, fair one. <laughs> yeah, so that's it for me. That's it. Very nice. Yeah, Hellfire yeah. Hank, by the way, the, the Hellfire Goon, the, uh, star, uh, star action figures in the UK started like putting out random figures that they found in their warehouse or, on their website like the love triangle three pack l- loads of old marvel legend waves yeah. um so if you got lucky with any of them bravo but yeah how fire hank was up there for a little bit i'm still waiting for my commission check off hasbro for the retail price going up on that but um <laughs> nothing so far nothing so far but it, it is this they're channel. all ducks really aren't they Dan? Look, this, 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 all this, ducks. Is, this channel is the reason that how fire hank is that much on the aftermarket let's be honest it's not because it's an x-men villain that's not the truth it's, it's dan who reviews all right just saying uh, right trevor's joining us as well so one six shooter and also Tariq is is joining us as well i've sent him the link so a few extra people will be joining us there's oh. trevor trevor you there hey there yeah is. i heard mythic legions i had to jump on uh, there, of course the, he did the magic words he has been summoned he has been summoned I'm, he is not the genie is it you say mythic legions he appears. he appears i'm obligated those shelves are getting more under packs, contract by the way every time i see you on camera they're getting more packed no, these these are getting less packed. I think actually. Uh, no, there's definitely they're a bit more crammed from the last few I see for sure. Um, <laughs> right, cl- cl- you're the perfect time, Trevor, because Cloud is next up, and I'm sure Cloud mm. has some uh, something you can talk about. Cloud. Absolutely. Do you know what I do have? Fuck all. <laughs> I don't. I have no new pickups. Um, I've actually had to give up a lot of pre-orders. Just shitty situation. Um, I do have to catch up with my buddy Stefan to get a figure I bought off of him weeks ago, and I have to catch up with Trevor for a trade, but otherwise, it's, I think the last time we were on, I showed you guys everything I, um, I picked up as far as, like, Mythic Legions, Marvel Legends, like the Wolverine yeah. two-packs and stuff, but yeah, it's, there's been, there's been nothing, it's gonna be a low for a little while, I think, um, but I do have my... My top two for later, so I'm ready Perfect. to go with that. Perfect. Well, Cloud, you know we are all sending you nothing but positive vibes when it comes to that situation. Um, and you are still enabling people because in the chat, uh, Dale it. Dale says, thank you, Cloud, for enabling me. He is unbelievable in hand. And he's Arachnagor. talking about Arachnagor. I'm glad you said it because I would have sneezed mm. or something instead. Right. So, again, <laughs> yeah, this week, Mythic Legion, I think, is my favorite figure of the year so far. Um, Good one. Yeah, very nice. Uh, Andrew also shouts what's up to Trevor. Um, and Sup U Crew from the other Andrew as well. Um, what's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, unless it's UPS, Dan, who reviews, they hate your door. Yeah, my US, my ups parcel from uh, from Mike arrived with <laughs> half the box ripped off. Like half of the box I see that, Tanner. ripped off. What's Tanner showing off? What's Tanner showing off? So uh, I just noticed it's something incredibly filthy. funny with the baby t- turtles from the Master Accessory Go set. On. So based on how two of them are sat. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Is that how? It's, it's, I, I literally uh, had them on the desk next to me and I'm thinking, oh hang on a second. This Boy. looks rather, uh, uh, is that, rather. Is that how turtles are made? That's well, who knows? Yeah. That's yeah. bros being bros, that's guys. Donnie and Mikey, definitely Donnie and Mikey. Oh, no, no, no. Def- <laughs> yeah. that. It's the doesn't... only Dan's content we mentioned earlier. Look, there. look, <laughs> the, the cartoon even tells you Donnie does machines, right? He doesn't need another turtle. <laughs> He does machines, right? He's got an AI girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah, they those, literally, like, it's never been a distance. secret. It's never been a secret. He does machines. Well, like, what do you think Metalhead is? Come on, people. Yeah, he does. Uh, what did he build Metalhead? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> for the Metalhead. That, that vacuum isn't for cleaning the floor. I tell you that much, right? right? He's, got, he's got this attachment too right here on this. Like, oh, hang on. What's, what's Trevor showing off? What have you got? Oh, you've got the fancy one. He, he's got that attachment on there too, so, you know. Yeah, that's only you. That's only you. could do a lot. Yeah, you can do a lot with that. There you go. There you go. <laughs> right, Craig, bring us back home. Save us from the turtle talk. Craig, Craig, just before you crack on, now you may say this is a pure coincidence. You may not. 
but I've got to shoot him. <laughs> 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 Fucking swat you are. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, it's been good to catch up with you. Adam, all. tell the people where they can find you online before you go. Uh, you can find me at figurecave.collectibles. And yes, Perfect. just like Craig, don't forget the dot. Right. <laughs> Enjoy your weekend, my friend. <laughs> bye bye. Follow me first before you follow Adam. <laughs> All right. Bye bye, Adam. And uh, let's go to Craig then. Craig, my friend, what you got? Show us some new toys. All right. Um, I can't remember what I showed off last time. Uh, I think it was just the new X Men uh, 97 wave. Um, it's pretty much everything from Toy Fair, I'm guessing, onwards. Okay. But I picked one of these up from Game. Can you say that? Because I can't. Uh, yeah, white, white, black panther. Uh, say the name. A tutor zazera. A tutor zazera. Yeah, name. Honestly, I'm not even. Yeah, what? I couldn't say either. I couldn't say either. Don't worry. I appreciate the attempt. What? What did you say, Cloud? It rolled off your tongue more naturally. A tutor zazera. Yeah, two two I think I, I, I had to <laughs> okay. review that figure. I literally had a voice note so I could press play every two seconds to remind myself <laughs> how to say it. <laughs> like, I didn't, I didn't read Just it. phonetically um, in front of the camera, yeah. taped to the camera. <laughs> Honestly, I couldn't read it, so I had to have a voice note back played back to me so I could know what it said. Thank God I wasn't the first to review that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, I picked up a Ryu. Uh, I think nice. I showed him off last time. I can't remember. Um. Shout out, yeah, um, I was Jada. I'm trying to be best friends with Jada at the minute. To be fair, so I have Ooh. a few of them on the show. I was zooming an R in. They also do cars with spinning through. wheels. Just putting that out there in case anyone wants yours. Really? Yeah, Honestly, yeah, they have spinning wheels. Uh, you'd never think a car would have spinning wheels, oh, no. would you? And opening doors. And then it was just more of what Dan picked up from in demand when he went. So this was what he gave to me at Toy Fair. Bucky, Captain Bucky, Bucky O'Hare. O'Hare. I love Bucky O'Hare. Uh, Shame that line finished. Uh, uh, and he obviously it was one that he picked up from his Forbidden Planet, which was the Eradicator. Bargain that wasn't it, Tanner? Yeah. Um, and then it's, what else did you pick me up? You picked me up one of these for three quid. Carl Weathers, uh, R.I.P. Yeah. So uh, he will go in the Star Wars Mandalorian. And then I got to Toy Fair, and Daniel Hayden had a few things for me. He picked me one of these up for four ninety nine. Kid Omega, very as nice. I'm, yeah, as I still need the bath in this wave. Is that a uh, so, chode, right? Chode, yeah. Um, and he also brought me this set that I asked him to pick up, and then I went to my game the next day, and Found they it. typically had it in. But I said to uh, Daniel, I was like, I'll just keep it, and I'll get the one off you. That's fair. So, uh, 28 or 24, was it, or Something like that. It's a good price. So that destroyer is really nice. So is the Hulk, to be fair. Uh, I put the Thor. I've been doing my Avengers shelf. So this Thor went on the big Avengers shelf. And then Destroyer's just here behind there, uh, which is a brilliant figure. It's very um, nice. Yeah. And then, he, and then it goes on to an import. Import? Now, this is a bit... Yeah, Are you doing imports? Yeah, it's been flying around for ages. I thought, is it ever going to make its way to me? Okay. And it was this guy. <laughs> of course it is. Uh, that turned up. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Some guy robbed it and did a review on it. Not yeah, very good I, uh, review. I hacked, but, I, ha- I hacked the system and got it uh, diverted to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> terrible. But yeah, he, so, and this was thanks to Gerard as well for picking it up on EU. Okay, so that has literally been to Jared, then been to me, and now it's at Craig. Yeah, so that is yeah. not available and in the UK. And it's staying with me. Yeah, it's it staying is, with it me It is now, Craig's. It so. was Craig's. They did they did a good deed and let me borrow it. But for the record, yeah. that cap is not available in the UK, will not be available on UK Pulse. If you want it, good luck. Ask your American friends or, or our European friends because it is not coming to the UK. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Toy Fair as well. I also, I don't know if many people can make it out. Up in my Wolverine display, I picked up the movie. If you remember the movie figures that come out, I picked up the two pack of Sabretooth and Wolverine from the first movie. Black, from the first movie, so Two that's up in the back back of the display, just right there. And then also from Toy Fair, next to the red and yellow sign, uh, is a Toy Biz Sabretooth and a Toy Biz Wolverine, which were out of packaging. 
but I picked them up just to sit them on the shelf so they look great up the top. Of course. Hopefully, yeah. I'll put some more pictures up on Instagram. Just haven't had time. Um, I also picked up another thing that I've been like waiting on and humming and ahhing about. And, uh, yeah, I went and did it. I'll take the price tag off it actually. Went and did it and nice. picked up the Mezco Wolverine. He, now, so, nice. so this was at Toy Fair. So Craig was walking around with us at Toy Fair and it did take a. It, he did get enabled by everybody <laughs> going, look, if you're a Wolverine collector, you do need to pick this up. And it was a great price, to be fair. Great price from uh, Into the into the Verse, I think it was. Toys the Universe. story didn't just start with that Toy Fair, though. It started with every single Toy Fair we've been to. There yeah. may have been a lot of peer pressure from yeah, us. Uh, <laughs> <Craig, laughs> not allowed to leave the Toy Fair Certain that. someone called Jay Toys Collection, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, um, maybe. Yes. Yeah. But, so nice. uh, based Basically, this was there at the last toy fair before the one we've just gone to, and it was a it was price ranging at 100 to 150. Yeah, went down to 100, and Jay was like, "You need to get that that much. You need to get it." I was like, "No, Jay, I don't have the money at this time." But then we went again, and someone had uh, we. It was on one of the first stalls we went to. Yeah, and, and uh, it was a good deal. It was 80 quid. Great price. So I. Great price, but obviously I I only just walked in the toy fair. I was like, yeah, knowing me, I'll find something away. else that I really, really want. So I went round the whole toy fair, and then <laughs> coming to the end, I went before we left. I was like, you know what? I've got eight quid left. Let's just blow it. Look, if it's still and, there before yeah. you leave, then you know it's a sign that you should be taking it. If you, yeah. if you came back around yeah. and it had gone, Definitely. then fate decided it wasn't to be. But because it was still yeah. there, it yeah. was calling your name. So, um, uh, I also... So, that leads to... I can't think of what else I brought from Toy Fair. Oh, I brought, picked up this guy for a couple of quid. Why not? Jay, yeah. yeah, you've never seen Full Soldiers still, right? No, I've still this get day out never the seen Small Soldiers. Go on, yeah, you get out. Hey, don't. What, what, are you saying not to Jared? No, because he'll end up having to buy them all, and they're fucking expensive. They are. No, he, he... thank you, Jared. Is that reason I haven't done it? <laughs> no, you do need to be strong. Wow, you need to watch the film <laughs> and be that strong. Leads, that will lead into my last pickup. I'll do that one last, but. Found jeans, yeah, why not? The Are you only sure one it's left. Not <laughs> I'm not too sure to be fair. She's got two heads, so that's a bonus. But um yeah, the only one I've got left in the whole two waves now is to get his Cyclops. Mate, so what I did you hear me say earlier? Him get him. He's, yes, he's I heard you. I will be picking him off he, sooner than Someone rather than Someone may have told me, so get it now. Compulsive Collector yeah. donated $14. Um, I also went on, wait, hold your breath one Happy second. anniversary to Legends and Liquor. Happy birthday to Jay. And happy almost 420th to Alexi. <laughs> uh, compulsive Collector, our good friend John, uh, has jumped in. He said shots, question mark. Happy anniversary uh, to Legends and Liquor, of course. Uh, happy birthday to Jay. And happy almost 420 to Alexi. Um, so thank you very much, John. <laughs> so I will take a shot for John. Uh, what should I go for? I'll join you. Yeah. I'll join well, yeah. you. What you're we drinking doing? rum, ain't you? I'll drink, I'll drink some more rum with you. So we drink a bit of rum? Yeah, yeah. I'll drink some rum. I do like, they oh, do some of the hard stuff, will you? They do this in every flavour. Oh, Jay doesn't drink, does he? Yeah. There's the rum. Is Jay the only person on this stream that doesn't drink? He's like completely uh, sober. I don't drink. Oh, fair play. Okay. I'm not saying yeah, a bad neither. thing, by the way. I've, you, you, fair play. I'm just curious. Just the, curiosity. The last just time I more. drank on this stream, I I spent a lot of money and picked up some uh, very... I, it was I was Michael Bay 3-0 Turtles I picked up at the oh, time. So oh, God. So embarrassing. Yeah. The last time I drank on the stream, I did a whole bottle of Cactus Jacks, and that ain't happening again. Yeah, I just felt that up way too high. But okay, here we go. Oh, God. Did you guys Black. know that less than 5% of the population is drunk at any given time? And that's an interesting fact. <laughs> that is an interesting <laughs> fact. Really the more you know. Ask me how I got it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever lived in a uh, sweet garden? 
<laughs> That's got him. Sweets in the garden. Sweet, sweet garden gate. Right. Gate, gate, sweet garden. You, what was funny about that, Jay? You couldn't get away from the gate. There was just a picture of a gate. Gate, gate, sweet garden. Sweet garden gates. Like that famous catchphrase, sweet garden gates. I use that phrase all the time now, to be fair. If anything, you've created a catchphrase. Sweet phrase. garden gates. Sweet garden. <laughs> if something's really good from now on, right, we should just, like, it should be sweet garden gates. That's a great pickup. <laughs> all right, that's what we do from now on. All right, if, you, if you're curious what we're talking about, the inner circle people all right go and check out the inner circle if you're a channel member you're missing out on all the fun uh right craig back to you back to you you've got something else right back to craig so i went out today and obviously i've been on a nostalgia trip with this movie that jay's not seen so i picked this up Mm -hmm. today so i'm gonna watch that later tonight but i only picked that up because of the pickups that i got this small well i've got one this morning one's due to come tomorrow okay but i Found it at a good price. Okay. Um, and it's Archer. Oh wow! The twelve inch, inch, first twelve okay. inch in my collection. Yeah, I brought that six inch. I thought he's not the right oh, size. You can handle and... twelve inches now. Okay, you've been warming up. Yeah, I can okay. handle. <laughs> All right, he can handle the. Tw- okay. He's ready for it. A few yeah. shots of rum, and he's he's ready for that twelve inch. And there's a bonus. He he also works. Oh, does he talk though? Or does he just light up? We can't Probably, hear him. Is yeah. he talking? He says, I am Archer, leader of the Gorgonites. Okay. And he growls. Oh, we and can't then he defends defend Gorgonite Castle. We believe I don't it. Know if I can actually... We believe it. Just give him a hug. Give him a hug. There you go. Did we hear that? No, we can't hear him. No. no. And the lights work, so that's a bonus. And he also has swishing action with his arm as well. Oh, you just like figures that really, <laughs> And he does the Oh, that's why you brought the 12 inches. Okay. 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 That's all right. Now we know why you wanted the bigger scale. Big enough, though, so, you know. Bigger hand. Uh, it was a bonus to find him with actual working lights and sounds because he's 27 years old. No, that is a good thing, for sure. Bigger. Mm. So, but the only thing that was missing, he had a sword and um, his bow and arrow, his crossbow. But to have him with his crossbow and sword, you'd be paying the price of getting him in a pack. Yeah, yeah. And the ones in the boxes, a lot of them said they hadn't tested them. So for all we know, I could have spent so much on a box figure to open him and the lights not and working. sounds not work. At least but he's got like when it comes to stuff like that, when you're backtracking on, well. on figures like that, it's all about what it represents. Like it stands on the shelf, it you represents the film you're looking. Yeah, you'll be but, fine. But, you know, and tomorrow, uh, a lot of people go, "You can't have Archer and not have the other one that come with him," because they only ever released two. the two inch, yeah. twelve inch, and it was Archer. And tomorrow, I have Chip Hazard coming, hopefully, nice. which. Uh, which is there was two released actually. The first one was released with actual Tom Lee Jones's voice, but they had to change it. So the one I've got coming is the second one, but they changed the phrase because he says "die Gorgonite scum" or something, and they had to change that oh, for really? the reason of licensing. So uh, basically, the second one that comes is not Tom Lee Jones talking, but the, he has got phrases and that and the lights work and he's got a gun with the chip hazard so i paid a bit more than this one but this one was only 30 i paid for it, and the other one is 60 so you know and they'd look nice on on display uh, just like that toy so. soldier figures are or collectibles online are very pricey it's and, it's one of yeah. those movies where if you want a mint on card figure you're looking at over 150 quid it's like they're not cheap they are great, though. Again, if you've seen the film, you know why. You know why. Uh, Kevin Beatty in the chat says, Everything else is just a toy. And if you've seen the film, you get that phrase. <laughs> California Red Devil says, That toy is old enough to rent a car. Uh, absolutely <laughs> yes. is. Um, and, and it Dan- was a Hasbro made toy. <laughs> Daniel S well. says, That's a sweet garden pickup, Craig. Very cool. Um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> using that new phrase. Very nice. Very nice. Um, right, cool. Is that, is that, is that your last pickup, Craig? Yeah, they, they were Hasbro as well. So, you know, hopefully someone's going to pick up the uh, line and do something else. They've got to. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Um, okay. That definitely seems Jay, like a... go and watch the film. Go yeah. and watch the film, Jay. Do you Jay. know what, Jay? It's not even about it's the toys for me. I just, I just want to know if you'd like that film. 
Like, it's different watching it as an adult, of course, but I'm still curious if you'd even like the film or the concept. That's all. Oh, well, I'll put it on my list. I I don't like the designs. To me, don't don't do a lot. That looks like a big sort of dog character. So, and the other What's guy the just looks like a soldier. It doesn't yeah? yeah. Well, has, it hasn't got anything yet. Whereas Toy Story's cute. It wasn't cute when I was a kid, so it hasn't. It didn't get me in on the Have on the cute side. Have you not seen Gremlins? Side, either, am I making that up? No, I've not. No, seen no, it. no. I've seen that's Jamie. Oh, okay. You've not seen Gremlins. I knew someone hadn't seen Gremlins either. Okay, that's cool. Did you know as well? Speaking of Toy Story toys, that all the Woody toys are voiced by um, Tom Hanks' brother. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that is a random fact. They sound wow. very. They sound and look very very similar. They mm. did. Um, if anybody's watched uh, the show Scrubs. They had a, mm-hmm. a joke where they had a doctor whose last name was Hooch and a doctor whose last name was Turner. <laughs> so they tried to get them on the same uh, surgery rotation so they could say, oh, who's doing the surgery? Turner and Hooch. Yeah. And they show Turner and Hooch and it's it's Tom's brother and he looks and sounds just like him. So it's but, cool that he, he's the, he's Turner who uh, he played in the movie. So that was a cool little... But yeah. Craig and uh, not the Cloud, also a call back to that show. Hooch is crazy. Hooch is crazy. I, I've, I've never watched Scrubs properly, but Amanda is a big fan of Scrubs. She's also a big fan of the Big Bang Theory that I've, and she keeps telling me oh, I should watch it. But I, I, I see her watching it. On a Can't game. get into that. Yeah, yeah, it has its moments. We only watched it recently because my friends wouldn't shut up about it. But um, it, it was okay. I mean, I prefer if you're going to have a show about a bunch of nerds, I prefer the IT crowd instead. I thought that was a bit of the fans better. Legends and Liquor. Dan hasn't seen it. Watch Legends and Liquor for a bunch of nerds. You're fine. You're good. There you go. Sweet Garden Gates is Dan the one I give Watch IT crowd, don't you, Dan? I do. I do need to watch IT crowd. I've, I've, there's a few, again. It's good. Lots of shows I'm missing out on. Dan well, is the IT crowd. Yeah, he, does, yeah, he does it for work. <laughs> that is, That's very, what I was doing. That's very depressing. Doing. Very depressing, but it's true. My whole <laughs> life is watching nerds. I don't need to watch any more nerds. <laughs> <laughs> right, Alexi, the floor is yours. You got any new toys to show off? <clears throat> Sweet Garden Gates. Sweet Garden toys. Gates. Here we are. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Alexi, this uh, you've got an avalanche behind you. Avalanche. Oh, top shelf. Yeah, yeah behind you. Spill. Oh, oh little, yeah, little avalanche. Yeah. All right there. If you had a little. Shelf shake. Oh, yeah. You, no, you, I'm rearranging. You second shelf fell over. I know. Oh, oh my yeah. anime shelf. I did have Avalanche right there, though. So, uh, yeah, yeah. We put up, we it's just fall. got all the mangas for uh, Chainsaw Man and JJK. And so Amanda wanted to put the books on my comic wall and then have the figures in front of the books, which is nice. a pretty common way to display. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, she has the uh, dexterity of a toddler and couldn't pull the figures out of the display <laughs> without uh, throwing everything everywhere. So, I'm sorry. Uh, all my anime <laughs> figures on that shelf uh, tumbled over. Um, and then, you know, except for uh, Katana Man here. But uh, it's anime. They're all going to come back to life anyway. So Rich, is, uh, Rich isn't going to be impressed <laughs> that you've got Chris Star standing front and center there as well in your, in your Asgard display. <laughs> Chris Star is a staple Clearly, of yeah. Asgardian displays, all right. If you don't have Chris Star, you, you don't know Thor comics, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, I, I actually have a lot of stuff. Um, I'm reminded of our dear friend Thirsty for Chicken because I have a very long Shout haul Nick. list to go through. We miss you, Nick. Yeah. I hope you're doing well. Um, the first thing that I'm going to go through is something else that Rich would not like, and it's an honorable mention. Good job, he's not here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, just Justin Collects did, just did a video on this terrible figure from McFarlane Toys. Go watch it. It's a great review. Oh, is it the figure's one? not great. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah no. And so, <laughs> oh, he specifically oh. shouts me out. Oh, can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. You disappeared yeah, you for a sec. You uh, okay. You're back, you're back. Uh, it's because I was talking shit on McFarland. Big McFarland's <laughs> in the room. <laughs> Toddy Mac. Uh, yeah. So, Just Justin Collects just did, that's a lot, just did a review on Wonder Woman from McFarland Toys. And in the video, he asked me to clarify if there was a 112 scale Wonder Woman from Mafex or from someone else. And unfortunately, the only 112 scale Wonder Woman that we really have is... The uh, amazing Yamaguchi Wonder Woman, who is in fact amazing. Uh, there are some things about her that a lot of people don't like, like the long neck. Um, but and then of course you got the amazing Yamaguchi style joints. But overall, uh, she's a great figure. I like her a lot, and really there isn't a lot of other shorts in one twelve scale. So nice. if you want a Wonder Woman, there. 
pick up the <laughs> don't McFarlane forget the Amesco Wonder Woman son the Amesco Wonder Woman what a, what a beauty that's thing true. of beauty that is that's true you know I don't have that Mezco one so it completely slipped my mind but uh the classic Mezco Wonder Woman and then they also have the well I guess we're only talking about comic versions that was the stipulation but it's still a classic comic Wonder Woman so you're absolutely right correction there Right uh, but moving on to actual pickups, um, we can start with some turtles and tea stuff. Nice. I also got my uh, not Donatello from, and it's actually from Rage Toys. Rage. Uh, it seems like with every release, they change their name. Uh, they get angry. Legally, <laughs> they're rage <laughs> now. They're yeah. rage. It's gonna be hate toys <laughs> next time. It's gonna just be yeah. like, screw toys. toys. <laughs> Fuck toy, you know. Are they like avoiding the, the okay. neck of lawyers? Is that what they do? Fucking sue me so what, Summer. That's the next release. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they won't say the sue me part, but uh, he looks dope. Uh, um, I'm I'm enjoying him. I'm enjoying the line. Uh, it's cool to have like the samurai style. I don't really have them with their TMNT style turtle heads, um, but I mean, I didn't get the master because, to be honest, the it was too ratty like uh it kind of it kind of put me off how realistic of a rat it was and uh, i'm not really a rat fan so i'm gonna skip the splinter the not splinter um but i will be getting the other two samurai brothers so i was really happy about that and to what tanner said earlier about if you have the money get the mezco turtles which are also really cool but I do feel like the Mezco Turtles are a representation of like a gritty, realistic comic style. Yeah. Um, and I feel like the Samurai Turtles take care of that for me. Because I also have, I have the, uh, the Turtle Van and the comic tune pack. So that takes care of those turtles. And then the gritty is going to be the Samurai for me. So happy with those. Um, moving on to a couple other Amazing Yamaguchi. Uh, I did finally open up my Amazing Yamaguchi Thor. Um, I really like him. In fact, I put my Marvel Legends 80th anniversary Thor with a soft goods cape uh, into the for sale pile oh, because wow. um, I have the classic Mayfex Thor back there. And then now for modern representation, I have the amazing Yamaguchi. And uh, the 80th, 80th Thor is cool. And if you put a soft goods cape on him, it takes care of a lot of the articulation problems that his plastic candy cape his sweet candy garden cape uh blocks around but uh i do enjoy the amazing yamaguchi um i'm a slut for articulation so it it really works out for me uh the other amazing yamaguchi that i have i don't remember if i showed him off or not but uh it's the flash yeah he looks so uh, good cool. looks so good so so cool um i only had like one flash figure before this and that was the dc icons uh if you couldn't even really put him in a good running pose, which is, I don't know if you guys know this, but Flash runs a lot. And so, what? yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, and so you really couldn't put him in a good running pose. This AY Flash, um, man, amazing, especially with the lightning effects. He moves so silky smooth and uh, he poses in running very well. So highly uh, suggest that one. If you're into Flash, I've got if you're into Amazing I've got Yamaguchi. the t Toddy Mac one, but that one just looks like it blows it out of the water for sure. I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> it's cool. If you like them, then I'm happy that I like happy. that one better. I like that one better. The one that I just showed? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, okay. I almost unsubscribed. Okay, That's fair it. enough. <laughs> uh, and then... Um, Moving on to the last couple imports that I've gotten recently. That's not true. These are just the last two that I've opened recently. I have two sides of that steamy X-Men love triangle. Ah. Ooh, yeah. Uh, these are both the reissues of these figures. So this is the reissue of Cyclops and then the reissue of Tiger Are there, are there of any Tiger differences? Because I've got the original. It always annoys me when there's a re-release. I'm like, am I missing out on an upgrade or something? Uh, so the Wolverine had a lot of problems with the arm peg popping out mm -hmm. really easily. Um, like yep. in this pose, if you were just doing this, where it puts tension on the peg from the lower arm, it would have popped it off the bicep. Um, and that frustrates the hell out of me. So I didn't even chase it. I had the other two Wolverines, X-Force and the brown, brown suit, suit yeah. which I really love. Um, nice and I had to, love that. yeah. And I had to complete the trilogy. Uh, that, that was another complaint is the claws, but the claws are just I straight, really like ain't them. they? They're just straight. Like, yeah. 
Craig, Craig can understand this. I've got like 50 Wolverines, dude. I want something that sets him apart from the other 49 Wolverines yeah. I have. So I like having the one claws. claws, yeah, straight claws, blue stripes. I like it. I like it a lot. That, um, that's and... one that I'm tempted to get next. To be fair, yeah. is that one? Do it. Just so Do it. Cool. Well, to be fair, yeah. I don't have that Mezco one, and he does look pretty cool. I just never. I never ran into him in the wild, and I never really chased after it. So, Salt to Jai, that's, that's he'll sort you out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Salt to Jai, he'll, he'll try to get uh, And then the the differences on this one. My original release, his head would pop off really easily. Like just tilting his head for an aiming pose or something, it would just come mm. off. Uh, there was very little friction, so I ended up selling him. I had the VHS Cyclops for a while on the shelf, uh, and then I just sold him because this one is perfect. Um, and the VHS still sells for like 40 bucks or something. So yep. uh, it was worth it. Um, the color is a little bit darker on the blue. And the yellow, I think, is a little less saturated. And it's got some shading. I don't know if you can see. That's either sweat or it's shading. <laughs> yeah, in a bit. Uh, swamp yeah. ass. Yeah. Swamp yeah. Ass, yeah. So, I've been uh, in good time. <laughs> it looks good. You know, in, to Cyclops' credit, he doesn't see shades. He only sees red. So you probably can't even tell <laughs> when he's real sweaty. And, it's true. Yeah. So it's not a big deal. Uh, so moving on to figures that I have that I have not opened yet. Um, still in the import category. I got these two symbiote bros. Um, nice. Again, these are the reissues. Yeah. that are not, uh, not the originals. Um, I sold the originals. <laughs> Not for any real, honestly, the Venom I could have kept. Um, the Carnage. I love the Venom. Yeah, he's he's so good. Um, I know that a lot of people really want a big, brooding, bulky Venom. Um, All right, I like the comic. Just, yeah. yeah the, just the posability on this thing and, uh, you know, the look, the Eddie Brock head, um, it just, it really does it for me. So happy to have these two. Um, I sold the original versions uh, at, not even at market value, mind you, so... I'm trying to help other collectors get addicted to Mafex because yeah. I sold them for cheap. So you're a good man. The re-releases are usually always a slight upgrade in some way, anyway. So it's always good if you can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, really happy to have those. Um, before we get into my Legends pickups, uh, I got my um, well, I guess two more of my Street Fighter figures. Uh, Ken, which is actually my favorite character, and I'm really just happy. Ken. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, and then Chun Li, uh, who of course is everyone's favorite waifu. If you played fighting games back in the '90s and the '80s, so uh, that's not true because uh, Cammy's pretty waifu. Cammy, so. yeah. Uh, so really happy to have these. Um, and since I'm on Street Fighter, Sweet Garden uh, Gates is I that also... sweat? Says a uh, California Red Devil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also got the. Mega Man figures, but I've already got them in the display in my video oh, game display. Awesome. So, yeah, so I've got the first wave of Mega Man. Um, they're in there with my is two Ryu Fireman and, and Iceman. Is that what they're called? I'm making yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Fireman and Iceman. Yeah. Uh, great figures. There's they really blew me away as far as expectations go. Not that I had um, like high or low expectations for them, but uh, they're just they're really good figures, and I'm happy that I got them. I like the um, double and I played pose as well. By the way. Oh yeah, uh, it's going to get rearranged because now I have more Street Fighter figures, and uh, I got some more Halo figures coming too. So that's going to get moved around. Um, now moving on to Marvel Legends, got my Angel in. Uh, very excited about this. I know Trevor was excited about this. Um, I know we're going to get a couple more variants of him. So this makes two angels for me because I've got the archangel who i can have on my shoulder as the devil and then i've got the warren worthington angel <laughs> who i can have on my shoulder who's also kind of a douchebag so he, they could both work Has he got as, all his uh, paint apps? devil angels mm -hmm. uh yeah. what was so what was the problem with yours again missing boot paint the boot point on missing the right leg missing boot point yep no mine's here am i the so. only one ridiculous Look at that. uh well <laughs> Um, as far as bad paint apps go, I can tell you that uh -oh. I just got a replacement for my Lalandra and uh, Brood Wolverine 2-pack because the original one, uh, I put it in the Legends and Liquor chat, 
The Lalandra oh. face was like skewed yep. left. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was like, it was really, it was so wow. bad that it was comical. Like I opened it up and I was like, oh my God. And I just started laughing because her whole face was like, off to his heart. <laughs> um, so I honestly, I reached out to BBTS because they're amazing. And uh, I wasn't like angry. I was like, this is pretty funny, but I don't want to keep this. Uh, and they even said like, that's terrible. We don't even want that shit. So keep it and uh, we'll just credit your account. So oh, nice. I ended up selling, yeah. So I <laughs> sold the original two pack in box for $30. Again, uh, just trying to get it out of here and get something for it. Um, and then I just reordered this one with the credit that they gave me. So got a nice little $30 discount off of this. And uh, the pain apps, I don't know if you can see this one, but the pain apps came out really Much well better. on her. Yeah, you can tell, you yeah. can tell. she looks good. She's I, She's when I fan. when I got this one in, I was like, "Oh yeah, no, this is actually really good." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because sure. I showed I showed Amanda the skewed face on the other one. She was like, "It's not that bad." And I was like, "No, <laughs> no, we're getting rid of it." <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then the last Legends two pack that I got in uh, is not the patch and the Mister Fix It. It's uh, huh. the Psylocke Lady and Wonder. Ninja Wolverine. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I Lady Mandarin Wolverine. and Ninja Wolverine. Oh, no, it says Psylocke here. To be fair, it does say Psylocke. So, uh, I'm not allowed to say That's why people are thinking they can't say Mandarin, but I don't think that's true. But It, it is technically uh, Psylocke and Lady Mandarin. They're not wrong. Yeah. I think they are putting the kibosh on that. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, in that case, uh, Ninja Wolverine and Oriental Brainwash Psylocke. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's more oh, accurate. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh so wrong. i'm i was really happy to get this in uh the face sculpts were really good they this actually came in the same pile of loot shipment as the other two packs so i saw the lalander face and i was like god damn it this, these other ones better not be messed up um but the faces are great on these so um really excited to get this uh the lady mandarin figure is really really good like i've seen all the reviews on her and uh she looks great like probably one of the best female legends to come out in terms of like original sculpt and you know character update and uh just like everything she she's, looks really good she's very and, accurate to the source material as well which is always like something i try and make a point of if they are like that's the point of our collection we want them to look like what they look like in the comics and she does she's a good, good figure yeah yeah really happy to have her uh and then i think that's it actually so Nick, I hope I did you justice. I hope you're yeah. proud of me. I tried to. <laughs> you didn't show off any Godzilla, Godzilla stuff. You need to quickly show off a Muppet head. I, of I don't have any monster arts. <laughs> yeah, or like a, a signed. I have. Nah, it's too. Cool. Have you got an actual duck to show off? I don't have a oh, duck. Damn. No, <laughs> we, we just have a dog and a cat. We're That's pathetic. what I'm saying. Nick brought a just a legend liquor to a different level. Brought real ducks yeah. to the show is what Nick did. You don't have one of these. Yeah, <laughs> let's go full screen. Let's remind everyone that Jamie is now oh being God. cursed with the duck. <laughs> yeah, it's probably there. You go. It's coming for you. Oof. It's coming for Jamie. Who's gonna get hey, it next? Ooh. Hey Dan. Yes. Before yes. you before you move on, do you mind if I do my my two top of twenty four? I need to actually hop off. No We're gonna problem. Do the floor dinner. is yours, Cloud. The floor is yours. Um, let's do, so, so basically, the main topic for today is the top two. Well, your top figure of 2024 so far and i've told everyone they can have a runner-up as well so cloud is about to present to the us uh, her runner-up for 2024 and then also your favorite figure of the year so far the floor is yours. Uh, just to jump in dan sorry i'm in the yeah. same boat as cloud so i've got to you straight to after yeah Come yeah to you straight cool. after all good yeah. all good not a problem and if anyone's the same just let me know not let me know so my runner-up is actually probably going to surprise a lot of people we were talking about it in the chat but this is actually my number two <laughs> That's his, his little baby brother over here. <laughs> I like that you got the two of them together. <laughs> so um, my number one is actually this. Oh, my God. You're not going to. The light's going to wash him out a bit. Yeah. But this is a um, Final Fantasy VII Ring Arts Cloud Strife figure. Um, they're designed to look just like the original artwork from the game, which is... Essentially what I wanted when I bought the original figures back in 1997. Um, those were like maybe three or four points of articulation, if that. So to have a super articulated one, he's got his sword. Uh, he's got a peg you can put on his back so he can hold it on his back through one of these holes. He's got different hands. Um, I have Tifa as well. They're doing the whole party um, over the course of probably way too quickly for money that I shouldn't be spending. 
but so he actually is uh, my number one. So I just wanted to show that off. Um, thank you for letting me join you guys tonight. Three years is amazing. Um, four years I've been hanging out here, which has been the entirety of my transition. So you guys rode this out with me. Um, so you got, you met me as a very different person, you know, who I am now, but it was, it was nice to share that with people I'm very comfortable around, but, um, thank you. Uh, congratulations. Here's too many, many more years of this. Uh, I will be here for as many as I can. And the next one should be on my birthday. So I'll be spending it with Very you nice. guys. Well, Cloud, you know, you're always, you are always welcome here. Uh, always good company. Uh, loving the t-shirt choice as well. But <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Legend. They're always <laughs> repping. Cloud is always, always. I told you, episode one. Cloud, episode one on Legend of Liquor three years ago. And she is here now still repping. Cloud, <laughs> with the same, same namesake as her favorite figure of the year. Oh, yeah. Look Cloud at that. and Cloud. Actually... Cloud's not my favorite. Sephiroth's my favorite. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Everybody spent... assumes because we have the same name, yeah. I spent a lot of time playing Final Fantasy VII back in the day, so very... Uh, awesome. It's one of those lines where I want to get, but like you said, they're pretty pricey. So, uh, yeah, very nice yeah. premium Expensive. collection that we say. But Cloud, uh, tell the people before you go where they can find you online. I am on Instagram at cloud underscore network. Um, hit me up there. Hit me up on Facebook. Uh, hit me up in the Mythic Legions Cabal. I'm all over the place. Um, Trevor, swing by. And the rest yes. of you, I will talk to you guys in the chat at some point. Absolutely. Drop those cloud uh, drop those cloud or fox emojis in the chat. Both of them, I think, are acceptable. Uh, but, Cloud, have a good weekend, whatever you are doing. And we will see you on the next one. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye, Cloud. Bye, Cloud. Bye, Bye Cloud. Bye-bye. Right, right. Let's go to call next. Again, from his, from his, what, what time is it over in Spain? You're an hour ahead, right? So it's got to be half <laughs> yeah. twelve right now. Uh, Twenty-five to one, yeah. Yeah, wow, wow. Well, yeah. We appreciate you sticking with us. I do apologise. It's one of those shows where we're just going with the flow today. So the floor is That's yours. Good... Your top figures. So favorite runner-up, and then your favorite figure of the year so far. My runner-up is probably the Scarlet Spider. Just a great upgrade altogether for my Spider Verse. Yep. Um, a number one figure so far is probably. Just Angel. Angel is just great. Marvel Legends Angel. Um, and one that hasn't been announced yet is a pre-order, which will be my number one figure for yeah, 2024, yeah. is the amazing Yamaguchi uh, Winter Soldier. That That is oh. for me. That that will be the number one. Just the yeah. military. Yeah, that is fucking awesome. So well, Alexi was just showing off some of Have you got many of the uh, amazing Yamaguchi figures then? That will be my first one, and it's the oh, only wow. one that's like, caught my eye. So I'm like, yeah, just... I know that all the kind of poses I can get him in, you know, like CQB stuff. So, yeah, close core combat. Will that stuff. not make you like? Where are you going to put that in your collection? Are you going to put that with Legends, or are you going to try and start like a little import collection and maybe go down? Yeah, and... I, I don't know yet. Like, I've got different cubes in my collection in my yeah. room, so it will fit somewhere. Like maybe like a multiverse kind of cube, yeah, you know, yeah. with different brands and stuff. So yeah, so that that's it for me. So yeah, Very and nice. um, yeah, I'm glad to be a part of this community. It's only my second time showing my face and talking, but. But yeah, um, it's been good. And yeah, good. congratulations on three years. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. And as I said, right. it's three years in and we're still adding new faces. So cool. Thank you so much for even stepping in and getting involved. We appreciate yeah. you. And again, you're on holiday right now. You're in Spain right now. How hot is it? Yeah. Is it warm? Uh, fuck. It, it, last week, it was like high 20s, like 27, and then yeah. it went to 33. Now it's about 20. It's a bit of a cold week. Oh, and okay. then... It's cooled down. Cool down. Yeah, it's getting warmer again, but then hopefully I come back to the UK and it's a bit warmer. It's been know. raining, hailing. The hail the other day was like yeah. golf ball, but golf balls. I'm not even exaggerating. It, the hail was ridiculous. Yeah. So you're in the right yeah. place, my friend. You're in the right place. Definitely. But uh, yeah. tell the people where they can find you online. Literally only Instagram at Cull's Cave. Um, yeah, that's just just Cull. I don't even know how if I got underscore or not. I don't even think I about think it. Like, I've put, but... I think I've put. I've, I think I've put it in the description. Hang on, I've got it here, right here. Uh, yeah, Cole's Cave. It's in the description. It's in the description of this video, right? Cole's Cave. And then, oh, yeah. On. And then once I'm back in England, I will like post like my collection in detail to show you what's in there because I haven't got anything on there yet. So I will, I will do that. Just post your pickups as well. I always say to people, just post. Yeah. Literally, use your Instagram as a catalogue of your own collection. Yeah. When you get a figure, but take a picture, definitely. post it. Yeah, because I've got fuck loads, like loads of stuff since the last Legends of the up. Loads well, we already, we already know you've got a pile waiting for you because you told us your dog's yeah. going to be sitting there guarding it waiting for you to come home so you're yeah good. and he loves he loves figures as well he loves me he loves watching me open them as well good good yeah he, yeah so, yeah <laughs> right. anyways guys that's it for me appreciate right. you enjoy the rest bye 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 bye
Hi, Carl. There you go. Thank you to Jamie as well. Jamie's posting both Cloud and Calls uh, Instagrams in the chat. Again, we say this all the time. If you are watching live, please go and sus uh, subscribe or follow whatever it needs to be to all these people online. We're all one big family here, so uh, please do. Uh, right, Kenny, the floor is yours, my friend. Thank you very much for. Thank you very much to the people that have joined us late for being so patient. By the way, I, I do appreciate. It's one of those shows where we're just going with the flow today. It's a celebration, good vibes, all of that. So, uh, Kenny, the floor is yours. Your uh, pickups, any pickups you want to show us. All, is yours. All right. Well, first, I, I just want to say, Craig, you're, you're really going to enjoy this Mapex Wolverine. I mean, that damaged head is fantastic. So I just got this like uh, maybe two months ago myself. So uh, yeah, you're in for a treat. I love your background, Kenny, by the way, because it's just like a packed. It's not mine. It's just a packed, colorful <laughs> background. I love it. I love it. Everything's back there. Yeah. Um, as far as pickups, not a lot. This week, so uh, I mean, Prowler came in. Oh, you're just showing off now. You're just showing off. You know that is not due in the UK until July. Do you know you are like months ahead of us right now? And you do. You well, do you're speaking to a man with a wall of retro cards. Do you know what I mean? Like, just, rubbing just saying, it, rubbing it, in. it. It looks good. You know, it's a nice card. Everything looks. He knows good. what he's doing. He's rubbing that. In. That's out of order. There's no need for that. There's no need for that. I thought we were friends. Kenny. <laughs> do you have the original, Kenny? Do you have the first release? Yeah. Yeah. So. uh Yeah, so I and I, I put this up too, so I have pictures and everything. So, um, just to give you an idea of like what they look like next to each other. Are so. you, are you, have you done a review, or are you going to do a review? I have, I have. I, have. Yeah, I, yeah, I posted nice. it uh, this morning, actually. No, so I haven't seen it yet, but I will be watching that for sure. Go, as I said, go and check out Encount Encountered Culture underscore Encounter. It's the same. Your Instagram is the same as your YouTube, right? Yep, perfect. Instagram is the same. Perfect. Exactly. The same. Perfect. perfect. So yeah, it's a, it's a nice figure, and with the retro card too. I mean, it, it even if you're not a loose collector, if you're an inbox collector, like I, I get it. You know, Dan, I get like why you have some inbox, and, and it's a nice some. Like, uh, I've got everything, like, fucking everything. Yeah, no, no. I, by some, I mean just like with those, but like I I only keep a couple of stuff things in card, you know. So a very small amount of in card figures, but uh, yeah, I I can I can. I can get why you'd want to have that entire collection. They just look so good on that card. Yeah, for sure. Uh, other pickup was the Pizza Club Leo. So Very nice. I want that get whole that. set, by the way. I only got Donnie so far, but I want the whole set. So do I. This is the only one I've actually seen in person. So uh, I'll keep an eye out, but you know, we'll, we'll see. Time will tell. Leo was the main target. Mikey would be the second, but uh, I was glad to at least find Leo, so. Yeah. Not all loss. And then uh, the only other thing I picked up this week, so going back a little bit, I, uh, I did get this Bizarro to go on the uh, Superman shelf. So, oh, okay. nice Sweet little, Garden uh, Gates. Sweet Garden Gates. Is that Gates. DC Multiverse? Sweet Garden Gates. <laughs> That's Mattel. That is. Yeah, nice little figure there. So it'll be a nice a nice little touch to the display. You know, there's not that there's a, a need for any more Superman figures, you know. There's only a couple over there, and by a couple, I mean too many, but you know, it, it'll be a nice touch. So I, I was happy to pick, pick that one. By the way, while Kenny's speaking, you can see on screen now, Encounter in Cultures, uh, this is his review. I'm definitely not jealous that he's beat me to the review of uh, the Prowler on the retro card. So there you go. Go in there. I will post it in the in the in the chat as well so people can see. But uh, Kenny already Thanks. has a review up, but a brand new Walmart exclusive Spider-Man retro carded Prowler. Who does look very, very nice. It so does, you, you brought does. two, one to open, one to display. That's right. That is the That's correct right. way to do it, Kenny. This is why we're friends, Kenny. This is why we're friends. That's right. Very That's good. right. Very good. But yeah, so that's a, it was a pretty uh, quiet week as far as pickups go, so. Sometimes you need that. You know? No, no, some nice pickups there for sure. Nice pickups there for absolutely sure. Very good, very good. Right, again, I've put the link in the description. Go and check out Kenny's review. Uh, and we will go across to Christopher Allen, my friend. Christopher Allen, the floor is yours. Now, in the UK, I don't know if this... I know you're a Joe guy, Christopher. And I've got, like... in This week has been crazy for G.I. Joe's. Like, we've got loads of nonsense. Like, I don't even... I think, I think I've beat you to this one, right? You ain't got this yet. Is that the SMS? Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, you beat me there. Yeah, very nice, very nice. But I'm assuming you've got a few Joe's to show off. The floor is yours, my friend. Yeah, okay. um, first, can I just make a reference to something that happened two hours ago? Sweet Garden Gates. Uh, 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 no, no, no. Okay. <laughs> next time, next time, Craig. Next time, somebody says you learn how to take twelve inches. 
Just say, no, I learned from my significant other. She told me. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, all right. Um, I don't have a significant <laughs> other, so, you know, I have to learn things myself these uh, days. Craig, Craig pays alone. Craig, he, take, he takes it alone. Craig, you're digging yourself a hole there. Yeah, no, he doesn't realize. Craig <laughs> doesn't realize. You learned from Adam, Craig. You learned from Adam. <laughs> all right. Dumb joke. Anyway, um, I, I appreciated the joke. I appreciated. it. Uh, I, I was Craig's holding head. on to that for a very long time. <laughs> whatever Craig said, whatever Craig said, but I'm with you. I'm with you, Christopher. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I did. I got Duke. Um. Yeah, very great figure. I like that they tried something new and they didn't give the ab crunch and it has different articulation. Is it yeah. a ball joint? Isn't it? It's a ball joint. The torso. Yeah, yeah. It's the yeah. I love yeah. that. Um. Now I'm just waiting for a retro flint. That's what I'm really looking forward to doing. The retro style. Um. I got Rakondo. Um, I got Scarlet, but she's in my display, and those are the only Joes I got. Um, I, 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 do you feel like they are I, again? I've been saying this to people, I feel like that's what we've been waiting for in the classified line like that's the Scarlet and that's the Duke that we've wanted in that scale. Like, I'm very happy yeah, with those two, absolutely. Yeah, um, I like the other ones too because they're kind of based on like a video game that came out. Yeah, so I mean, I like them all, but yeah, I want, I want retro stuff too. Yeah. Um. And then I got Prowler. Sorry. Ah. Oh, why are you doing this to me, Bloody, I forgot about this. I forgot you about got that. the. Mine's on pre-order. Nice, Mine's on pre-order. You got that nice GI Joe I missile do. thing. I yes, should review man. this, shouldn't I? If I if the Americans ain't got yes. this yet, I should review this. If I've got yes. time, I will. There you go. And then I I bought um I got four McFarland figures I didn't want to get this thing, <laughs> but I got I got plastic bags. He looks so good. Very I didn't even yes. realize he was available yet. He does look good. Yeah, so that's that's it for my pickup. So he but. comes with regular arms and bendy arms and legs. Yeah, right? yeah, one of each. Yeah, like you can swap it out. You can have two of those arms or two of those arms. Nice. And then he has like a long neck head thing. Does he? Is he awkward to stand when you put all those on him? Uh, no. no oh, he need another drink. His waist is on mine. I don't know. Donated if that's... Hold your for a second. I've got uh, displayed pence. once in the room. I'm glad I turned chat. in to catch Christopher Allen taking about 12 inches. <laughs> Have a great show, everyone. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Rich, a.k.a. Displayed Once. We have mentioned him a few times on today's show. He says, Christopher, he says, I'm glad I tuned in just to catch Christopher Allen talking about 12 inches. Have a great show, everybody. There you go. Your number one fan, uh, Rich uh, Rich M, a.k.a. Displayed Once, is in the building. He's in the building. Come, oh, come join us, Rich. Yeah. Come on. Uh, Rich, if you want the link, my friend, the link is there. Just, just DM me and come and say hello. Pop in for five minutes and bugger off. It's absolutely fine. The people want you. You've been demanded. I will take a shot for uh, for for, for Chris. Isn't that a shot as well, Dan? Yeah, thank you very much, Craig. The Craig is joining me on this journey. Uh, right, Crystal, keep talking, keep talking. Sorry. Oh, all I was gonna say was like the waist on mine's a little weird, but I don't know if that's common. Like, I feel like it might break. But other than that, it's a very fun figure. I love it. Um, and that's, so that's are, all are I you got. selling the other four figures you brought to build him then, or? Um, think? I like the Batman. The Batman I would have maybe bought anyway. Uh, I probably won't sell him. I'll just put them on my shelf. It's not really. What were the four? What were the four? Uh, it's Aquaman, John Stewart, and then uh, Superman, which I don't really know him from that costume. Oh, is that the red and blue version? Or am I making? Is, is yeah, yeah. I'm not. Yeah, it's yes. I'm not. Those are the only red and blue Superman. version of Superman. Superman yeah. No, no. I, I just re I realized what I said then when I said that out loud. Is it the red and blue Superman and every costume for Superman is red and blue? I meant like the nineties uh, version. White where... and blue. It's white and blue. Yeah. It, there's what. There's, I'm talking about there's a McFarlane one where it's the the 90s he I'll go get two, it real right? quick. Yeah, You're get it. thinking of electric it. blue and electric yeah. red. There's a red chase version that's confusing. Yeah, I didn't get the chase one. Right okay. here. Okay, I need to there see, there I need see. Okay, Christopher will show it. Okay. Oh, there you go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. There you go, there you go. Is so, yeah, I don't I don't need it, but I'm not going to go through the trouble of selling it. What, what am I going to get, $10 for that? I'm like, that's not worth <laughs> You're the not trouble. Wrong. You're not that's wrong. I'm the, I feel the same about stuff sometimes with Legends. Like, if I buy it just to, for bits, I'm like, what's the point of selling it? Like, it's no yeah. I'll like, give you $10 for the Superman if that's on the table. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I'm, are you covering <laughs> shipping also? Shipping? <laughs> You cover I'll give you a five. Yeah, sure. Yeah. There you go. Let's okay. Make a, let's make a All deal. All right. Done. Right. Deal. 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 It would end up being like a sixty-dollar figure for Craig for shipping. <laughs> deal. We made a deal right live on the show. There you go. Kenny's going to take the Superman off Christopher Allen's hands for ten dollars and shipping. There you go. Deal done. Deal done. Right. So, so we can sort that after this show. Beautiful stuff. Uh, displayed once says I haven't done my hair. <laughs> I'll catch up on the stream on the replay. Me neither. 
That's true. That's true. That's uh, we don't just put your wig on, right? That's true. He has got a wig somewhere. <laughs> doesn't he? Uh, Derry Why? says, uh, "Sorry, I couldn't make the stream." Uh, why not, Derry? Can't you make it right now? I can send you the link now, and you can join us right now. There's no pressure. That goes to anybody else as well. Uh, oh, okay. See, I see what I mean. I've missed a few messages in my Instagram. Let me have a little look here. So, compulsive collectors message me. So, let me send him the link. Let's see if John wants to join us. All right. Uh, he says it might get too chaotic. Adding more. No, it won't, John. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I've only just read the one at the bottom. Oh, sh oh, Kurt's joined us. Yeah, Kurt joined us a it's little bit. Yeah, no oh, Kurt. <laughs> Hi, Sorry. Kurt. Hey. Kurt Sweet you know, Garden you're... State. It's Kurt. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he gets that. He's from Jersey. Is my uh, is my voice working here? My audio working? Yeah, we can hear you. We can see you. Just All right. keep so your eyes on the road. Keep your been... eyes on the road. If you've been paying attention, I've been doing the intro to The Sopranos here. I don't know. If you're <laughs> <laughs> I, I even get that reference. I have the music in my head. That? Yeah, I was just going to say, up. is that where the music's coming from? Uh, okay, Woke okay. up this morning. Yeah, I'm driving through Newark. I was, I was trying to get you a good long look at our soccer arena here, Dan. Oh, my bad. My apologies. My apologies. Drive by Bada Bing. A lot of people on stream. Uh -huh. uh, Rush has also joined us as well. Rush, how are you doing? Uh, it is hot, man. Holy. <laughs> Oh, whoops, I accidentally muted you by accident. Press and mute. Sorry, sorry. That was me. Sorry, I've been drinking a few shots and pressed the wrong button. <laughs> my bad. My bad. Sorry, sorry. You said it was hot. You said it was hot. My bad. Yeah, it's bad when you come home and take a shower and you have to keep turning the shower colder because it's trying to warm up. It's like, no, no, no. You're speaking like a man that lives in Florida because that's not how we live in the UK, all right? We're like, my shower can't get hot enough. Like, it, that's the problem we have. I'm not even joking. The hail we had this week was massive. It was like I literally could go out and scoop up a, like a, a snowball just out of this. But then it was steel. sunny after it hailed. It was sunny. You, you know and then it hailed about, right? again. You're not far yeah, from me. You've already really seen that hail. Then yeah. it went sunny. Then it went windy. Then it went raining. And then it went back to hail. And then sunny. British weather. So it like it's, it's, so it's England. I mean, yeah, basically. No, yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. Yeah. This is science. what you're saying. Apparently England lies in between like five different like weather re there's definitely science to it but the english Patterns, weather is yeah. unpredictable like it, you just can't get it's horrible it's horrible it's horrible sometimes the back garden has a different weather to the front garden that's how <laughs> is that a euphemism or what? what's going on there <laughs> yeah. about euphemism we've got uh, we've got david evan and smith on screen david evan and smith say hello to the people hello hello how was everyone everyone was talking about 12 inches is that why you're joining us yeah, I heard, I heard it, and I just suddenly manifested. Yeah, beautiful. You know, beautiful. I'm like, I'm the Dan Horn. I brought my views. Right, stop, stop showing up prouder, though. Right? I'm not happy about this. I forgot that you guys have got prouder. Are right, you let's... jealous? No, I'm not. I'm definitely not. I'm going to John now. Sure? John, John, uh, I'm, ignoring, I'm ignoring David, John. How are you, John? <laughs> I'm good. It's uh, it's real warm here too. Not as hot as it is where Rush is, but I, I still don't like it. I, I prefer cooler weather. Look, you're all welcome to the UK. Anyway. Come to New York. Look, yeah, I guess yeah, I'm if I could afford it, I would be in New York. But that's why I'm in Charlotte. So. <laughs> Again, the, 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 the if, invite is open. If this says anything, the high today here is 91 degrees, which is 32.7778 Celsius. Uh, <laughs> the be... I, I appreciate that Celsius conversion because when you guys talk about the temperature, I never know what the fuck it actually is because like, Fahrenheit uh, means nothing it's... to me. So I appreciate you have to, yeah. you have to learn it, and I think Rush is and... in the same boat because like my my uh, fiance is from Brazil, so like I had to learn it too, you know. So, but there's a quick conversion from Brazil. Yeah, so yeah, same thing. It's like I have to understand what she's talking about temperature, so I know what the temperature is, you know. So. Yeah. My wife all of might it... have to meet your fiance. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so all of England retained like the 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 British mem uh, measurements, right? You don't you don't do metric system there, or do you? Do you do? We do miles. No. You do kilometers, right? We do miles. No, no, no. We do miles. We we're 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 yeah. No, we're with you. Yeah, we're no, with... no. Oh, England yeah. stead England stead out of it. So also Irish. We adopted the European stuff and the English stead with their. <laughs> 
So what is yeah. It? Is it well, that's got to be annoying. So you dropped we do metric for we do metric yeah. for like measurements, don't we? Yeah, like we do uh, meters uh, and centimeters. But yeah. then Celsius, you you do for temperature, yeah, which is Celsius. I don't understand. Like you just picked and choose a couple of different. I I, I don't know I, systems. I, don't know. <laughs> I, I just know what I know. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't know, but yes, it's it's Celsius, not Fahrenheit for us over here. So when, so you when we okay, so so got... just went net. Fuck it, let's fuck shit up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So when we that. when we drive up north, so uh, into Northern Ireland, there's no actual border, but all of a sudden all the road signs go from kilometers to miles. Oh, because with oh, no other indication. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so so you're just along the road and next thing you're like oh shit it's mild so gotta slow down <laughs> for anyone in the chat that doesn't know northern ireland is part of the united kingdom where ireland yeah. is not so like the republic ireland and northern ireland go by different laws and rules and etc uh christopher Allen, what are you going to say uh, i just want to say speaking of driving this is the first time i've seen kurt k without a drink that's true. He, he is <laughs> yeah, no, he's got one. Oh, no, he's got one. He's got Irish. He had to hide Just it. happens to be coffee. Yeah, he's already stopped that coffee, though. He's already stopped that coffee. He the <laughs> uh, right, let's keep talking toys then, people. Thank you to everyone who's still watching us. For anyone still watching us, this is the, the third anniversary of Legends of Liquor. That's three years of this community-driven show where we just get people, as you can see, from all places all over the planet, uh, all joined together by our mutual love of and passion for toys and collecting. So, uh, again, we're glad that you can join us here on a Friday night. Whatever you were doing on a Friday night, we're glad that you're still here listening to us. There's over, over 90 people, which is great, because I get it. Friday, people are busy, family time, but I'm glad that you're here with us. Right, let's go to Trevor, my friend. Trevor, the floor is oh. yours. We've not seen you in a while, oh. my friend, so you can show us anything you want. Like, what have you got recently worthy of showing off? All right, I'll try to keep it brief. Um, this is not new, but I did open it up finally. It's been sitting in a box for a while. Ken the Eagle from uh, Gotcha Man or so. Battle of the Planets or... No, this is uh, Storm. Uh, Storm. Oh, Storm wow. Collectibles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It? It's kind Storm. of... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's... Oh yeah, it's. Uh, yeah. I think it's bigger than one tenth, actually. Like it's. He's pretty big. He's pretty tall. I mean, he's supposed to be tall, but like he's he's probably uh, nine inches or so, he like that. Great. He's, he does look he's, great. I'm just curious what. That's yeah, it looks great. I don't know whether I'm going to get the rest of them or not. I mean, whether we're going to get the rest of them, I would get the rest of them, but I don't know if they're going to give them to us. Well, I know someone drove past. Like, is, that, is that Kurt K? Is that Dom Toretto? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's Polly. Polly Walnuts. It, it, is it bad that Kurt has not disappeared from the camera? So now I'm wondering. Oh no, he's he's, oh, he's, no, there he is. he's there. He's there. He's fine. He's fine. Okay. You all right, Kurt? He's fine. He's fine. Keep an eye on Kurt. Kurt. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I'm here. For you, Kurt. Hi. We're all uh, looking up to you, can Kurt. You hear me? Yeah, we can. We can. Yep. Got some one six right. stuff. I, I sorry, picked up Adam, another uh, Nazgul. Uh, Dented box, but like uh, it was like it was like fifty dollars off, but I don't even see a dent on the box, and who the hell cares? Is that a hot toy um, or sideshow or what's that one? Uh, Asmus makes the Lord of the Rings figures, um, and then this from Mars Toys, which did I don't know if you've seen the um, the uh, Caesar Romero Joker third so. party yeah. one six figures. Um, so they yeah. made that Mars Toys. They made Old Housekeeper. <laughs> I love these names. The <laughs> so this is um, the '89 Batman. Um... Is it Alfred? Alfred? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, yeah. of course it yeah. is. Old housekeeper. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic looking figure. I mean, these third parties are getting very, very good. Um, he was the Alfred. Matt, they have a like source four, on that one. Three or four films, right? <laughs> yeah. Four. Yeah, three. Was he in four? Was he in four? He was no. in all four, yeah. Yeah, he was in four. Oh, yeah. He was like the consistent... That's what confused me as a kid. I was like, Batman changes, but Alfred doesn't. And he's a kid that would right. like, boggle my mind. <laughs> right. It's just Michael Goff every time. Yep. What, Jay, what were you uh, asking? Uh, do we have a source on that one? Because I would like to add the old housekeeper to the, uh, uh, the uh, Hot Toys Batman. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, it might be tough to get now, but you could probably go to 1-6 Kit. Uh, might have... Oops. Yeah. I have it. Um, it's Mars Toys. Mars Toys. Yeah, because I've, okay. I've got the I've got the Mars Toys Jokers, and I've got. Oh yeah, I they're great. The, I want to get the uh, the Keaton to go with him as well because they do Keaton in a Keaton in his like business wear, don't they? It's like formal. Yes. Time. Yeah, the, that looks pretty good too. Yeah, uh, I probably won't go for Bruce Wayne, but uh, uh, I'm definitely getting the '89 Batman, and then another third party. Um, Old Man Logan. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Really beautiful. Uh, Susu, Susu toys. Um, 
incredible clothing uh really really nice this is this is something that was like you know i don't i read the the comic but like i don't really have it doesn't really fit the collection yeah. except for like a western theme and i was like ah, maybe i'll take a picture with it and then sell it or something but it's it's really nice it's the back of the mandalorian that. display or something like that like the mandalorian has a bit of western vibes to it doesn't it yeah i have the red dead redemption um uh what's his face uh What's his name? I didn't play the game, I so I don't even know. Either, but I know the main James uh, Marsden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Arthur. No. no. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Arthur oh. Morgan. Arthur Morgan. Um, then and it's it's a cool cowboy. I, I just like they, they need. We need a, like a one twelve cowboy uh, line, man. We need more cowboys. I would buy Woody um, from Toy Story if that was the case for sure. And John. Well, Morgan. yeah. Ben Eastwood. Uh, I'm well, sad Cloud isn't here because uh, I picked up some incredible. Uh, Mythic Legion's Grails. Uh, I know these probably don't look like much to anybody. They're kind of older figures. Are they like they old are... original army builders, essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gold skeleton, very, very hard to find. Somebody was selling them on the Cabal. Uh, spent some uh, stupid money on those. Um, and yes, like uh, many of you on the panel picked up Donnie. These, I love these things, man. I mean, I am not a turtle a guy. Like, I. Here. That's like four of you showing that off to me, and I do love Donnie. They're so good, Dan. You're a turtle guy, man. These are so good, man. They're so much fun. Are they the same scale I, though? Because I know they messed up the scale. Apparently, Leo was too no. short. Well, they're playing. They're playing with size, which I like. I like the fact that they're they're you know, uh, uh, Donnie's a little bit bigger. Um, so will, for, will my key the next one be an even? Bigger? But they're tiny. But they're tiny figure. I mean, compared, they're not one twelfth. Yeah. You know, they're they're small. They're not like uh, three and three quarters. They're somewhere in between there. I don't know what's yeah. going to be, but they're between one eighteenth and one twelfth. And Mikey, I think, is going to be in that same scale, but will not be the same exact height. That's what as I mean. The other they're all two. different. That's what puts me off. Like all the scale. Yeah, but I love great. that. Yeah, I love, the I love it. Joke. Indeed, for Duali. I get it. No, mm, yeah. I do get it. I do get it. I do. Get it. I just. I, I guess I need to get in hands. I need to go and visit Tanner and see his collections and make them. A lot of They're new really... iterations of turtles have separate sizes for them. Like, yeah, yeah. You're not wrong. Like the last three versions. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Raph was massive in the last one, wasn't it? In the, the last Nickelodeon, yeah. at least. Yeah. Yeah. Rise. Rise. Yeah. 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 Rise. Yeah, they're they're just really good figures, and I did pick up Splinter. Uh, I don't I don't have a problem with rats. Do you have the two humping um, turtles? I do. I did get the. I, I didn't realize they could hump because I haven't opened them up. But um, <laughs> immediately after the show, that's how I'm going to pose <laughs> them on the shelf. Yet. So um, it's a feature. <laughs> it's a feature, uh, and of course. <sighs> Sweet garden Look, gate. I've been waiting for you to show this off on the stream. <laughs> this is yeah. oh, sweet <laughs> garden go. gate. This is what sweet we want. Oh God! I, I, we have been he, waiting for Trevor. He lives. To we have been waiting. <laughs> Legend of the Liquor has been around for three years, and we have been waiting for Trevor to be on the stream and showing off angels in hand. Trevor, how happy? Do, are you genuinely like oh. genuinely? Are you happy with that figure? Do you like it now? You've got it in. Oh. Hand? I mean, like, I don't do a lot of Legends these days, except for X-Men. Um, well, yeah, I mean, mainly X-Men um, at this point. But uh, this is such a good figure, man. And I, I told Dan and Ryan and everybody I, I posted something up. Because they, they know at this yeah, point. I've bugged them enough on, on many shows that they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I said, you, you guys knocked this out of the park, man. It's really, really great. It looks fantastic. I mean, if I had a little complaint, this Halo might be a little big, but it's fine. It's fine. You, uh, would your preference you have be all the your red... paint apps. Oh, yeah. Check, let's check the paint apps first. Have you got the paint on check the boots? Check the paint apps quick. Oh, the boots? <laughs> yeah, you're good. They look yeah, you're good. Fine. See, it's just me. Yeah, it's just fine. fucking me. Like, ridiculous. Yep. So, it's just you, Dan. Gen genuinely preference, would it be blue or red? But you just if you had to I didn't really care. I didn't care, but I, I would prefer the red. It okay. just it fit the it fit the era that I was trying to uh complete on the shelf, the kind of the, the Claremont burn yeah, yeah, uh, sure. era of X Men. So uh I mean but he was blue somewhere in there. I don't remember he when that was. He was red in the happened. like the original champions run as well. I think he was red. Um he was red yeah. for a, a while yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure yeah. before he went to blue. And then blue goes mm -hmm. with the blue skin as well. So that's why I think we will get a second one down the line, a blue one with the blue skin and we can do head swaps and all of that. So Yeah. Uh, hopefully uh, they take don't include the um sex offender smiling face. Oh yeah. yeah. The other head is a bit bit smirky for sure. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, he's he is kind of a douche, you know what I mean? Like, so I mean, he kind of looks like he's, a douche. He's there. a rich guy, and he's he gets away with shit. Um, right and uh, and upstairs, the last but not least, I uh, couldn't bring it down here because it is a huge, huge box. It is a one sixth, uh, twenty twenty two Batman, uh, Batmobile. Oh wow. I don't know where the hell so it's going. I was but... literally about to ask. So where does that go? Like, do you plan ahead for that, or do you just buy it and now you panic? Plan? Yeah, I know. Plan, plan, Dan. Come on. I'm do you plan? You. No, definitely. Yeah, exactly. But exactly. The, the thing is, I say, I always say it's a problem for future Dan. The problem is that is now a problem yeah. for present Trevor. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no. And and uh, yeah, and and future Trevor is getting it's a shorter window every day. Um, so yeah, I don't. I don't know. I I may just like box up a bunch of stuff and display that yeah. um you know when the when the in art uh, batman comes out uh just to have it on the shelf for a little while and then who knows at some point this is all going to be redone and i will have plenty of room for all this stuff but it's not happening yet so uh yeah i have three batmel three batmobiles in boxes i have the tumbler the 66 and now the 22 uh Are they in, all hot in boxes they're all one sixth yeah they're all enormous. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Good luck. I, I, again, you could have a a library, like a museum set up at this point with all that stuff. I know. Really, really good. Uh, all right. Let's go to Tariq. Tariq. Hey, Dan, do you mind if I I gotta drop off the? Oh, the of course. Video. Let's get, yeah. Let's do your let's do your top two before you get out of here. If you have them, all right. Runner up and your favorite for 2024. So we're gonna jump to uh, Kenny's favorite action figure, or favorite purchase of 2024 so far, and also his runner up. The floor is yours. All right, so this was a bit of a toss-up. So between runner-up, it was either Sabretooth mm -hmm. from the two-pack or Angel. Uh, so to give you a, a definite answer, I'm going to lean towards Sabretooth because I do think that was a, a really nice upgrade. Uh, number one purchase so far has been the Punk Turtle set. and I, Maybe that's cheating because it is four figures in one. Oh, but, it counts. Uh, it counts. It counts. So. You wouldn't buy one in their own, would you? You'd buy, you need the set. Yes. Yeah. If I had to pick one on the own, I, I don't know, Leo probably. Well, Mikey, he's got that weird hair. I'll, weird, I'll give weird it. fruit on his head that you showed us. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll give it to Mikey. I'll give it to Mikey. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, That's no, it. I'm excited to open these as well. Mine all have their feet as well. So that, uh, shout out to Mike for making sure that they've got their feet before he sends them internationally across the Atlantic. Uh, but yes, Kenny, good picks for sure. Um, yeah, Sabretooth and Angel are both definitely up there amongst the Legends community for best of the year so far. Yeah. That is without a doubt. So uh, again, we've we've plugged your YouTube already, my friend, but the floor is yours. Encountered Culture, tell the people where they can find you online. All right. So yeah, as as we've already talked about, uh, same name on both YouTube and Instagram. So you can find me here. You can find me over there. Uh, definitely appreciate. It. I always appreciate the time. And uh, again, cheers to three years. So I'll be in the chat for the rest of the evening, but uh, definitely appreciate the, the time here. Of course, of course. Kenny, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Right, right. Kenny's going to drop Kenny. out. Bye, so, Kenny. Thank you. Bye, Kenny. Kenny's going to drop out. And uh, again, go, please Take do Kenny. go and support everyone from the community. Again, everyone's got, who's got their own channels. We're all branches of the same tree, all right? Go and check everyone out. All right, let's go to uh, Tariq. Tariq, where are you, Tariq? There you go. There you go, I'm my it. friend. There you go. Right. All yours, my friend. We haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? Yeah, it's been a bit of time. Not You've been too busy. Long, but, You've been busy. Uh, yeah, making purchases, reorganizing, reorganizing. That's what it's all about. It doesn't <laughs> stop, does it? It doesn't yeah. stop. I, well, yeah, I think got... we will say moving moving stuff around the shelves is our excuse to pay the things, right? I always say to people, like, I try and explain this to the missus all the time, like, People always walk in and be like, oh, how long does it take you to display them and stuff? And it takes time. Of course it does. But that's our that's our time. That's like, you can disconnect from the world. You can listen to a podcast. You can put on a movie. You can put on some music. And you just chill. It's therapeutic. It's like, it's just chill. Unless you get that one female jelly leg figure that just falls over all the time and knocks everyone over. <laughs> but like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, <laughs> But otherwise, that's, that's our time. It, it never stops. There's never a finish line. It's just always, it's a work in progress. What, like in work, when I've got documents that I call working documents, where they're never finished, that you're constantly updating and changing them. They're working documents. Our collection is a working collection, I guess. Like it never, there's never a finish line. It just constantly changes and evolves depending on what you've currently got. Things swap in, swap out. It's just, again, only collectors really get that. 
like the, the the neutrals of the world the civilians as we say don't really understand but that's that is all part of the hobby for us it's not, it's not just buying the toys it's the displaying and the rearranging and the, how do you pose them like and the, what t who goes with what character on the shelf it's all part of the hobby and everyone's collection is different and, and that's what i love it's like no one collection is the same everyone has their own twist and own their own personal touch on it so i love it i love it Tariq. yeah on, so, yeah, what I've been buying, um, this one I haven't opened yet, but not Marvel, Star Wars. Free for, okay, the so, Django so, you, so you do, do you do the free and free quarter inch then? Yeah, I sadly, I do that and Black Series at home. Don't say sadly, Kurt K's in the building right now. Kurt <laughs> K's driving and he, he, he will be very happy with the free and free quarter inch Star yeah. Wars figures. Vintage collections where it's at, man. Yeah. It's the best. Yeah, yeah. I think they just they feel better in the hand, take up less space. I think they're a bit harder to display. That's the only thing, which is why I do get Black Series as well. But I got that one, and then I did get the Tuscan Warrior Massive. Oh, yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice figure. Yeah, from the Mandalorian. I think I got it from. Yeah, from Mandalorian. I think I got it from Hacker Very nice. So it's on sale. I got that, and then one I'll show you. Here we go. I've got Legend the Black Widow. Thing. Very nice. Yes. And I've got the Extremist Iron Man. Very nice. Ultimate Cat. Female Widow was one of the best of 2023 for sure. Ultimate Cat there. Yeah, so I was. I think so in the UK. I think that's only from Pulse, right? What put uh, Widow? No, she's been around. She's she just sold out very quickly elsewhere. That's all. She sold out everywhere else. Okay, yeah. yeah so I, I did actually get that one. From Pulse. I didn't. Yeah. I love the little glimpse um, of the collection there, Tariq. Show us. Turn turn the camera. Let us see. Let us see real quick. You want to see it? Yeah, right? just show. Just show. So us. you I've got some other ones. Oh, hang on, hang on, Amanda Doyle. Hang on, Amanda Doyle's super chatting. Amanda on underscore Doyle <laughs> donated fourteen dollars. <laughs> I can't wait to hold mm. your hair back while you puke. Have another shot, love. I'm, I didn't even know Amanda knew how to super chat. This is Amanda's first <laughs> super chat. Like <laughs> Amanda's literally worlds colliding. Uh, Amanda. <laughs> Amanda says, "I can't wait to hold back your hair while you puke. Have another shot." <laughs> <laughs> Boy. Don't do that, Amanda. Because I'm shocked yeah. as well. Do you know what? I'm desperate for a piss. I'm not going to lie. So after Tariq's talked, I'm going to go for a piss real quick. So. Got to bust it. Yeah, yeah, just real quick. Um, so I will take another shot. <laughs> I can't believe Amanda just super chat. She is that out of the joint account, Amanda? If I just paid myself to take a shot, because that's not fair. If that's the case, uh, I need to know a bank account that coming out. Now. <laughs> She's endorsing. She's going to hold my hair as well. I'm paying myself to drink alcohol right now. Right, okay. I've gone for the uh, the vodka. I've got a different flavor. You don't. You don't even get the full amount either, Dan. I know. I can't believe I'm you're. Yeah. I can't believe you're mixing vodka and rum, man. That is the worst. And Disarano. And Disarano. And God. I'm oh. casually drinking Koppelberg as we go. Like, look at that. I've drank most of that already. I can. I can like, a terrible example, no, man. You're in big trouble. I feel like I can drink though. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm alright. I'm okay. Like I know my. Because yeah, yeah, you're drunk I'm already. I'm okay. I'm <laughs> Get fresh. Right. You'll be fine. Yeah, it's right. fine now. I'm okay. I'm yeah. Me. I can Wait, drink. I'm okay. I'm no lightweight. Like I don't. Like, I'm not, not. It's not the drinking part. It's the mixing. Part. Oh, I know. It's, it's the stomach in the morning. Or I'm. I'll be it's when they're all morning. mixed together. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Okay. <laughs> Continue, Tariq. Thank you, Amanda, for that. <laughs> I thought she was asleep. To be fucking honest. Okay. Uh, it is. It's right. ten past one. Uh, ten past twelve over here in the UK. For anyone paying attention, so it's technically Saturday right now. Right, nice. so we got uh, Tariq, nice axe, man. Tariq, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna say one Classic. word to you, right? One word, right? Do you know what I'm about to say to you? Shots. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does someone in this chat? Does someone? In this I actually have no idea. Right? Someone in this rises. Chat, rises. Rises. Thank you rises, very much. Rises. Rises. Uh, rises. Uh, Tariq. You know, rises. I was thinking about it the other day, and I was like. If I get the risers for these, the next thing that's going to happen is one's going to fall down no, and they're won't. all going to fall. They won't. They'll make all the difference for you. Rises. You say rises, that. Uh, you say that. Look, risers change again. I've got an empty shelf right now, just so you can see, right? 
risers change the game. Like I built these mm. out of wood. Like just built like I brought some wood from B and Q, which is like the Home Depot of the UK, and I just built them to the size of my shelf. Look at that a cube, a riser. Dan's taking commissions. So, to be fair, Greg build me some as well. Greg has hit me up going make, make me some risers. They make such a difference. Well, we'll World. He built them out of scraps and a cave. Hey, it, yeah. <laughs> but, but away, space, space rack shelves, space <laughs> shelves. By the way, I still think the display looks nice. I'm not taking anything away from that. I'm just saying, I my personal preference it will help a bit. would be risers yeah. would just elevate it. That's all. That's all. First Literally. time in dad's <laughs> life, he's got wood. I, I just tried to drink from this bottle, but this bottle was empty. Like that's how that's how I know I've had something to drink. Like that's the empty bottle. I'm drinking. <laughs> like I'm just I, I'm an idiot. Carry on, carry on, Tariq. Yeah, so I've got this um, banshee from Forbidden Planet, like by Ian Pat. Yep. So I was really happy with that. And Great then... figure. We just need the green version now. The that's my there. next. That's my next. Oh, that's so you want to bug them about? Yeah, the next champion that you go for. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. green I've either butchered, um, either butchered Magneto or done something cool, but. Oh, okay. I'm in first class, and you kind of see what I'm trying to do. So that's there. Michael Fassbender unmasked head from the the yeah. Charles Xavier Magneto two pack. On the I'm gonna is that the Wolf? It's not the Wolverine, is it? Is that Gambit's body? Maybe or yeah, Gambit. Yeah, yeah Gambit. Gambit. Yeah, because it has so like Forge's leg. It looks weird at the neck area, but I don't really, I don't really need another Gambit. I've got two. Sorry. Two great ones. Remember him. Remember so, yeah. his name. I will remember. So, yeah, I did that. Um... I think any other legends. I don't think there's more legends that I've recently got, but you want to see what's going on. Are you going to be buying the Wolverine and Deadpool re-release, or are you happy with the two you've got? You, you've got those two exact same figures on the corner of that display there. There you go. Yeah, I skip, I've skipped it for now, but if like one of them's still up after a while, I might just get it and keep yeah, it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. The Wolverine's got the two different heads, but other than that, it's the same figure. I think uh, the, the Deadpool's got the, the guns that can actually move out of his holster now. Do you know the best thing about Parrot's display is? Go on. Howard the Duck is at the front. Howard the Duck is on the front. There you go. Yeah, you got to have him, huh? Oh, I, I can hear a doggy echo. Sorry. Echo. Sorry. It's me. Trying to turn it off. Oh, okay. It's Kurt. It's Kurt. Okay. Sorry. Right. Sorry. Right. Yeah, it's sorted now. Sorted now. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you, Kurt. Yeah. To be fair, when you say risers, though, this one is... No, you can see the figures at the back for sure, the yeah. So how do you have uh, them higher at the back then? Like, what have you got going on back there? I have Funko Pops. <laughs> <laughs> you're just hiding. You're using uh, Funko Pops as risers. I like. It's that. actually it's like a double cast because Funko Pops, which most people hate, and then it's also for the Avengers game, which most people also hate. So sneaky, <laughs> sneaky. I works. Did that, and then it works. This one. Let me let me turn the light on for a bit. Yeah, it won't make much difference. You might like this one. Okay, is that some Lego and? So is that the Lego ship from Guardians with the Marvel Legends? Guardians, Guardians. volume three, that nice. is. Yeah, that's cool. Exactly that. Looking good. I like you got the tape as well at the front. What volume is that? Is that volume two or volume one tape? Volume two and cassette. swaps to volume. You're wild. You're too young to know what a bloody cassette tape. Uh, cassette. I can't even speak. Cassette tape is. <laughs> uh... Almost. I've never played one. Oh I do my, have to. You've never played. I remember <laughs> buying a cassette tape. Oh God! Mm -hmm. I felt my bones <laughs> creak when he said that. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know what? VHS. <laughs> I used to watch Toy Story and VHS and Power Rangers. And right, I feel better. So, a little better. You don't know frustration. That, that much better. better. <laughs> you, you don't know frustration <laughs> until you put a pencil in the little hole. And try and wind it oh, up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Try and wind it and who, up. Oh, yeah. Who was who was like in a room trying to be quiet, like like to tape something off the radio, like on your little oh. recorder, and then your mom walked in yeah. and like the, the yeah. door you're like, Hey, it's dinner time. And like, no, I've been waiting for hours. <laughs> I used to try and record my own radio show and not like, talk in my between love the songs mix. and stuff. It was <laughs> people just don't make your own mixes. Oh, I used to make mixtapes. Write it all down on the little mm -hmm. card. <laughs> Couldn't mm -hmm. fit the songs in because they're too long. Oh, oh. So, it's so good. We're old. We're old people. Tariq is and, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm getting there. I'm, I'm nearing yeah. 30. No, mate, you're fine. You're fine. Oh. <laughs> You've got little Annie so, there as well. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting a bit proud of the Black Series collection. I've got this new pickup. This oh, that's the one that Jay PR. showed off earlier, right? The two, the Joy 2. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, the, the B2 is really nice, though. I'm very impressed mm -hmm. with what Hasbro did to that one. 
Um, what film is that from? Like, just because I can't remember at the top of my head. Episode two. Is it? T- oh, Clone Wars. Yeah, episode two. Clone Wars. Okay. So yeah, those are my main things, and then I got one more. Did you get the ghost, Tariq? Sadly. Sadly, no. I've got to say sadly for this, because I'm like, I don't have any designated space for it. I just sorted out an area <laughs> for... Club. I just sorted out an area for the... Um... Oh, it's a problem for future Trevor, right? Don't worry. Like, all the vintage collection. Yeah, Always. it's a future Trevor problem. Future Trevor might have to sell it. Ooh. Is that the Avengers <laughs> uh, Tower and Lego up there? Lego? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I got that. So when when Giant Man comes, he's gonna go like right. Oh, I do like that little Lego. Wow. That Lego wow. Look at that little Lego universe you've got on that That's top a great shelf. display. I like, that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Ooh, oh, we have the Sanctum, Sanctum Sanctorium. Nice. And, nice. And, and the, the Daily, Daily Bugle. Bugle. Yeah, yeah. And nice. The and he's got the Hall of Armor there too. That looks yeah, good, does. man. I've never really I, seen I, a, a legend, like a, a Marvel only Lego display. I usually see mm. people put their Marvel Lego into oh, their own see. Lego city. Oh, we lit it up. Nice. But I like that. That's yeah, a whole a Lego of... Marvel display there with the Blackbird. That's and all the great. Yeah, that's nice. I like that a lot. The Milano's there. Really nice. Yeah. Yeah, you got the Milano. Yeah, yeah I think because I started with just the Legends. Um, before I got into Legends, I did get a few Lego Star Wars pieces. But. It's like you're if you get into one of these and you're really into the characters, like oh you gotta be on the legend. Because legends is where you get the characters. But you see something cool like, I don't know, the X Jet, a tower, you're like, Oh, I might want that. So if you have the space for it I, I like I that. As I was saying, usually when I see Marvel in Lego, it's like someone puts it into their own city where that was. Oh, a whole you got the new city. Batman. Oh, there you yeah, go. so this is my big pick up. Oh, this is a fresh nice. release. So nice. Fresh release. Brand new, brand new. Sweet yeah, Garden so Gates, that one. Sweet Garden Gates. Sweet Garden <laughs> Gates. Sweet Gotham Gates. Sweet Gotham Gates. Gates. Yeah. yeah, Sweet Gotham Gates. Yeah, Sweet Gotham Gates, really. Yeah. So, yeah, excited for that. Um, does... <laughs> yeah, looking good. But nice. nice. I love Lego. Uh, shout out our friend of the channel, uh, Brick Life Travels. Uh, I've been trying to get Matt to come on. I did message him today, Jay, and he just completely blanked me. I said, come on the show today, yeah. and he just completely <laughs> ignored me. Uh, does he not like us, Jay? What's the problem with Matt? Uh, I don't know. You see, I, I messaged him earlier. He, he responded to me. I literally. Let me go and have a look. Have a look. He, mess- he messaged me saying, don't forget it's Jay's birthday. And I was like, of course we haven't forgot. I said, we've been wishing him a happy birthday all day. And then I said, you should happy come birthday. on Legend of Liquor. And then he just ignored me. <laughs> Six hours ago, <laughs> right? Six hours ago, you should come on the channel. Blanked. Blank. Can't be, can't be bothered. A... Can't be bothered. Yeah. Yeah, I've actually replied to me in six hours. I've got a, I've got a six hours there. He's we need to check he's okay, so right? If he's not replied to whether he's been doing. I guarantee I'll message hours. him now and he'll reply. <laughs> all right. If you no, got, just you, you, Dale and, you, Dale and Matt, are your friends. All right. Is that what is going on down here? <laughs> all right. Um. Anyway, I've been trying to get uh, Brick Life Travels into, into Legend of the Liquor so we can have... Because we used to have uh, Austin. Austin, uh, Hero of Collections. He hasn't been on in a while, but Austin used to be our mm. resident Lego guy. Shout out Austin, by the way. Hopefully he still watches. But he used to be our les- uh, resident Lego guy. Uh, so we do like Lego around here. We just, obviously, it's very expensive. So you can't get <laughs> yourself in all of what we do and also get Lego. It's just not how it works. Oh, Christopher Allen disappeared. My bad, Christopher. Yeah, I was going to say he disappeared. My bad, my bad. I do apologise. I've, I've clicked him back in if he can't, wants to come back in. There he is. Sorry, sorry Christopher. Dan, but I think that's the wrong excuse. Oh, sorry, Christopher. That's for Dale Ridley. I, I didn't see you were gone there. I, I got a drink for you, Christopher. There you go. You're back. <clears throat> You're back. Sorry, my bad, Christopher. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, no go, on, Tariq. go on, Tariq. What were you saying? What's the wrong excuse? I say, yeah, I think, I think, like, I don't find Lego is actually more expensive. Yes, it like, is. Like, if, if you just wanted Marvel, if you just wanted Marvel stuff, any of those year, Lego buildings, right? Any of those Lego buildings is like the price of like two Marvel Legend waves minimum. Am I wrong? But they only they only do like one building a year. That's true. So if Why you only, if you only wanted those buildings, that's probably I don't know three waves. Those three buildings. Oh yeah. Those three <laughs> buildings are, are, are every Marvel build figure, every Marvel Legend builder figure wave that year. That's, that's the let's choice do, I have to Let's make. do live mass, shall we? So the towers four twenty five. I know what I'm that. Saying. The bugle's two seven five. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that, that's seven hundred. Yeah. What's next? 
Right. Yeah. The Sanctum is one fifty in the sale. I don't know. That's okay. True. That's eight fifty. Okay. So divide the, the that. Ex- divide that by one fifty. And how many do you get? Divide that. Yeah, divide it by one fifty. Uh, we get five and a half Marvel Legends waves. There you go. You need another thing. That's what I'm saying. Caleb. Uh, and Caleb's Collect got a 98 chat. donated $14. Much, happy really birthday, that. Jay. Take a shot, oh, Dan. Glad I don't think I can do Ooh, okay. Uh, happy birthday, Jay. Take a shot, Jan. Thank you very much. Who's Jan, by the way? Uh, <laughs> shout out, Caleb, uh, <laughs> for the super chat. Happy birthday, Jay. Uh, Thank you. I, I can confirm in the UK, as of 23 minutes ago, it is no longer my birthday. We've right, we've yes. tipped midnight. There you go. But <laughs> thank you anyway. Everybody. Happy <laughs> post birthday. It's, it's, it's well, nice party birthday tonight. Day now, isn't it? No, oh, yeah, birthday was the day before, right? Thursday. Oh. Yeah, Thursday. You guys count years the same way, right? It's the, the, you know... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, don't fucking know anymore. Well, Craig, <laughs> Craig, Craig, Craig you, you shot. Let me go full screen, Craig. Craig, you're shot with me, right? You got you. Are you just drinking rum, right? Oh no, that's, that's not oh, rum. I'm, that? I'm that's on, Kool-Aid. I'm, I'm mixing. I've got sours and rum. Oh, sours is good. Oh, my shots God. Show me your sours. Show me your sours. Show me your sours. Oh, God. No, show Dude, the bottle. I do not want to go drinking with you oh, guys. Bottle, show the bottle, bottle so the Americans can see it. Do you have that oh, in the US? Oh, Jesus. Probably. I don't, no. I don't know. Sours is like... No. like oh, just drink whiskey my god it'll it'll be it's so much it's so much better if you have to throw well, up i mean like... is, it's not it's not like Oof. it's 37.5 in volume this is 40 percent it's gonna this, that's gonna this, stain your toilet this tomorrow is 40%. morning 40 <laughs> i don't hang and I don't throw up, so those are two good bonuses. C- but you do get stuck in the toilet. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. He doesn't get hung, he doesn't get stuck, but he, he just trap himself in there. Kurt, what are you drinking? Kurt was drinking something. What are you drinking, Kurt? Fucking out. Uh, today's pickups. My my background blurred, and I can't figure out what I need <laughs> to do. No, it doesn't have to no. <laughs> man in technology. Uh, you need an OT oh. manager for that, Kurt. We got yeah. an IPA there? <laughs> do you know you anyone? Know. He's blurred it out. It's I was going to say, the universe is balanced. What's on that can? can? We don't can. know, Kurt. It's blurred <laughs> out. <laughs> I know. It's so explicit. <laughs> God, it's you need to fix that. Fix it. Go to your settings. Of... Triple X IPA. <laughs> it is. There's no doubt it is. I was in uh, Philadelphia today. I played some hooky. Are you back and home now? I am. You so got behind hooky you are Philly? the regular bookshelves that are usually not blurred out. Yes. So why I... are they blurred now? I. You know what? Video okay. settings. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Video settings, background and effects, none. Yeah, I got you. There you go. There you go. go. There you go. Yeah. See, Trevor's yeah. after my job. Trevor's after my job. There you go. <laughs> All right. When when we doing these shots? What now? No. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Cheers, Craig. 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 Three years. Three, three years. years. Happy three years, everyone. Cheers, boys. Good stuff. Kurt K with the drink in his hand, the I universe. I'll swear around in my mouth too long. Like, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Oh. He's got the appropriate glass for that beer too. Wow, you I are like the froth. I like the froth. What is it? Is it just right. an IPA? Just a beer? Did you say? Is that a, it's a, a Kolsch? No, it's a double IPA. It is from Ooh. other half, which is normally. Oh, now we can see a... the can. That helps. Yeah. 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 Oh, pervert can. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> blur it out. Blur it out. Blur it. Out. Take it oh. easy. Look at all those little <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> Dan's word for three years. Oh, I love the froth. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I do need to go to the toilet real quick, all right? Uh, right, uh, Rush. Oh, hang on. Someone... Oh, a wolf doggy dog. Hang on. We might have a special guest. M- Miguel might be joining us here one second. I did send them oh, the link. Oh, here we go. There he is. Let me just make sure he's alive and well. Miguel! Miguel! Look Are you that. there? The wolf the wolf doggy dog. The wolf the wolf daddy is <laughs> there. How we doing? Pa, there he is. Look, at. we haven't seen Miguel. What's, what's your t-shirt say? I drink and... I, I know, know things. things. <laughs> I drink and I know things. That's how I feel right now. But I don't know anything. Yeah, Deb, definitely. You, you, you've been doing a, uh, a, a marathon, man. Congrats. Congrats on uh, three years. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you very much. You've, you've been with me for three years. I've known you for a good while now, right? Surely. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been... It, it's. It, just feels like uh, feels like we're doing twenty five to life, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no, you've been around. Miguel's been around. Miguel's been around. Uh, right, right. Uh, I do need to go to the toilet real quick, all right? So I need to leave someone in charge, right? Rush, you're next up in line. 
You're in charge now, all right? I'm going to go toilet. <laughs> I'll be back. Just start your pickups and I'll be back, all right? I'm just going to go toilet. Right? Just start your pickups. If you've got no pickups, okay. make something up. All right, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> so how's everyone doing, guys? That's so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, he gives the uh, pickups a long session while he's going to the bathroom to the guy that really doesn't pick anything up. Uh, I've got three pickups. Got this one Make nicely it's... today, Ted. No, slow it down. Slow it down. How many teeth? Show it, it, show, him, show it a little more. <laughs> Turn it around. <laughs> yeah, he's had a lot of transformer. Drag this out. Yeah, he's gonna be in there for a while. <laughs> yeah, we don't know when he's gonna be coming back. So. Yeah, uh, Transformer, Shark to Con, from to adding to my '86 movie shelf. Which, by the way, did anyone see the you know Transformers One trailer? So, don't know how yeah. I feel about that yet. I think it looks like a blast. I I'm here That's for fun. it. I don't care for the original Transformers cartoon. Um, I like Transformers oh. Prime a lot. Uh, you know what? I liked the comics. Same with GI Joe. I liked the comics as a kid, not the cartoons. Um, I like the Transformers Prime cartoon. Not the movies, but this Transformers one, it looks like fun. And that's that's all I want for it's toy robots that turn into cars. Just make it I'm fun. not I'm not even a Transformer like fan, like, but I think it's like the all the consternation over like it's not for me as a you know, not me, but like the people who are saying this are like in their late thirties, forties. And it's like, no, it's for kids because they right. want kids it's a toy to buy toys. Yeah. It's yeah. like, yeah. like we used to buy, like with the, when we watched the cartoons. That's who it's for, man. Like, relax, enjoy it for what it is. You know, it's not the Michael Bay stuff, and it's not you know Bumblebee. It's something different. It's just, it looks that was like quick, fun. Man. Hi, assuming, Dan. Welcome I'm back. I'm quick, assuming Dan. you're talking about Transformers One there. Yeah. 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 Looks fun. Just because, I you mean, know, showing off, you know, what I picked up today to add to my 86 okay. movie collection. Brandon Air, Brandon, our friend Brandon Air, Hero Collections, he, got, uh, he as he works for Hasbro now, he got invited to, like, a screening of Transformers 1. Uh, and he says that it's a really good film, and the trailer shows off, like, the most kiddie, family-friendly version of the film. But he said mm. the film is still... Like it's it's not just that it is an enjoyable Transformers film. He said so. He said the trailer is definitely much aimed at families, but he said the the film is 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 good. He said. You said uh, Brandon works for Hasbro, right? Apparently so. Yeah, apparently he could be lying to me, mm. but apparently so. It's what he tells me. It's what mm. he tells me. Oh, oh, I understand now. That's why you gave it a good review. Oh, okay, I'm with you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fantastic, cool. and you're going to want all the toys. <laughs> he did say that. It's you part of the drinking over. game, Dan. We yeah, don't have to super chat for that, right? My bad, my bad. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, he slowly, I slowly caught up then. was like, okay, now it makes sense. <laughs> <why he'd... laughs> it makes sense why he'd like that film. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Fair. Uh, besides the uh, Shark Decon, I uh, just picked up Retro Duke, and I upgraded the saber tooth because I hey, gave in like everyone was would. pushing. So. Yeah, knew you would. Knew you would. Uh, do you? Do you don't regret it though, right? You, you're glad you upgraded. Yeah, it it looks awesome, and the size it fits in perfectly in the display. So now I just need to find a place to put the older one. Probably will put him in a jail. So beyond that, that's <laughs> all. So nothing really much lately. No, very nice. A few people have been saying that Saber Tooth is up there for their favorite of the year. So I'm glad you upgraded. I do think when you when you're gonna only have one character on a display rush, and I'm sure you agree with me, you want you want the best version of that character available. Would you would you be wrong in saying yeah, that? Yeah. Uh, uh, as long as there, it's like there's extreme difference between the previous model yeah, yeah. and the newer model. Yeah. It's like it, like with the Wolverines. Oh, the new one's pinless. Like I don't care. Yeah, yeah. If it looks exactly the same as the other one, it's just pinless. Like I, yeah. I don't care. Yeah. But if there's extreme differences in them, it's like then that's when the upgrade yeah. will the come. The saber tooth so. is bigger, it's better scaled, more articulation, m mainly pinless. Like yeah, there's definitely worthy of an upgrade there for sure. Is the is yeah. the saber tooth all pinless, or is it just is it got pins on the knees or something like that? I'm, I'm forgetting. Yeah. I think I'm the legs right. have pins. Oh, okay, yeah, for yeah. so. I've not opened it yet. It's the one set I haven't opened yet, but yeah, I did think I did think so. All good, all good. Uh, all right. We have a bit of breaking news here. Okay. Breaking, news. breaking news from Jay. We, ha we have we have a live purchase here okay. at half past midnight on Legends and Liquor free okay. anniversary. Okay. So thank you to the man below me, Trevor One Six Shooter. I now own a Mars Toys housekeeper. Wow. Nice. <laughs> where, where did you get it? Where did you get it? 
Uh, I went to eBay. There's a certain Chinese seller on there that I get my Mars toys from. I watched it half an hour ago, and they've just sent me a ten pound off offer for watching it. So, oh, beautiful! Pound later, we nice. have a Mars toys housekeeper. Very nice. All right, he doesn't he dust. He got that Batmobile. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to dust him, but yeah. still, it's good. <laughs> when that Alfred, like, I, I apologize, I don't remember the actor's name, but that's my mind's eye of well, Alfred. Golf. Thank you. Yeah, so he's he's my mind's eye of Alfred for sure. So if you're going to have an Alfred mm. on display, uh, I think that's a great choice for sure. And it's a great yeah. looking figure from what Trevor showed off. Yeah, and, I mean, for the price, it's a great looking one six figure. Fantastic. Yeah, all good. And uh, just for one second, quick Wolverine rave break. <laughs> right cool back to our regular scheduled program right let's go to david now david. Oh, hey. hello david how you doing hey. good how are you guys fine, um happy congrats on the three years thank you jay happy belated birthday you're a bit slow uh, it was your birthday yesterday for god's sake i know i'm so yeah. late i'm yeah. so late. Yeah. um christopher allen good to see you again welcome back um and yeah, you too, buddy. Yes, good to see you. We've been chatting, but you know, good to see you back. Um, and then, of course, Crawler. He, he? he had to do it, didn't he? He had to do it. He had to do it. That's fair. That's uh, fair. Yeah. Also received from uh, Walmart this, which you had. I do way have that. before us. That's true. I do have that one. Ironically, in I the UK, I'd, I think I'd before. prefer to have Prowler first, though. Prowler on the retro card is more appealing to me than there, that cap. Maybe you live in the wrong country, Dan. Maybe you live in the wrong country. That's true. Um, and, you know, I don't collect McFarlane, but I did just find the whole <laughs> wave of uh, <laughs> the new animated series. Is that, that's the builder that, figure well, of the wave, right? That's the builder figure. Correct. Yeah. Lock up. Um, so I bought cell shaded versions of everything I already had in order to build this guy. So, so is that builder figure not been released before then? Is that a new character? Correct. Okay. Same with the Condiment Kings. So, like, they're really sneaky. They are. Because they make you buy a wave, $120 worth of a wave, to build one new character and, you so, know. So, do you sell off old... those, the extra figures you brought, the cell shaded versions? What do you do with them? No, because I'm an idiot. So, okay. like, I'm actually building, like, a shelf of the cell shaded ones right next to the shelf of the not cell shaded <laughs> ones. Okay. So I don't know why that. <laughs> Alexi finds that amusing. <laughs> but, Look at his background, man. Yeah, he doesn't sell figures. I know he does. Yeah, it's true. Very true. So, but yeah, the lockup is a good figure. It's uh, very well done. And then, uh, correct me, Dan. Did you get? Did you get this set delivered yet? yet? No. It, hopefully tomorrow it arrives. Hopefully tomorrow. But I've I'm just had a notification sure. saying it's due tomorrow. Yeah, to be fair, yeah. out of all the sets that I think David Evan Smith should get first, I think the one that includes Wasp is one that I'm happy David to get first. All right, so I'm absolutely fine with you getting that one first, my friend. How is it in hand? Are you happy? Very great. I mean, it's it's perfectly captured the first appearance costume, and this unhelmeted head of Janet, is yeah. like absolutely gorgeous. So this is my. My like the the angel to Trevor is this the wasp to me, yeah. so um, yeah, like I there's like no notes, like I wouldn't improve anything on this figure. Um, I just want anybody that's not going to use this. Yeah, I was head, about to say that was my next question. How many of those heads do you now want? Ship it to me. Ship me all. Give me all the heads. Dad, David, uh, Evan, and Smith want those heads. All right, plenty of heads for everyone. Yeah, all do the. You heads. want it for the face, David? One's head. <laughs> What? Or do you want it what for the face to like swap hair pieces off, or are you going to just use that head as is on a bunch of? But he's got loads of Janets, hasn't he? He's got loads well, of custom Janets. Yeah, literally, I've got thirty-three wasps. So, <laughs> oh, I have thirty-three wasps. He um, got swarm, David. He's got a swarm. So I do. I have a, a whole net. Of wasps. There's a nest. Yeah. A ne um, <laughs> so <laughs> I need to <laughs> phone someone about that. <laughs> I really do. I need to get an exterminator. You should in here phone somehow. up an exterminator and film it for like a YouTube video and be like, "I've got loads of wasps in the room." They walk <laughs> in, and check like, <laughs> Just... all the gear, and they're like, "What?" what yeah. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of buzz in that room. <laughs> Call me here a lot for the shit. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so like that that classic head feels very like sixties to eighties for me. Um, like it looks just like the under siege version of wasp from the, the 80s comics. So like I would replace probably some of the heads with that and then flip those heads to like newer, more modern wasps. Yeah. 
Um, but that's just me and my OCD and my obsession. But um, and Giant Man also great, great preview of the Haslab to come. Very nice. So excited about this. I do wish that like we had another head with the white. white. And I was about, yeah, I'm, a, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you. If they're going to give us the options for the builder figure, give us those options with the smaller figure as well. Like exactly. Like yeah. even if you did the smiling head with the white antenna that matched yep. the smiling head on the Haslab, like. But now I feel like I'm pressured to use the black antenna yeah. on my. I'm with you. On my, so that's the only drawback for me. But honestly, they packed so much into this: the Quinjet, the beakers, the soft goods lab coat, which I tossed in a pile. Um, and <laughs> the Hank Pym have it. You know, you there, so you classic, classic, classic. Um, yeah, so that's like the most recent stuff. I mean, I got uh, retro carded Scarlet from GI Joe, but I don't collect GI Joe. Of course you don't. Um, I don't either. I don't, I don't yeah. yeah. Um, but I used that head for a Pepper Potts custom like I oh, that I had an old Scarlet hat on. So. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything I picked up. But the best one is yet to come, She-Hulk. Apparently Amazon is going to ship her yeah. by May 2nd. You guys are due that wave very quickly. We're, we're not due that wave until like June or July. And you guys are getting that like first week of May. So... Well, I hope it's true because, yeah. like, all of the only She Hulk updated to deliver May second, but everyone else is delivering like May thirtieth. So I, I don't know if it's going to hold true, or if they're going to change the date. That would be that'd be before the Kazar wave, right? No, Kazar also updated. No, Zabu, Zabu wave. You mean? Uh, yeah, the yeah, Zabu. Zabu yeah. yeah, yeah. Also updated to May thirtieth. Like on my oh, really? Amazon like order page, it says July second, but if you go into the item. It says May thirtieth for Zabu and mm. the Iron Man retro card wave. So like I'm gonna for like, both waves. Wow. Yes, I'm gonna get hit for like an eight hundred dollar charge <laughs> from Amazon. Like <laughs> on one day, I'm gonna have to like you know be evicted. Like it's this is crazy. Yeah, no, that, um, that's, that's happened with us with Joe's this week. Like it's, so it's, it's a good thing you don't collect Joe's. Too. Yeah, Joe, yeah. basically all the yeah. new Joe's came this week. Then this got moved up, which is like seventy five pound, and then we get the vamp that's next week as well. So that's four hundred pounds worth of Joe's in oh the space God. of twelve days. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, crazy. Well, I ordered I two of the. Iron Man. Yeah, I ordered two of the Iron Man retro to like keep one on card. Yeah. So I have like double of that wave, and then like singles of all the Zabu wave. And a second of Kazar, of course. Um, so I'm just going to, like, be so broke. Um, I may have to, like, go dark online for, like, yeah. a couple weeks because I can't afford the internet or anything. Um, you could do you could do the regular price first round of that wave. And then you could wait until they go on sale to get your in-box figures or vice versa. That game, man. Like, especially retro cards, like, and a wave that's as strong as this and has gotten such good buzz as this, I don't see it going to like a massive discount. And like, I don't like to worry about that. Like, I, if I'm going to be able to I'm get with, stuff, like I'm with David. I'm, again, I understand people play that waiting game. Like, Jay does it very well. He's got patience, but I'm with David. Like, if there's legends I really want, I, I, again, it's just my own choice. I just want to get them so they're done and I don't worry about it. So I'm, I'm with Yeah, because I mean, how many people do you see like shaking their fists on Facebook? Like, can somebody sell this to me for a reasonable price? And I'm like, it's for my kid. Everybody bought it. <laughs> I mean, it. <laughs> my son. Yeah. Weren't you the one recently. talking about the? Aren't weren't you the one talking about the scroll two pack that you bought first thing and then everyone else you know bought on clearance? So yeah, it works yeah. for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, the, the legends are definitely moving in a better direction. Like, I'm not dis arguing with anyone. Legends have definitely had their faults recently, but I do think legends, from what they've recently showed, are definitely heading in a better direction. And the people that have built their YouTube channels off bitching about Marvel Legends, and now are already trying to change their mind and be like, "Oh no, legends are good again!" Like, come on now, come on now. <laughs> like, it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's, it's just the, the collecting. It's not everything can be great all the time. Unfortunately, it's. Uh, X X Men ninety seven wave one is still at full price, so that goes to show that they yeah. haven't got Wolverine, a sale. As I said, try and get a Wolverine. Card. Try and yeah. get a Wolverine yeah. at retail. Yeah. You're not. I was lucky to get two of them Wolverine. I regret and not one of them was by accident. Out of FOMO. Uh, My was... friends still look for Bishop and Wolverine and can't get them. Yeah, because the show's amazing, and 
you know, like they're gonna they're gonna keep that full price. They're not gonna put that on the outlet page of Hasbro Pulse anytime soon. Um, you know, so get them when they're new, when they're all twenty four ninety nine. And you know, look, don't this, worry. This about... may be the, this may be the inf uh, the alcohol influence to me, but uh, I don't expect a wave three this year. I'm just telling you now. Like wave one and two seemed very close together because wave one kept getting pushed and pushed and pushed because of the the actual show itself kept getting pushed and pushed and pushed. So the first wave was ready to go. It kept getting pushed and pushed and pushed, and then yeah. by the time it was actually released, wave two was ready to go. Wave three isn't on the isn't on the schedule this year. It's not happening. Sounds like, like you have inside information, Dan. Sounds no, like you've been talking about. Honestly, brand. honestly, this I, I don't know what it is. Uh, it could be one of these alcoholic beverages giving me the. <laughs> um, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Wave three. If we get any announcements, it will be for next year. It's not happening this year. I'm just. I'm just. So not in this in this Milky Way ghetto, we're not getting any. I'm not unfortunately. Not. I, I'm now caught up. I'm now caught up. So he's, I, I he's understand got the that top reference. Three on his personal oh, phone. I understand like... that reference. I understand that. It's reference. a phenomenal show, though, isn't it? It's absolutely fantastic. It's a great show. show. It's better than the original show. It's it's more aimed at adults now. It's as simple as that. The old show tried to. It was it was meant to be appealing for comic fans, but also kids. This show is just aiming at the adults that love the show back in the day. Now, like, it's, that it's last episode is I... just wow. Yeah. Oh, I gotta say, like, I, I was not a fan of the original show only because, like, I read the comics before that and I was really excited about it being on TV. Yeah. And it just didn't do, uh, it didn't do a good job. Like, I didn't know who Morph was, the, the stories, really. But I, I am enjoying this, this season. It is, it is good. I'm taking a different, like, approach to it and it, it's fun. It's, it's been fun. A little, a little too fast on the storylines, but uh, it has been fun. Oh, yeah. yeah well, the Goblin sure. Queen storyline could have been like two three episodes well that's so like, it what yeah it was like four at <laughs> four or five issues of the yeah, comic that was book, like so rapid fire I story I even on its weakest episode that's, that's kind of how the animated series was as a whole though it, it rapid yeah. fire Stories yeah. at you. A lot of that, unfortunately, because I've been slow at watching the show, a lot of it was spoiled for me, like just from being on Twitter and stuff like that. So when I came to watching it, I sort of knew what was happening. I'm talking about episode five, remember me and all of that. But it's still like had an, it like it's still it, it felt i still felt something if that makes sense do you know what i mean even though i knew it was coming it, it's still i still felt something which and again it takes a good show to do that i think so um oh yeah liking what I see. it sounds like the, the yeah. sound and the editing and like the storytelling is layered like they're they're digging deep into like real themes that are relatable today about racism and hate hatred and you know intolerance yeah it's it's brilliant. That was the really X Men, man. That was the comic book back in the day, man. Back in the seventies and eighties. I like that the they find ways to like tie together multiple different stories that happened at different decades in the comic, but make them all still make sense and make them still feel relatable and modern and current. And you know, it, yeah. it's it's brilliant. I really hope that uh, there's new life but, for both. But of Morph them. needs to go away. Still, no Morph <laughs> needs to go. Away. Uh, <laughs> not that fucking bad. terrible. Uh, Terrible. Uh, Terrible. Uh, Terrible. Tell you who I do hate. Terrible. <laughs> Jubilee. Like, why didn't they put Kitty Pride in the no, 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 Nightcrawler, Kitty Pride. We need Kitty Pride and Nightcrawler. Look, I need to, I need to yeah. stand up for it. Where's Colossus? I need to stand up for it. He's coming. We saw Colossus because of Morph. Like yeah. he turned uh, into a uh, uh, the cameo uh, king. Uh, uh, we want the original Kitty Pride, not, right, not the right, right, oh, right, no. Right, 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 right. I need to bring us home. I need to bring us home. All right, for for the sake of Rich Emma, right? Because if I know, I was going to say, if he's good thing Rich is in the replay. Bed anyway, if he watches the replay, he's not going to be happy. He probably isn't watching this. He's not watching any replay. He does. He does. Rich watches. Rich watches. Rich is one of the good guys. Rich watches. He finds a way to watch. He's always listening. Don't worry. Don't worry. Right. Let's go to John. John, my friend. Hey, hey, Dan, I, I gotta oh, jump on. real quick. Oh, okay, okay. I okay. gotta jump. Okay, let's, let's go. Yeah, I, think I gotta jump as now. well. So. Okay, okay, let's go around then. Let's go around real quick. Trevor, just hold on one second. Let's go to Tanner mm -hmm. real quick. Tanner, give us your favorite figures of the year so far. Runner up, and then your favorite of the year so far. Runner up uh, has been literally Mezco has been on fire this year. So my runner up is Mezco Doom. Great figure. And to no one's surprise, uh, my number one figure of this year is Heat Boys Michelangelo, the big wow. giant mech. Damn. There's no doubt that so yeah. you're in on that whole line now. You're getting all of them. Uh, I, I want to get all four tails. Leo and Mikey have been great so far. Yeah. Cannot wait for Raph. I've got on pre-order 
Donny hasn't uh, haven't seen anything for yet, but aside from the pictures at the con, there was that. But yeah, look forward to all of them. They all look great. Yeah, Heat Boys. Are we? Do you do one more this year? At least do you think? Do you reckon Donny? I, I think Wrath is due this oh, Rath. this year towards the end of the year. Wrath is due this year. Oh, no, so by the end um, of the year, this may change because Wrath may jump a front. And, 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 oh, a hundred percent. Yeah, Wrath is my boy. But uh, you never know. It's the case of Leo was great. Mikey has that difference uh, difference to him. You need to jump on it, Dan. You need to jump on oh, it. I'm tempted. They are but, so yeah. good. I know, I know. They're good. It's them and then the Fury Toys stuff you were showing earlier, or whatever they're called, the Hatred Toys or the or whatever, the Angry Toys. <laughs> <they're called. laughs> uh, toys. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, uh, right, uh, t- uh, let's go to... Um, uh, so, Alexa, you got to go as well, right? But we're jumped to, we're Yeah, jumped I'm to, heading out as well. Cool, we're jumped to Trevor first. And Trevor, we were doing top... Oh. Your favourite figure of the year so far. So, of course... Okay. Any, uh, what, what, you, give, you can give us a run of So... <sighs> I mean, it's hard to on Legends of Liquor to say the runner up is and and as much as I have like, you know, talked about this to be the runner up. But I mean, it's a great figure. Uh, you know, he's he's kind of basic, no, but we get it, uh, you're a premium collector though. You collect premium stuff. So we well, understand. we understand. Yeah, I mean, I mean it's I'm just comparing <laughs> I'm just comparing it to other figures, but it's it's fantastic. As Marvel Legends go, it's fantastic and they they knocked it out of the park and it is my favorite Marvel Marvel Legends I, I and nothing very will happy take its place. I've came on Legend of Liquor and at least We've had a man. We've op- had an opportunity to talk to you about Angel after year after <laughs> literally a long time. I know. Of talking about it as your most wanted, it's now in your hand. It does. It, it's very. Good. I know. Uh, recency bias would have me pick um, Donatello, not Donatello, but uh, I think I gotta go. And this is something surprised me. This 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 character Kalazir, uh is just nuts, man. Yeah, it's I. I wasn't even interested in this figure. I was not 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 interested in it, but like like yeah, it'll be it'll be cool on the shelf. But man, it's incredible, man. The the details and the uh, the the paint job on this thing are just nuts. Um, it does look good. It's beautiful. In your head, yeah, is that voiced by Robin Williams or Will Smith? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not Will Smith. No. Uh, uh, Will Smith. <laughs> Keep Will Smith's name <laughs> out, out your foot. No, man. <laughs> very nice. He does look good. He does look very good, to be fair. The, uh, yeah, it's a very nice figure. Cannot think. Of, it's obviously a genie tribute, isn't it? It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Yeah, uh, it's beautiful. in that. Right. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll quickly go to Alexi, and then you can quickly wrap up. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alexi, uh, favorite figure of the year. Runner up and favorite. Uh, shit, man. There's so many good ones. Um, the one that I was looking forward to the most was uh, Jada Toys Ken. Um, I haven't really opened him up yet, though. And then uh, I guess the second that I was looking forward to the most would be Amazing Yamaguchi Flash. Flash. Mm. Uh, yeah, he really represents a hole in my collection that I needed to fill. We all know about needing to fill holes. And then uh, he just... He's great. I, I love Amazing not, Yamaguchi. So. He's not 12 inches, but, you know. David's nodding for he's some reason. Inches. I don't know why. I don't know why. You know, if you can't get what you need to get done with six inches, then you're not doing it right, okay? That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> Very nice. So no. so uh, Flash takes it for now, right, as your favorite of the year so far? Very nice. Very nice. All right, beautiful then. Anyone else want to do their top before we go? If, if not, let's go to Tanner real quick. Tanner, where can you, the people find you online? Super, Super Turk 5000, Instagram, Twitter, also on this show, uh, Talzin T as well. Um, that's pretty much it. Beautiful. And yeah, that's Beautiful. pretty much I it. I do think most of the links are in the description, to be fair. I put a lot of people's in there before I started the show. Uh, Trevor, always great to have you on the show, my friend. Tell the people where they can find you online. Uh, great to be here, and congrats on three years, man. That's so that's a, a big milestone. I know I'm like all choppy now, and my camera's dying. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, amazing, and uh, I'm glad to have been here for at least two of those three years. Um, you can find me at one six underscore shooter on Instagram and one six shooter on YouTube and Legions Lounge Monday if you want to be enabled for Legions, uh, which I highly recommend. Uh, yeah. That's beautiful me. stuff beautiful stuff I, i'm sure a lot of the action figure photography people out there have seen i'm sure trevor has had his uh, hand in it for sure uh definitely enabling points and he's an more to come yeah enabling points that he doesn't even know he doesn't even know <laughs> he's owed he's owed alexi yeah you can find me at your boys got toys on instagram and all over youtube in the comments uh i just checked my membership time and it says 33 months wow so, wow. nice i've been making 
been making bad decisions for a long time, I guess. I appreciate uh, that. <laughs> I appreciate yeah. you all. I really do. I tell you all the time. If you weren't supporting the channel, Legend of the Liquor wouldn't be here. It's here because you guys are still supporting. It's as simple as that. If I didn't have channel members, I wouldn't do Legend of the Liquor. So as long as you're here, I will continue to uh, host uh, this this toy talk, if you will. So I appreciate Just it. Just think how many Yamaguchi figures you've missed out on because don't of that. Don't tell him that. Don't tell him that. Don't tell him that. <laughs> right. You guys get out of here. Get out of here. At least, at least one. one. <laughs> At least, yeah. yeah. All right, y'all. Right, Enjoy the rest bye. of the evening. Bye. Have a good one, guys. Yeah, guys. And if anyone at any point needs to go, please just give me the heads up and we can jump to you real quick. It's not a problem. Otherwise, we can go to our good friend, John. Thank you very much, John, for patiently waiting. The floor yeah. is now yours, my friend. Let's talk um, some toys. What you got? What you got? Well, I've been spending money. I won't uh, bore anyone with the same house. You don't stuff bore us. You don't else. bore us. Uh, so, <laughs> I, I talked in our group chat about um, well, the day I was driving back from Disney World, McFarlane posted uh, a Cassandra Kane Batgirl figure. And Cass is one of my all-time favorite comic characters. That following Monday, I just pre-ordered it without thinking anything of it. I don't like the McFarlane stuff, but I was like, whatever, I'll just have a Cass in the collection. And then people started getting it in hand, and I actually paid attention to it. And I was like, this is trash. Like, it's the cloth cape looks terrible. It's got holes here where the plastic cape was pegged on the original figure that used it and the proportions are god awful so um so i canceled the pre-order mm -hmm. but i had gotten it in my head that i was going to get a cassandra kane figure and i had, had both of the dc directs in the past sold them off because i wasn't satisfied with them um so i decided to start tracking down old dc stuff okay. um i've been watching uh the young justice cartoon a lot like on a loop, like I've rewatched it like four times since last summer. Um, this is from 2011. This is Red Arrow uh, from the young, it was kind of a subset of DC Universe classics, um, but specifically styled with the Young Justice uh, animated. Look good. Yeah. Um, I got some dick. Some dick. Um, We've been waiting to see yeah. some dick on the stream today. Free year on a for everyone. Yeah, not the the young dick that some of you guys see. Well, we'll I, 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 I like some grown man dick, but uh, classic, so, some yeah. old dick. A little classic for you guys. This is nearly from, four uh, hours without mentioning dick. I know, yeah, it's, 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 we got there eventually. Though. We got there. I mean, if no one else was going to do it. Um, so this Nightwing is from Mattel's DC Multiverse line from 2019. It was, I think, that was the last year before McFarlane took over. Um, and I, I was between this and... Is that um, in the Click and Collect? Was that in one of those boxes? Yes. 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 Yeah. So it, it was in the Ninja Batman I wave. Remember. Yeah. Yep. yep. I was I was kind of between that and the DC Icons version, but the DC Icons was very specifically hush, and so I decided not to do that are, one. Are these expensive on the aftermarket, or are these okay? So Red Arrow wasn't expensive. Uh, Nightwing was about 55 with shipping and tax and everything. Um so I also got DC Multiverse Wonder Girl. This is from 2017. This was not expensive. This was like 22 shipped. Oh, so retail, um, essentially, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, was... I, I was very happy with that. Um, but I have always, as far as teams go, I've always liked the young teams. I love a coming-of-age story, especially yeah. a found family coming-of-age story. Um, and that Young Justice is one of the best superhero adaptations that's ever been done and because of the time jumps between seasons the characters are actually allowed to grow so that that I, I've, I've mostly been focusing on characters that were in that um got spoiler this is from 2018 still the motel um and you can see the the, the lex luthor head up there um and then going way back to 2007 DC oh, Superheroes wow, okay. Supergirl. Um, these uh, were all sculpted by Four Horsemen. Um, they're really dynamic. She's going to look great on a flight stand. Was she expensive? No, she was only about $28 shit. Oh, no, wow. the real expensive one so far was the character that got me to start doing this, which was Cassandra Kane. Um, this was $80 with tax and yeah. shipping. Um, Bat family, but, though, isn't it? Yeah, and it, it's kind of... I could have gotten one for a little less if I had bought it loose like I did Nightwing and, and Red Arrow, but I, I just it's kind of like buying a car. I don't want to buy someone else's problems. I don't want to lose joints or thing. scuffs or anything like that. So for the 
the character that actually like drove me to do this and thanks McFarlane for making a shitty figure where I ended up spending all this money. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I just was like, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and spend the money. And I have more on the way. Um, I, I have several more on the way, and some of them are up there in price, too. Actually, one of the things I ordered, I had to order from the U.K. because it was cheaper to do that than any of the Americans were selling it for, even with the, like, $25 shipping. So Very nice. It has, it has been a pricey start. My, my goal is I, I've gone through, like, all the – Three McFarland DC figures and narrowed it down to a group of 16 characters that I'm going to do a display with. And if you've seen Young Justice, you probably know why I, I, I picked 16. If you haven't seen it, you should watch it on Max. It's excellent. It's really good. Um, I wonder why we watch that in the UK because we don't have we don't have Max. So like really, yeah. So where would we watch uh, that in the UK? That's a good question. One, two, three want... movies probably, but I didn't say that. What's that? Might be on Now TV. One, two, three movies. Oh, okay, that's an illegal <laughs> streaming website. Yeah. What, I mean, what, officially, honestly, what official place can we watch? That's a good it? question. Might be on TV. I will find out. I will find out. Do where like where do like the DC movies and things end up streaming? Just I don't know. anywhere. They're all on Sky. Yeah, yeah there's go. no there's no place for them. We don't have anything that goes. Young through. Justice is on Now TV. Now TV. Okay. Yeah, yeah that, it's weird that Max isn't in the UK. Like David Saslav just got like a twenty three million dollar cash bonus for the I've year. Seen the, and, I've and... seen the Warner Brothers <laughs> thing. Yeah, for sure. The Warner Brothers are thinking of buying up or selling up or something. Like that. I've seen something online earlier, but yeah, now that they're like in uh, like past the two year mark on the being spun out of AT and T and merging with Discovery, they can do a lot more stuff than they could have done before. Hell, now Sony is talking about buying Paramount, so it's just it, it's. If that stuff keeps happening, it's it's going to be bad for people who enjoy watching storytelling, and it's going to be real bad for people who create storytelling because it's just going to every time those companies merge, the first thing they do is well, we got to cut costs, yes. and that's you know it, it it happens you know with people who work in tech and people who work in customer service and billing, but it also happens on the storytelling and front the as we have seen sure. yeah yeah it's uh, hopefully hopefully all that falls apart and these studios just continue to operate as single companies as each market as each international market requires different licenses and different deals mm -hmm. and stuff like it gets very convoluted like in the uk yep. we don't have we don't have hulu for example like we, we right have you have star stars, on disney yeah. plus but yeah. we don't get everything hulu does just because hulu gets right. it doesn't mean yep. stars gets it if that makes sense so it is very frustrating when i see you guys saying oh it's on Hulu, we can watch this on Hulu, and we're like, we don't, we don't have that, and it's not on. If it's not yeah. on Disney Plus, not on Stars, there isn't an extra place. Like it's, it's a bit, it's frustrating because when there's when there's content you want to consume, you've got to do homework to figure out how to get it, and that shouldn't how that shouldn't be how it is. If that's what I mean, it yeah, should no, be accessible. I agree completely. It should be accessible if you want it. Um, so yeah, I think a lot of those those business decisions are really uh, short sighted. Like you, you have. Yeah, I've worked in this stuff for a long time. Um, you, you have a lot of you have people who either have a tech company mentality or people who have a legacy media television mentality determining where they just want to archive what, those of good shows. And well, not only that, but it's like, oh, well, like not enough people watched it within the first like 72 hours. It's a failure. It's like, I mean, it's on a streaming service. I'll watch it when I get to it. Like, yeah. I don't I shouldn't have to watch the whole season in two nights for you to renew it. And it just, to me, there's value for a streaming sub service and having a complete story, not something that got cut short with a cliffhanger at the end of season yeah, one. Netflix have canceled so many shows because it didn't so, get a lot of numbers within the first like couple of months. And it's not like- just Netflix. Yeah, it's just frustrating. Cause like, I'm yeah. like, like you said, I don't watch things straight away, but I'll put it on my watch list and it's something mm -hmm. I plan to watch when I've got the time. But when I hear things have been cancelled, it puts me off even watching that first season because I'm like, what's the point? I don't want to get invested 100%. in something yeah. if it's just going to die anyway. I didn't. There yeah. was loads of stuff on Netflix that I've just not bothered watching because I know it's been cancelled already. So, yep. Uh, Brian K. Vaughn's uh, Paper Girls uh, adaptation on Amazon yep. Prime was was exceptional as far as like non superhero comic adaptations. It's one of the best I've seen in a long time. And when it came out, it was around the same time that uh, the Lord of the Rings show was coming out. Yeah. And so they were spending just tens of millions of dollars marketing that Lord of the Rings show. And Paper Girls just got lost in the shuffle. Not enough people watched it. It was canceled within a month. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Crazy. Yeah. They don't give it any time. It's it's unfortunate. 
I used to watch a show on Netflix called The OC. I don't know if anyone remembers that. Yeah. And like okay. it, uh, yeah. season yeah. two ended with a cliffhanger that set up like a pretty cool direction for season three, and then it just got cancelled. And I'm like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? Like, it just just frustrating. It's just frustrating. Like, and that's incredible. Like one example, just one example. But yeah, lots of have, stuff. Have you seen that Saturday Night Live sketch? Sketch where they're doing that song. I haven't. No, is what they doing oh. this song from the OC? <laughs> your, me, your brother, me, Lisa Barton. Yeah, yeah, I've not. I've not seen it. Oh, you gotta watch it. It's funny. Send me the link. <laughs> send me the link. I don't have a link. Well, 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 we're 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 <laughs> Someone find it. Someone find it and send me the link. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it is. We don't have Saturday Night Live. That's a US thing. Yeah. <laughs> can I can I join the uh, going to bed in a second club? Uh, no, I think she, sit there quietly. Out no, sit there quietly and wait until three o'clock. No, no, I'm going. Go on. Give us your top. Give your favorite figures of the year then. All right then. So before I, I head to bed, I will uh, show you my top of the year. It, it so... is one a.m. in the UK for everyone wondering. One a.m. on a Saturday morning right now in the UK. And we've got that. We've got the breakfast to go to. So I've gone, okay. better go to bed That's or show me. But we have we have top figures of the year. So it's been a great start to 2024. And uh, John's just shown his dick. So I think it's about time <laughs> that me. I show my uh, dick Tracy related oh, action figure. There you go. Nice. So Proof it's, uh, it's Proofface. It's old Proofface himself. This is a phenomenal figure in hand for the accessories alone. The typewriter he comes with is brilliant. It even moves at the top. You get three different cigarettes, three grenades, four guns, six blast effects. He's got a coat that I don't even have on him. The soft goods are really well tailored and he's got three interchangeable bruny wrinkly faces so this has really surprised me how good this figure really is in hand so prune face is my runner-up very nice right now uh gonna, i'm gonna change scales then gonna handle a very big boy here so oh, let me uh, going, are, you switch, are you switching uh, to 12 inches i am switching to beyond 12 oh, wow. inches so wow this he's is, taking uh, it up another notch for us this, this your eyes, up, yeah. make sure to use plenty of room. Eyes. I'm, I'm gonna plenty take of... you to to 13 inches Bloody plus girls. Yeah, so, so my figure of the year so far is the Mondo oh, Man Bat. Wow. Nice. This thing is phenomenal. It's just, it looks exactly like um, it does in the first episode of Batman on Leather Wings. One of my favorite shows growing up as a kid was the 90s Batman, the animated series. And this is like action figure perfection. I had the Kenner figure as a kid and he'd squeeze his legs and his wings would flap. So I always loved him. Uh, the characters like Clay Face is what I love because I had figures of them as a kid. But Mondo have literally absolutely nailed this. It's so heavy. It weighs like a bloody stone. So it's, yeah, just lost for words on this. Absolutely phenomenal. So very happy I've gone into the Mondo line. And I've just been told while we've been on the air, they're about <laughs> to pre that. they're about to pre-order Bane as well. Oh, so shit. great. Yeah. Oh, so shit. Mondo was complete for about two hours, but Mambat <laughs> is my favorite figure of the year so far. Very nice. So he's only just picked up Doctor Freeze, uh, and now he's gonna have to get Bane as well, it seems. So yeah. Uh, yeah, but I've seen that in person, looks very impressive. You've got the version without the massive wings, you would have no way to display that, right? Yeah, I, I... If I could have found it, I would have gone for it, and it would have probably gone off the ceiling or something, but that was SDCC exclusive, so I was lucky that they redid a regular version because I didn't think they were going to. So, yeah, very happy to have him. Very good, very good. Well, tell the people, Jed, where they can find you online. Uh, right. Uh, so, firstly, thank you for all the birthday wishes. been overwhelmed with all the birthday wishes, and, yeah, congratulations, everybody, on three years, and hopefully many more to come, because it really is it is it is great fun. So you can find me online here at Jay's Toy Collection UK on YouTube and Instagram for all sorts of random action figure videos, toy live streams this week in toys every other Friday night, the opposite week to Legends and Liquor. So I'll be talking toys and hopefully keeping you all busy. There you go. Jay's Toy Collection UK. I've put the link in the description. All right, don't be shy. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, just like I have, all right? And then go and check out his recent uh, birthday haul video. I haven't watched it yet, but uh, I'm assuming I've seen a bit of it earlier today. So uh, you got a preview on today's show. But Jay, go to bed, my friend. Thank you for joining us. And, uh, and we'll see you on the next one, all right? Cheers. Thank okay. you, everybody. Bye-bye. Enjoy Happy the show. Belated, Catch you all every day. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Jay. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right. Okay. Kurt's home Dan, now. breaking news. Breaking news. No, X-Men 57 just posted a Prowler review no during your show. No one cares. All right. Let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Kurt Last K. Five minutes. Kurt K. Kurt K. Over <laughs> to you, my friend. Over to you. So you've been with us since you've been driving. Uh, now you're home safe. And you've moved now. The shelf, bookshelves are not blurred anymore, thankfully. So we can see this X Men behind you. Uh, just, this is this is where they chill before the X Men tree. This is it. They've they've found a permanent home here in the office, and uh, you know I got to redo the other shelves. I'm working on the room in the basement. I've been uh, Michael. Shout out, bring toys to work. He's been giving me tips and suggestions and. I've been modeling shelves for him, sending pictures. So hopefully by Christmas 2024, um, I'll have a full space down there. And and Tariq especially will be impressed with the 3.75 collection there. Well, I know all, that's not 12 behind, inches. Yeah. All right. No, size doesn't matter to every woman. It's fine. But the, the X-Men <laughs> looks look good behind you there. So what, what have you got? Have you got something new to show us off today? Uh, so... Yeah, I have an, an empty box here. Nice. Uh, this nice. this Great. is really it's very empty. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Um, love the uh, the wasp, and really, you know, I did pick up the uh, Haslab, and was kind of like lukewarm about it. But looking at this um, tank, I'm I'm really kind of excited. Looking at the Giant Man, I'm I'm kind of excited for it. So I, I, I genuinely think like Giant Man is going to be one of those FOMO purchases that when he finally gets in people's hands and people realize how good he is, all those people that try to like hold back and just play that haters game are going to be like, oh shit, maybe I should have got Giant Man because I reckon it is going to be a really really nice figure for sure. But like, just think the Builder figure used to sell for the same price as the Builder that the actual Haslab sold for, and this. This new Haslab is going to shit all over what the Builder figure gave us for those years. So the Builder figure held its own for a long time, but the Haslab is just a different different ball game. So, yeah, it's, you're not going to regret that purchase is what I'm saying, I don't think. Yeah, hopefully it'll stagger with my ghost so that uh, my wife's not upset by the two large boxes that come in that <laughs> mail. But you, To be fair, usually that is the case, isn't it? They don't usually ship the same month. It's usually a month apart, so you should be okay. Yeah, I'm hoping four months, but you know, <laughs> we can wish and hope. Just distract um, him. With the postman. Calls. Yeah. Uh, I got the Scarlet Spider. With cookies. Yeah, cookies work. <laughs> cookies does work. I'm, hey, I'm just speaking from experience. Over there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Kurt, I'll, I'll help you out. Just let me know what snack your wife liked when she came to Disney. I'll run over, buy some, ship them to you. I'll have them there ready. You go. See, it works. It's a uh, it's a good conversation to have, Rush. I I think we will have it. <laughs> um, yeah, I do have a uh, a Spider Man shelf and nice. Scott lots Spider. of villains. Tombstone there, nice. Yeah, and then uh, shout out to Alexi because he did send me long shot. He's a good and, man. And I, I gotta ask you because you know that. Uh, you know, I'm kind of new to the X-Men 97 show, um, X-Men in general. Like, what's with Jubilee? Like, every <laughs> single guy that comes through the show, she's got, I like, I, maybe i got to talk to Rich about this. But The, the old Jubilee uh, queries do have to go through Rich, I'm afraid. I cannot <laughs> comment. I cannot comment on a such thing. But yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, go go to any jubilee inquiries go go through rich at displayed once on instagram he'll be happy to respond to you in regards to jubilee yes yeah she's um she was she was the headlock headline of that Mon montendo episode right or half montendo episode at least um that's that's yeah. where i am yeah. i'm like uh season three episode nine ish somewhere around there i've been trying to knock off three or four episodes on a treadmill couple times a week and um work off these 8.5 percent ipas <laughs> um, today are you are you watching the old show parallel to the new show or are you waiting i am you the old show you no i am and, I, and, and it's a very interesting way of watching it right because i i'm fresh on all of the you know illusions and and everything that was going on especially uh, the last remember me, like I had just watched. Remember it, yeah. Um, the previous one, so, and I'll not say anything else except 
it's really been good. I've been ve- very impressed, as John said, and I agree with him totally. You know, storytelling is extremely important. That may be the teacher, English teacher in me, but I love character, and there are some really wonderful characters coming out that contribute to the story. Um, and it's just great stuff. I, I was, you know, in college, coming out of college when the show was on, so it wasn't on my radar at all. Um, but now, you know, 30 years on, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by what I'm watching. And it's a great Wednesday morning. I'm up at, you know, quarter to five, five o'clock. I watch that. I watch a Bad Batch so that I don't get into school and any wise ass kids spoil it for me, you know? Clever. <laughs> I've been spoiled every episode, by the way, because I haven't watched it straight away. So it's frustrating that the culture sort of forces you to do that. Like, yeah. But it's just the way of the world these days. But yeah, every episode so far. Like, I can't go on Instagram or Twitter without seeing people just post, not even spoiler warnings, they just post pictures or they yeah. post pit leaks or whatever whatever it is, and very frustrating. So it's a clever way you to had, do it. You had someone spoil the Marvels in your own chat as I well, did. didn't you? I did, yeah. It's awkward. You can't be on the internet without being spoiled. People love the, the I don't know, knowledge gives them power, I guess, and they just want to blurt it out. But uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. The shows have still been good, even though, like, as I said, I've just watched episode five, which is the remember remember me episode or remember it episode, and it didn't. It did, like, even knowing what was happening, it didn't take away the gravitas of the episode. It, I still felt something, if that makes sense. And I think that shows really? you shows you how good of a show it is so far. Yeah, really, that was pretty powerful. You yeah, know, like exactly. that was that was a rough way for me to start the day. I have to be honest with you. I, I, I went in with a different approach to the day, for sure. Um, but you know what, Dan, too, if, if you wouldn't mind me saying congratulations to you for three Thank years. You. What, what you have done, look across the screen here for yourself. Take a moment, you know, and uh, I've been teaching Wordsworth this week, so forgive me uh, for being a bit too poetic. But, you know, you got to soak in these moments, the, the present times. And look at what you've done and uh, drag everybody in, soak it in for those future moments that aren't great because um, we've all had them and you've been a part of dragging us through. And everybody Craig's wiping a tear from his eye. Thanks, Craig. Thanks, Craig. (laughs) Are you wiping that sour off your face? Holy (laughs) hell. You've been gone for a while, Craig. You get stuck in a bathroom. You're on mute. You're on mute, Craig. You're on mute. We can't hear you currently. You have to press unmute. Smoke show. (laughs) <laughs> today today can you hear me now? yeah we can hear you now yes. you're good you're fine brilliant yeah, you're that fine. was very heartfelt Kurt. Yeah. i was crying <laughs> stop in my eyes i just can't stop <laughs> today i was down in philadelphia i played a little hockey and i joined a buddy of mine at a belgian cafe for lunch little uh, duck salad and belgian mussels Don't say that and in front of jamie it, bloody hell we had duck <laughs> fuck <laughs> And uh, on the menu, it's one of the few places outside of, of Miguel's neighborhood where you can get Russian River beer, Pliny the Elder. And so here I am in the middle of this lunch trying to tell my buddy who Miguel is, who Alexi are, what, <laughs> how I know them. And he's looking at me like, you okay, dude? Like, what's it? <laughs> can I, I just said, ask one question, Kurt? What yeah, does no. playing hooky mean? <laughs> I I took a sick like, day, cause... Craig. I I, I called well, out okay. sick. Okay, all right. I'm Play, sick playing hooky means when when, when you when you got some said... extra cash for the girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that kind was, of cash. <laughs> I was with you. I knew what you meant. I was with you. I knew what you meant. But no, I, as I, as is normally playing a sicky or um, dossing. That's what we normally say. Yeah, hooky, we'd say, we'd say hooky too. We'd say hooky. Yeah. Hooky's fine. No, I've never ever saying, said hooky in my whole entire life. Do you know what, Craig? You've been living under that rock that Marvel revealed, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> on my head. No, we knew we, we, hooky was fine. I knew exactly what he meant. But no, I appreciate you, Kurt. As I said, it, again, it's crazy. As I said, I, I feel like I know all you guys, and a lot of you haven't met in the physical form yet. Um, but it feels like I have. Like Again, when I meet these guys from the UK... There's never any awkwardness or like first time 
jitters like oh i've just met you for the first time it feels like i know them it's like it's like we've just been friends for ages it's crazy honestly it's such a surreal experience that uh this is a hobby i've is seen dan given. i ran the other mile when i, I ran did. the I other way when i've seen dan I was just chasing craig i was, I was craig was on, i'm dan who i'm the legends guy yeah i'm the legends guy to be fair when we met you <laughs> shouted my name across a, a pack Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Again, I, again, I love Legends of Liquor. As I said, like not one, not one single person on this show collects the same or has the exact same preference or whatever. Like that. everyone has brings their own little uniqueness to the show, and that's just an example of this community in general as a whole. Like you, you can like what you like, you can dislike what you dislike. You know, like it's just. This hobby is just all consuming, like uh, But we all appreciate Dick, right? Everyone like, Absolutely yeah, everyone. on the same page. Yeah, definitely. No, definitely. One's, definitely. Uh, no one's challenging <laughs> Classic modern whatever. <laughs> no one's challenging it. that. Every version of Dick throughout the years we have come to appreciate. Six. Yeah. Yeah, for as sure. As long as he comes with that so, Sometimes two at a time. Yeah, any scale. <laughs> <laughs> any scale. We're in, we're in, we're in. But no, we appreciate Kurt. All right, let's go down to Miguel, because we haven't spoken to Miguel in a while. Miguel, my friend, how are you doing? Now, I am I am, good, watching, good. I am catching the, the channel occasionally, and you are still hunting toys, as you always do. You're still finding the stuff that we can never find in the UK, which I'm always a little bit jealous of, right? But I try not to make that public knowledge, but it's true. I am. I am very jealous. So uh, how have you been? How have you been, and what have you been buying recently? Anything to show off? Not, not, not bad, not bad. It, 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 it kind of goes both ways, you know. You guys, you guys get the real American uh, heroes way before we get them, you know. So it's, uh, I'm, I'm, always, I'm always watching everyone's stuff, like, oh, like in, in, in a good way. The, the same, the same with uh, how, how you guys are able to link up and, and meet up. I'm, I'm jealous. I'm happy in a good way. If, if that, if that makes any yeah, sense, you know. Um, yeah, we, uh, as, as, uh, as Kurt mentioned uh, uh, over here with me, me and Alexi are, you know, pr practically neighbors compared to. You know the, some of the distances that uh, that some of these other guys are in in the states. I mean, with you guys, you guys are you guys are up close, so you know you guys can link up. But yeah, it's awesome, remember, awesome. Remember uh, what have the, I remember in the UK? By the way, even a two-hour drive to us feels like a different planet. Cross country, so yeah, right? We, we hate it. We hate traveling. So I drove an hour and a half today for an art museum and a beer. Yeah, like just <laughs> Craig's four minutes away I, from me, and I won't bother visiting yeah, because I'm like, fuck I, like, that. I was gonna far. say, if we, Dan if said, we I'll, drop, <laughs> I'll drop you home, I'll drop you home, <laughs> and you're gonna regret that. I dropped you home once and regretted it. I was like, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> if I if I drove from my house for an hour and a half, I'd be on the other side of my country. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> crazy stuff, crazy stuff. But uh, go on, go, go on, Miguel. What you got? What you got? Um, okay, so yeah, on on the Instagram, I post a lot of stuff. I haven't really been opening it. You know, you know how uh, Heath Ledger's Joker, he, he, there's a one scene where he's like, I'm like a dog chasing a chasing a car. I wouldn't know what to do once I catch it. You know, so when, once I catch these things, I, I kind of just I keep them boxed oh, not, up. Like, nice. you've got the not, that's a new two pack. They're both new, brand new two packs. Yeah, I've not got yeah, them they're... in the UK. Not even on Hallathon yet. No chance of getting them for us over here. It's but but see but you but you've got the four pack. I I don't have the four pack yet. So it's a, that, that's a, that's what I'm talking about about the uh, you, you, I'm I'm finding some stuff. You guys are finding other stuff. So it's you know the the we're we're, we're just going around and around. Um, we, we we're talking we were talking X Men ninety seven. Uh, yeah. that's in six inch form. This always, is in. By the, by, the, by the way, I always think of your uh, completed Danger Room display as a backdrop. Like not a lot of people have got yeah, that completed. Yeah. Uh, and I do think that's one of those sort of things. I regret not getting the Diamond Selects to complete that because it makes a sick backdrop for the for regular legends for sure. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little hack since we're since it's the three year anniversary. Get uh, if you have one, if you have two, you don't really have to co complete them all. Put them on a put them on a color color copier. Put them on a color copier. Paint uh -huh. paint your paint your uh, paint your seat, your your walls. Paint your floor. Paint your ceiling. Paint paint whatever. Uh, I've got actually one, two, three, four. I've got four, four, uh, four base walls, and then the 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 bottom, the bottoms for it. But I I I, I xeroxed them and yes. and you know com completed it all. Well, you from, can't even from tell. Here, it yeah. looks great. It looks yeah, great. exactly, yeah, exactly. It looks great. Yeah. It looks good. So uh, on the on the X Men ninety seven hype, we're from Lego, super super overpriced. I think. Um, yeah, radio. Eighty four dollars is ridiculous, ridiculous overpriced. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna play the long game because the the previous one came out in 2014 with more more than what you're getting in here. All, all they did was just update the uh, Mini update fix. the characters. Yeah. Um. But uh, the 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 older one went went for went for four, 
forty nine ninety nine. It's going for over one twenty five right now in secondary markets. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play long game and hold on to this for a decade and see if uh, see if I can't put the kids through college or something. Tariq, you, you were showing that off earlier, right? I see. I swear I've seen the rogue on top of it. Yeah, I got the new one and I got the old one. Ah, you got, I got both. It. Yeah, two, yeah, I got maybe it. two years ago. What's that one you're I holding? Think it was like... What's that one? Show that again. Show that again. So this is the this is the one that you say is one. How much you say it was? Ah, uh, the no, the forty nine no. ninety nine. The uh, came out in twenty fourteen. Yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. Um, and it's got. It's, I'm, I'm 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 pretty sure it's the exact same the exact same one though that that, that I'm that I'm holding here. It's a different it's a different model technically. It's just, it's meant to be the same jet, yeah, yeah. But it's so they, it's they a different are... build essentially. It's a different. It's unique. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it comes with this Wolverine brown suit Wolverine. Yeah. Um, I mean, to be fair, like if you if you think the one you have, the new one is overpriced, I would still get the the old one because it will still. I've, 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 got, I've got it. I've, I've, I've got it sitting in the basement right now, so it's oh, good, yeah, yeah. But back, back, well, back when the kids were babies, look, Lego and, Lego goes, goes up quicker than gold, Miguel. So it's not a bad investment. Definitely, sure. you'll be fine. It'll be two hundred. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, Cloud. Cloud. I, I I didn't get to be on with Cloud, but me and me and Cloud always talk about uh, ah, some. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fi- finally, finally, finally landed. Great. Yeah, yeah. So Red Sonia should be here soon. We'll see. And then the uh, the the the, uh, the other the other Red Sonia is coming out. I'm I'm gonna be looking into getting that one. David uh David Evan Smith was, was talking right? about was talking about this guy. Yeah, the the the, the bill figure on this thing is sick. I really really wanted this Joker. The, this the the Joker is what is why I'm doing it. But this is this is a this is a plus. It's a big plus on that. Um, I. Told myself I was going to stop collecting McFarlane's just because I, I don't care for I think the everybody. Lack of look. Everybody at some point has said that to themselves. <laughs> but like yeah. DC, we just love DC so much, and there's just not a lot of alternative. Well, for for the for the same reason that we're collecting this stuff, the, these these were on as soon as you came home from school, you you knocked out your homework so that you can watch this, and then Saturdays you watch Saturday mornings you watch this. So it's 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 part it's part of our childhood. It's yeah. part of you know the kind of to like- to. To shove this out of the way means you got to shove this out of the way too. So it's you know, so that's that's that that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. So yeah, um, you're gonna get the third wave of that. I you know you know what I I probably am. I I, I, I skipped the first wave because it, they didn't appeal to me, and the Condiment King wasn't. He was it it, it, it didn't it didn't make me wanna wanna really jump into it, but the the the. Figures that we're getting in wave two, I think, were much better than wave one. My who, personal opinion. Who's the Who's the third wave? Who's the builder figure in the third wave? Bruce Wayne. So that's oh. like I don't know yet. Like if it's worth it to like buy rebuy four more characters to build Bruce Wayne, but they never really did like a full Bruce Wayne in the old wave. So I'm torn. So I don't know. But you think you're going to do See, the Batmobile? I they probably will. I, I think they have the same. They're doing the, thing, so. Doing think, the I, Joker I, car, I and Batmobile, yeah. and Joker all of that. Joker cars. Up. See, David, I'm I'm the opposite. I like, I haven't collected the first two waves, but Phantasm, I might pick up if I see it. Mm. Like, I, I, awesome. I was, you know, McFarlane would release Phantasm in like the you know uh, multiverse line, just so it scales well. But like, I've always loved. Uh, the Phantasm character, so I want a figure of that. Has McFarlane done that yet in their re-release their sort of cell shaded version yet? Not, not yet. No, uh, no fan, fat, uh, Phantasm will be in the animated wave three. I know Mondo oh, okay. has done Ma- Mondo, Mondo's version. making, yeah. Yeah, but Spe- I, I just which want that, one that, that will scale with everything else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The two-pack Sabretooth and, uh, and uh, Wolverine is pretty sweet, but I Honestly, I think that's Hasbro's clapback for for Mondo. You know, like oh, but I, I, I'll I'll see your hundred and fifty dollar one for for my seventy dollar one. So it you, you, it we're it, it's win win. It's win win for 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 us, whichever way you want to go. Yeah, yeah. I've only had two figures break recently on me. One was like this really crappy Punisher figure, and the other one was Lock Up. Oh no. Uh, oh no. Is that broke where you can't fix it or is it just like a loose leg? Oh no, no, it's it's broke. Oh it's shit. Broke. It's oh. fine. It, it fell off the shelf. It's like, oh, I can handle it. Uh, I don't know figure fell off the so shelf. Can you not buy uh, I feel like one figure Alan. again to complete it? Do you know like does I someone can, come with just the legs that you can I fix? can put them like that? It's just 
Yeah. Oh, that's fine. I guess that's fine. I know, yeah. but I'm just saying, like, eh, I don't know broke. if I feel good He's about broke. that. Yeah. I got to ask, how, how is Lockup? Because that's another favor of mine. I mean, even the Pretty you know sweet. DC wish list I put together, I had Lockup on because I love the figure. It was good till it fell off the shelf, and then I just saw his leg, <laughs> like, hanging out over there, and I'm like, yeah. And then I put it in, and I'm like, ah, eh, we can make it work. But I don't know if I want to buy other figures in the line. Like, I want Bruce Wayne. I really do want Bruce Wayne. But after that, I think we're done, McFarlane. I already got Plastic Man. We're good. Yeah, yeah. yeah the problem is... But... What? Go on, Ross, you first. I didn't say that. I was saying that this, 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 okay. this wave has de definitely brought me back to uh, back to McFarlane. I, I, I had sworn off of him. I, I had sworn off, off uh, McFarlane, but I was just like, uh... Wave two is a lot doper than wave one. Let me. I let love me how everyone's it, sort you know. of on the fence or bitching about McFarlane. Everyone's like holding up McFarlane figure. <laughs> just off the, the, wave, like, the, no, I just, I just don't know about McFarlane. I, just, I, just, I, just, the just, problem I only, is, I, I only spent one fifty on it. That's all right. He the does problem is McFarlane. How many he people are going to buy the Batman Forever wave? The Jim Carrey. Me. No, me. not no. Christopher Allen. Me. No, they haven't. Show, those those figures have not been shown in physical form yet, though. Right, we've only got digital Correct. renders. No. Okay, right. so maybe when I see the physical figures, I'll be tempted. I, I resisted the recent uh, Batwoman and Poison Ivy, um, but they, they come and went really quickly for us in the UK. Like, do you know, I didn't get much time to think about it. It was like they were in stock and then they went really quickly. So this, this is the problem. They're on Amazon still. Are they? All of you... them? Go on, Craig. They don't want to no, be you... back. The problem is that with McFarlane, like, we had a really good uh, distribution in the UK. They started off really well. We was getting every single wave. Yeah. Now, we hardly see any of them. Because no one was buying them. Do, do, and they found when them, we okay, do see them, the yeah, when we do see them, there's hardly any stock. They get sold out within two hours. And by the time you've actually come to see a figure that you want online, it's not there anymore because it's sold out stock. But then it will never come back in for us in the UK. Yeah. So, like, things like I wanted Captain Atom, and literally I think it was one store had them up, and that was it in the UK. And they didn't have that, that many in to, be, to begin with. Distribution so is very it, weird, for sure. It well, is, I think they finally I, like, started pivoting towards character, like a broader range of characters in classic form. Whereas, like, the first few years was, what, every variation of Superman yeah. and Batman? That like, no something like 40 Batman, 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 Batman a year. Yeah. yeah. And I think McFarlane did We need more, we need more Batman figures. I don't know. More Batman. Yeah, more Batman. <laughs> I, 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 have, I have a brilliant... Like, I love my DC McFarlane figures. I've got Justice League and everything, but we didn't even get the Teen Titans wave in the UK. Some people had it, but yeah, like I say, me. it was sold out within hours. And now we have we've just missed out on it because it hasn't come back in, or you know, and those are the characters we wanted, not five, six, seven Batman's per wave. We wanted different characters, but now he's bringing out those different characters. We are not getting them. Distribution is no, good for sure. Let in me... the UK, the UK is not getting any of them. I agree. Full stop. I agree. Let me read some well, comment. Let me read some comments real quick. Uh, Flaming Flaming Source says I need to top. I need to hop on and defend Toddy Mac. So Flaming uh, Flaming Source is a fan of Toddy Mac. Uh, to be fair, people we have we have our criticisms, but people are still spending their money yeah. on Toddy Mac stuff. So yeah, de definitely, it's definitely. One of them. Uh, and Ke Kevin Beatty says I got the Poison Ivy set. I will be getting the Riddler movie wave. Um, and the Eradicator and Classic Dick are very hard to find. Says uh, uh, Z Man. Um, so yeah. So sorry, Rush. What are you gonna go? Oh, no, uh, just go along with what David said. I think McFarlane did to himself because first few years, he was only releasing, like, Elseworlds version of every character, and then they were just sitting on the shelves, yeah. and it's like no one was buying them, so it's like distributors started buying less of his product, yeah. and now he's releasing the characters that everyone actually wants in the form that everyone wants, and the only thing is the distributors aren't buying the, like, multiple waves like they used to, so now they're harder to find, so it's kind of like he did to himself. That's why so many things like the uh, in, the Monster Wave is a uh, McFarlane shop exclusive, so a lot of stores have stopped carrying them just because 
all the Batmans, Elseworlds, and everything. They were just, you know, peg warming. So it's a big he kind of did it to himself. You know, you know and, and go under Ross. Yeah. Now, to be fair, though, that's not really an issue over here because we only really, we very rarely see McFarlane in stores anyway. It's literally fan yeah. channel. But, but for the reason Rush said, it's like originally All online. when yeah. that wave, when yeah. McFarlane first got the DC license, we were flooded with them like so much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But they were the character selections that we didn't want, the obscure character designs. So, like, people to shops have lost confidence in McFarlane, we... clearly ordering less for themselves to sell. But now McFarlane are giving us the characters we want, but these stores are ordering less. So like Rush says, it's 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 just a bit convoluted. It's, it's a bit like nice. us. We we still get waves one and two and three in waves that nobody wants. But they were flying off the shelves when they were first coming into store. But then now we can't sell them because no one wants them it's, waves. They want it the was new the original figures. Excitement. I, I remember buying the first wave of McFarlane yeah. figures. Where are they now? On my display? No, they're in a box yeah. somewhere upstairs, and, <laughs> I, and I couldn't even sell them for like retail. Do you know what I mean? I like it's just the hype, isn't it? You get caught up in that hype. But that first wave was like a random Harley Quinn, a couple of Jokers, a Batman, some mech versions of Superman, and that, and like. They're just in a box upstairs now because they don't actually Where? fit anywhere. Where do you have Wonder Woman? License. I, oh, sorry, I, go ahead. I don't have Wonder Woman anywhere yet, Christopher Allen. I, I do oh. plan on putting the uh, Trinity on a shelf somewhere at some I point. thought you got Wonder Woman. No, I do, Dad, I do, I do. No? But Christopher's asking where is it oh. in my display. Uh, she's, oh. I haven't even opened I, it yet. Not even oh, opened I, can't, it. I can't find that. So I give up. I'm like, I can't find <laughs> the stuff I want. Uh, McFarlane's <laughs> license... Stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's McFarlane's great. license with DC only runs through next year currently. So hopefully, my hope is that a serious toy company will outbid them for the license, whether Mattel wants to jump back into it, whether Jada, who seems to be doing great stuff with, what is it, Hasbro. Street Fighter? Yeah. Yeah. Hasbro. Hasbro isn't going to touch it good. because of the relationship with yeah. Disney. It'll Hasbro never happen. Touch it. Hasbro won't touch nope. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. We've, we, while they've got Marvel, uh, Hasbro won't touch it. Sure. Yeah, because and they would end up they losing do, they just bury it. Star Wars. Yeah, because it's, um, it's a competition in their eyes. So like, they don't but yeah. Ma Mattel has gotten so much better over the years. Like, I don't care about Masters of the Universe at all, but on the rare occasion that I'm in a toy aisle, I pick them up and look at them just to see what Mattel's doing right now. And they're, they're good figures. Like, they look really nice. Um, they've got good articulation. They're, they're modern figures. I've got a couple. Where it, the, the McFarlane stuff, it just it, it, it has no appeal to me whatsoever. Um, and until, like I said, a serious toy company has a DC license, I'll just keep buying old stuff like this. Yeah, it is a problem. Like, it's the same, but they also have the Warner Brothers license on top of that, don't they? So, like, you're getting, like, I love Dune. Dune would be one of my favorite movies I've seen, and so I bought all the the, the characters. And one of the characters I was going to bring oh. up as my uh, runner up. Mm -hmm. Um, have any any of you got this figure? No, no, I've not seen the film yet, mate. I'm wow behind. His his yeah, head amazing. sculpt is amazing. His paint application is amazing. Um, he has the worst swords. He's a little bit <laughs> looks of plastic, like, but. But as a figure, he is unbelievable. But like that's it, he's done now. He won't do any more figures out of that movie. But there's so many troop builders and so many armies they could be building, and it could be such an amazing line of, of, of characters. Like, and I think people would buy them if if he invested in, in it a little bit. But no, nah, he's one and done, one wave gone, and that's it. Like you know, I have, he did that with like Game of Thrones. I gotta be, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, rush, guys. I, I was just going to say, to be honest with your accent, I thought you said Doom, like D-O-O-A, <laughs> which Carlin's also making those figures as well. And you're yeah. like, that's one of the great uh, favorite movies. I'm like, really? The Rock? <laughs> the Rock. Go <laughs> on, Adam, what were you saying? Oh, I was just going to say, can we all agree McFarlane sucks? But <laughs> my favorite review was you reviewing the McFarlane way. And it's like, is that Hurricane oh. movie actor? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I hadn't seen the film yet, so I was just yeah. taking the Black, to be Black fair, Adam, yeah. that that wave you yeah. reviewed. Yeah, the Black Adam yeah. wave. Like, considering that was my favorite yet. review you've ever done. But Carlin <laughs> yeah. sucks. Yeah, no, no. I think I, again, like but your I, review is really good. Yeah, I was, I was, try, I always try and be fair. Like, yeah. even when things are shit, I try not to just be a whingy old man about it. I just try to be like, look, it's not for me, but it, <laughs> it's not. It isn't. Do you know what I mean? It's what is what it is. But funniest oh, review you've ever done. Do you know what? I've he... never even seen the film. <laughs> I've still never no, seen it. No, the review. I'm not, 
I'm, the review you did. I'm it's not like, saying is that movie sh- accurate? Yeah, I still don't know. Everybody should go watch that review that you did. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And everybody will laugh. See, McFarlane actually sent me it, those figures to review, by the way, and I've still never seen yeah, the film. Yeah. Crazy. You're not missing it, anything. If this sums up McFarlane easily, it's like I, his own character, Spawn. I would honestly love to put Spawn shelf together because he's released a lot of cool figures. The one thing he hasn't released is just a basic Spawn. It's like, how can you build a spawn shelf if you don't have a, no. the basic spawn? That's the issue. Yeah, yeah. It'll be a digital exclusive. Yeah. Right, he's let's he's more forget. into his statues than he is his figures. But he's always said that, though, isn't he? He's like, he wants, he, he, yeah. he's, he's not an action figure guy. He wants the a, a representation of the character. He's not bothered about articulation. And he'll he give up articulation over aesthetics. Like mm. He's admitted that in interviews himself. Well, he's after releasing those movie maniacs with no articulation. So the Matrix figures have come out. They're basically statues, the, yeah. They're, they're, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And a tornado is not movie accurate. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> I believe it's Cyclone for Stephen. Okay, Cyclone okay. and Amy. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to build, bring traffic to Dan's review. We'll thank you. The thank day. you. <laughs> that, I think that review World didn't do win. too bad. I'm going to look. Miguel, have you got any more figures you want to show off? I'm going to look for this review real quick that Christopher's on. Uh, I mean, Street Fighter. I, I know uh, Alexi said he was still looking for Ken. I'm uh, I'm on the, the, oh, the way back. I'm jealous of those two. They're the two that are not yeah. here in the UK right now. We want them. It's the, the uh, articulated cape or bendy wire cape. Game changers. Not 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 that I know. It's it's still in box. But yeah, uh, game changers. Uh, we, we, we're talking. Where'd you find that? Target. Oh, I all right. I found Dalsim. I can't find that. Amazing. Jealous. Jealous. Yeah, they Target. haven't hit uh, here yet in Florida. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, we, we we're talking about the uh, about how uh, DC's kind of fallen off. I, I the, these guys are, are are the ones that need to stick with uh, with the DC. I'm loving everything DC that that Mayfax is doing. Yeah. Um, they're the it it, co- it costs more. Yeah, of, of course, but you're getting a whole lot. Hang on, you're getting you a whole lot. You said you're close to Alexi. Is he just turned up at your door or something? What's going on? Is, that, <laughs> is he at your window, knocking the window right now? Just right? with, a laser, yeah, with just... a laser out or something. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're not wrong. Though. You're not wrong. The, the hush stuff from DC is on. Again, I've, I've got virtually everything uh, from the DC line from uh, from Hush because, yeah, Mayfex are really good. I've, Christopher Allen, I just found that review, by the way. Let's go scroll back to that. All right, everyone <laughs> should go and watch my uh, review. Yes. McFarlane sent me these figures to review, and I did them all in one wave. I don't usually do a full wave in a review, but I remember being very confused by this Cyclone effect piece because I was like, <laughs> "I was like, is it accurate to the film?" I, can't, I, think, I'm, I think I was doing my British sarcastic humour in the video <laughs> and went, mm, "Is this how it looked in the film?" <laughs> I, can't, I doubted it even then. And even without seeing the film, I can probably guess that is that is not how a power effect looked in the movie. To be fair, though, Dan, look, the storm. look, there you go. Look at that yeah. effect. Look at that. Look at that. Did you see that effect that I added? That production value? That production value to Dan Who Reviews right there. There you go. That's worth That's worth the channel membership alone. That smoke effect I added. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. didn't even put her on a string. He actually just went like that with her and put her back down. It was the random smoke effect that I added for no reason. I forgot if I even did that. No wonder Chris Craig added a lot like of every day. And got, that's true. That's cr- probably I should have just got Craig to come around my house and blow on my review <laughs> table. Hang on, let's look at this again. This is exclusive stuff. This is right here. Um, right, this is the Black Adam movie McFarlane DC full wave review on my channel right now. Don't miss out on it. I was I can't remember what I was saying at this point, but I was clearly questioning her effect. Um, rambling to my and they, oh look at that look at that smoke effect. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy Produ- I think Craig, Craig might have came with the, uh, the smoke machine the, you do the, need another drink the production values uh, just Justin collects with a super chat thank you very much Justin Collect. he says ended up being super busy with family stuff today missed being on with you guys come on now Justin I will send you the link right now come on for 10 minutes it's absolutely fine bring bring hey, the family hold it. what Oh, no. yeah, we haven't even bring raced the duck yet. We haven't raced yeah, the damn race duck. ducks. That's what race I mean. We're not racing ducks. Look, on, we, we haven't even got a duck yet. Yeah. I'm Wait, you, Justin one. and I have beef. Uh oh. Don't don't put him on. <laughs> Jay and I, Uh-oh. we're gonna Thank we're God. coming for I Justin. Think, and, I think yeah. Is, is this the, is this the wrestling thing or the Big Lebowski thing? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm, send, I'm sending them a link. I'm sending them a link. Right, just, After, oh, Dan. Yes. 
after you did all those effects, you're like, I wonder if it's movie accurate. And it was <laughs> yeah. just so <laughs> uh, Again, that's just more... That's Your more... effects were better than the movie. <laughs> were they? <That's> like... <laughs> the thing is, right, when I'm, just think, when I'm reviewing stuff, I'm sat in a room on my own yeah. sometimes. So sometimes I say stuff to amuse myself yeah. because I'm just sat on my own and forget But that you I'm... weren't wrong. Yeah, it's you just are, stupid. You weren't stupid wrong. Stuff. Better. It's better than the movie. <laughs> better than the movie. Watch his review. Don't watch the movie. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Hang on, we just need a quick Wolverine air rave break, everybody, real quick. <laughs> right, and he kicked his leg. Ready? There you go. There you go. Yeah. Wolverine wave break. Thank you very much. Right. James have patiently been waiting down there very quietly. James, hey, we, it's all good. we appreciate your patience, my friend. We know you've been here for a little oh. bit. Uh, we, and I, I like that we've got the close-up of uh, Rogue's tits there as well. That's great to see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or or even her uh, ample... Uh, oh, look at that. There, yeah. there, there you nice. go. There you Very go. Very nice. Savage. Nice GP shirt, too. I, oh, yeah. <laughs> Oakland, baby. Um, Oakland. Yeah, so, I know they'll never make the Marvel Legends, so I just finally bought this the other day, and I was just like, screw it. I'll just well, I hope buy this... I hope they do. I hope they do too, but it won't be in this outfit. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Beatty in the chat says, "Cue the Benny Hill music." Is that the? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, cool. I I best stopped in case I get copyright strikes. It was so good, so good. Right, James, my friend. Thank you. You made the stream. I told you it's fine. It's one of those free. Yeah, I just I just really wanted to come by and you know congratulate on the three years. Say what's up to everybody. Um, I, I'll keep my part short because I need to eat. I've been working all day, okay. and, but um, we can anyways, so there for skim, four hours. Skim for your pickups, and then do you your favorite uh, yeah. figures? All good. Yeah, I, my pickups might take a little bit too long. I'll just show you this one. Okay. I got this. Oh, you fuck off! Bastard! Bloody Americans! I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, but uh, my my top two. He keeps coming off his skateboard, but ah, oh, I do want these. I ain't got wave two yet. For some reason, I've got wave three, so, but not wave two. So after I got this, I ordered the Flanders and the uh, Duffman, which I got both. Duffman's awesome. The Flanders, the legs, it is I've fucking heard. horrible. I've heard, they just yeah. it just falls apart. Like is mm. like I have it like so much blue tack uh, holding it together right now. I I would put it on screen, but I'm afraid to touch it. Um, yeah, I've heard. I've yeah. heard a few reviews say that. I haven't got. That's way four, right? The Flanders. Yeah, it looks awesome, but it is horrible. Like it is literally like they just fall. Like it came out of the box, and the legs just fell apart. But before you move on to your top one, let me just say what why I reckon what my genuinely what I think my favorite figures of the year so far are. They are Simpsons related, so I think you know where I'm going to go with this because these are epic. It's Kang and Kodos. Yeah, these, those are awesome. These things are insane. Like, as a Simpsons guy, as much as people bitch about Super 7, like, I know the Flanders were bitching about that, but these are epic. Like, this is Kang and Kodos. You get, like, Maggie as well with, like, like as a separate little figure. And I, you get the little kosh as well that I've just put on top of her as a little display piece. But you've got the book to how to cook for 40 humans. The knife and fork, oh. like... They're so good, people. These are massive, by the way. Look at how you got them to fit in the yeah, display. Then look how big my cube. I can't even unless you have these in hand, you just don't know how big they are. They are massive. Yep. Like they are really big. There's some of the rest of the thing. Look, I've got Bobo with their uh, with um, uh, Burns there. I've got the the I choo 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 you card with Ralph. Look, like, honestly, don't forget Ralph Spider. A Ralph Spider haircut, as Amanda says, yeah, for sure. But the Kangen Kodos, if I had to, like, if I genuinely had to pick some of my favourite figures of the year so far, for me personally, just because I love The Simpsons, those Kangen Kodos are epic. Epic. So, yeah, I'm with you on that Simpsons stuff, for sure. Nice. Yeah, I I, I like a lot of it. I was, I was really disappointed, but it's okay. I'm not even I'm not even going to send it back. I mean, I just, I got it posed up. I like the way it looks. I'll, I'll, I'll be I, okay. I will be. I'll be with you. I'll be the same. I'll get it because it's only four waves. So, like the silver lining of the Super Seven stuff is, at least you can have a complete collection. Like you've got four waves to get. Uh, are you going to get Kangen Kodos? I I would like to. The cute the thing that I have it in. I don't know. Those are pretty Maybe. big. You'd like, have to get I'll, rid of some trainers behind you. I'm not lying. Like they they, they take. Yeah, I might space. have to change it. If yeah. I can Maybe pick up... I have to get rid of Galactus. 
just to fit I'll one send in. you a picture sometime of what my Simpson stuff is. It's a little, I got a few other things in there that aren't Super 7 stuff, but I got like some artwork and I got the old Bartman comic oh, nice. in there. And a couple of the. Do the Batman, uh, did. That's like 90, 90 something, isn't it? 90. Two or something. 1990. Yeah. Is it that was like the one, yeah, it would have been one of the first seasons. Or yeah. Uh anyways, but yeah, and then my number one, I'm not gonna pull them down because I have to like move some stuff, so but it's uh the Scar Scarlet Spider. Nice. Uh yeah, I was super pumped. I'm glad that I waited and didn't buy any of the other ones. Um, you know, because I would have had to buy them for resale and spend a hundred bucks on them at the time. And yeah. so I'm glad that I waited and got this super nice one and i if i wouldn't have put bart it was just legends i'd put saber tooth because that is my mind's eye of saber tooth like i a lot of people have that. been saying the same for sure absolutely um but uh yeah. but yeah i'm glad some i'm glad someone mentioned the simpsons today because yeah those the ultimate figures again people, if, people if have, that flanders one worked properly the legs i that might be my favorite figure i've ever got i love it it's just it's an awesome figure it's just treehouse of horror sucks. isn't it yeah yeah for sure yeah yeah all right that anyway Dredger kingdom want... coming down the line it's pretty good too yeah Dredger uh, Chatham, yeah for sure i'll have you guys on in the background i'll watch the duck race all that stuff um but i'm gonna i'm gonna get ghost well, good. Um, i want to say what's up to my tag team partner because that's one of the reasons why i hopped on too okay <laughs> but uh yeah uh uh, Wolfpack, <laughs> we we got the belts right now. Oh, obviously, yeah, you just get the, the belt. Definitely, yeah. hey, not 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 to not to toot not to toot our own horns, but you 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 you've landed two of the champs right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I like it. I need, in, 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 in one stream, title holders. I need to. I need. Yeah. We need to get some actual fake belts or something. We need to get like some actual belts that we can pass around in, in physical form. Cardboard well. belts, like people. Yeah, we should we do some gimmicky belts. That'll be fun. It'll be fun for sure. For sure. Right on. Yeah, we can. All right, you guys. Take it right, easy, James. We appreciate you. Thank you so much, mate. Thanks, James. Yeah. Yeah. I might have to be going soon as well. So, if do you want to, do you want to take this opportunity now, Rush, to uh, tell the people where they can find you online? Uh, sure, and also give my one and twos. Oh, go for it. Yeah, do for it. Of course. Of course. Uh, both sentimental to me. Uh, runner-up for this year so far is, of course, the Executioner. So, Very nice. Uh, it was on your list, I wasn't know, it? It was on your people... wish list, yeah? Oh, yeah. Uh, for years. Uh, but the only thing that beats that, which is kind of, uh, you know, cheat, because... Is, is it Transformers? Yeah, last year. Yes. I know the uh, Transformer Snarl, just because I've been waiting for that oh. for over a year, so I'm most so happy with it. So, yay! I reckon uh, I reckon I could guess your one and two if you if you made me two. I reckon, yeah, that that it makes sense though. It makes sense for sure. Um, and they're two great figures. They're sentimental. They yeah, no, that, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. There, there are our top figures. There are favorite additions to the collection. Like I always, I always feel like some YouTube channels try and pander to what the audience will think the best figures are and try and pick like the best articulated figures or the, whatever the best value is or whatever. And they're all fair, fair like points. But I, I love Legend Liquor because I'm like, look, we just love shit because I like it. Simple as that, you know. So, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, uh, but with that, I'll go ahead and get out of here because I actually work tomorrow, so I gotta get some sleep. Yes. Uh, and it's gonna be hot as hell tomorrow, so. Oh, uh, thick up. I know. It's gonna be ninety-five here tomorrow, so <laughs> and, 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 and I, I'm pretty sure that's thirty-five okay, Celsius. Yeah, that's it. That, look, thirty-five for us is like we're lucky if we get that one day a year, and that if that happens, we'd probably break a UK record for the temperature. Like, if we get happens. thirty-five, we'll have rain along with it. Oh, that's what's the problem. Thirty-five never happens. Yeah, never yeah. Happens. yeah. So, yeah, uh, but until then, you can find me on all social media, collecting underscore rush, and on YouTube, uh, just collecting rush, uh, which I'm hoping to have my next video out this weekend, which Beautiful. will not be a collection video. So, I'm trying something new. I like it. Not a review because I'm not going to do reviews. No, I, I'll leave that to you and the expert. So, I'm not an expert. I, I've got uh, something cooking. But I, I like it. Again, YouTube's just a platform to share this hobby in any way you want. And I've, been, I've enjoyed seeing your collection. Uh, in your in your format for sure so uh, i'm cur i'm curious if anything to see what your next video is so i'll be watching link in the description to rush's youtube and instagram collecting underscore rush simple as that but always a pleasure my friend uh here's to the next few uh, years yes congrats on three years uh hopefully i'm still here so yeah. uh 
hopefully we don't melt down here uh but with that mm -hmm. good night guys always fun hanging out with you guys and until bye next bye. show i'll see you guys then bye bye, bye, bye. Good rush. Yeah, like all right so with rush bye going rush. It's just Justin collects. He's only just joined us, has he? <laughs> Justin has this collects. Oh my gosh. Look, he oh. said, he got, you got family stuff, but it's fine. It's fine. We are family at this point, Justin, all right? We're here now. Uh, We're not here. all family. Oh, okay. What's going on? <laughs> well, you need to explain what's going on here. What's going on with well, this? Well, you know, first of all, I think we do need to clear the air. I mean, okay. it's really nice of you to finally let me back on, Dan. I know I finally did my first part of the interview, so you said I couldn't be on this <laughs> channel anymore. So, but I mean, we, we've squashed all that. And so, yeah. Look, you're not going to show off a prowler right now, are you? Because that would tip me over the edge. Please do. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no. I, I am really surprised Kurt's on here, though. It's like... Isn't it like four hours past your bedtime? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. No respect for the elders. <laughs> I'm coming, man. Oh, you, but... you missed the early Sopranos intro. I told you, <laughs> man, Polish last name, pure blood Italian. Watch it. Uh, oh, I man. wish I had that... teachers like you, Kurt. <laughs> oh, definitely. definitely. Sure. Instead, I had like pedophiles. Like convicted pedophiles. <laughs> I'm not even joking. My science teacher is a convicted pedophile. That is some he's like, shit. He's like, he's like, come to my house and get your golden eagle or whatever because I joined Scouts. <laughs> thank, thank God his family was there. <laughs> Fuck that. Fuck so that. you are thank a much you. better teacher, Kurt. I, All right, guys, I'm leaving that. on that one. <laughs> I have a motto, Christopher Allen. It is Touch the future, keep your hands to yourself. Oh, <laughs> when you said touch, I was wondering where you're going then. Are you going to be in the same category as Christopher Adams to your teachers or what? What's going on? Uh, uh -oh. Right. Just just to collect, right. You joined us. It's the third anniversary of Legend of the Liquor. You know you're welcome around these ways. Do you have any new toys you want to show off? Or do you just want to um, get straight into your top figures of the year? If you have them. Uh, well, I did do some backtracking. I, okay. Nice. I'm... Catching up on the VHS, I've got Smythe and Peter Parker on the way, too. Great set. Uh, and besides that, just some random clearance Walmart stuff. And uh, some Pokemon stuff, just kind of filling out that collection. I, 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 got, I, need, I need Slowpoke, but I have the... What's his name? Tor, Taurus? Or what's right. his name? I I did not need the Litwick and the Pikachu, but I couldn't find the single pack Slowpoke yeah, anywhere. The and same. the second I the second I bit the bullet on this, I've seen the single pack Slowpoke oh, like three <laughs> different places. As, but I didn't even know this Tauros was coming out until I randomly saw it. Or did I? And Mike sent me a picture saying, "Do you need this?" Because Mike knows I'm on the hunt for any G Gem One Pokemon in that right. format. So yeah, I, I, Mike has sent me that thankfully. But I need Slowpoke, ah. and I need um, what's the one with all the sh the Polygon? Is Polygon? Orion, Pol yeah. He's single packed as well, and I haven't got him. Yeah. My, what is it? It's a Coles in my area that has the multi pack that has it in it, oh. but it's like a $40 multi pack. Mm -hmm. I don't need any of the other ones. So, nah, it's not. Uh, it is happen. single packed somewhere. You just got to be patient, I guess. Exactly. Something about that distribution, because even when I worked at Walmart and I was over at Toys, that none of that comes in through the store. It's a third party vendor that brings all that stuff in. So their distribution is just weird with the toys. Not it's the quick. same people. It's the same people that bring in the cards, that bring in the figures. So interesting. Uh, but uh, I've been trying to think about it all day as far as my top two figures of the year so far. Um, I'm gonna mm -hmm. do Rich him a huge favor and go ahead and bring out some honorable mentions. Nice. Uh, the Biker Mice from Mars line is just. It's amazing. I'm with you. I've watched uh, all your reviews from as well, and I, I, I agree. Like the lines fire. I am. Am I mistaken in saying that that's Nacelle's like first crack at figures? At, at, like sort of like can, humanoid can, style can. figures. Like, what do you call it? Anthropomorphic, or what's the word that they say for animal people am, thing? Anthropomorphic. Yeah. Isn't that what yeah. I'm trying to say? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Anthropomorphic. Maybe, yeah. maybe. Yeah. animals. <laughs> they've done, they've done robots. This is the first. Oh, robots like, with flesh. This is the first time they've done like just limbs and yeah. yeah. It's, anyway, these are great figures. Great figures. Yeah, they they just knocked it out of the park, and it's crazy to me that they stuck to true scale with all three mice yep. and they're didn't cut sizes. in corners. Yeah, yeah. Not the same. It, no, none of them are using the same molds at all. Exactly, and I know I heard a bunch of people saying they got bad paint apps but the paint nope. apps on all three mine, mine are fine great. mine are absolutely fine no complaints no blemishes really happy with mine 
But uh, my number two would have to be McFarlane, Captain Carrot. Captain Carrot. I know. I see all uh, of us bitching about McFarlane. Then you turn up and put him in your top two. Yeah. There he is. I, I know Alexi's having a stroke somewhere right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's in McGowan's window, staring in. <laughs> yeah, right. But, <laughs> but if uh, if y'all don't have this, fig- it's just the if you can find it for a good price, it's just a fun figure. It's as much as I don't really care i don't hate mcfarlane but i don't necessarily like it either which is weird because i've been picking up mcfarlane i don't know we all have a love hate mcfarlane ah, relationship yeah that, that, that was actually one of those one of those oddball ones that i when it was announced i saw and i was like that that, that would be something fun to to, to pick up right. just the, the, the fun factor on it yeah and honestly the scale with it being seven inch scale i think that's a lot of the beef we have with him this is such a big buff character and the fact that it's a giant rabbit, you can kind of make it. I just, just want to sing yeah. the Captain Planet theme tune, but replace Planet with Carrot. <laughs> Captain <laughs> Carrot is a hero. Do you know what I mean? Like it just makes sense. <laughs> Instead of rings, it'd be like Lucky Rabbit, yeah. like different color rabbit's foot. You can make it work. <laughs> but my favorite figure so far, I know you're gonna love this stand. I know you have this figure in your collection already, okay. right? Okay. And I know. Oh, Goku uh, with blonde hair. Yeah, blonde haired yeah. Goku with ripped clothes. Oh, big the fan. Le- big legendary fan. Super Saiyan. So, growing up, um, it was always a big thing to come home and watch like the newest episode of Dragon Ball Z after school. And I still will always remember when he finally goes Super Saiyan for the first time on Namek. And this figure just captures that perfectly. Is that when he dyes his hair blonde? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you look real close and you yeah. zoom in, you can see all the boxes of hair dye down. They nice. didn't edit yeah, them out yeah, of the pictures yeah. completely. His hairdresser's <laughs> making a killing on <laughs> all these <laughs> same hairdos. Oh, yeah, and, and Dan, for That's the record, he's not in Star Wars. Wars. He's he not in Star Wars. He's not no, in the no, War no. in the Stars. Ah, oh, Him and Grogu did do a reality TV oh, show oh, together. Though. Goku and That's... Grogu. Nice. <laughs> Goku and Grogu. That's Captain Planet. Chief to the second power. Ridiculous out there if i could my most disappointing figure of the i can kind of redeem myself to alexi here having a mcfarlane as my runner-up my most disappointing figure is that classic wonder woman is oh, wow. i did see your uh, review on that it was I, I haven't opened mine yet so i live vicariously through you oh, platinum uh, edition right yeah uh yeah it's not not the light colored ones it's like the regular release one but yeah it was uh whatever oh, no collector's edition collector's yeah. edition yeah, but it's just, uh, it looks great. It looks great as long as you don't move it around. So <laughs> Just don't breathe near it. Ah, yeah, been... oh, man, the the knees are awful. That The butterfly joint just drives me crazy because there's a huge gap when you move it. Like, the piece of plastic's, like, tiny. The butterfly it's just joint. a Marvel. Just, it's not, uh, sorry, it's just a McFarlane <laughs> aesthetic. It's, like, just chunky yeah. because of the scale. It's just, the pins are big exactly. and thick. It's just... It's not the most aesthetically pleasing yeah. of, of lines, for sure. That being said, I can complain about it all I want, but I still got it, and it's on the shelf, and it looks nice next to my it's Justice it's still League, the so. regular Wonder Woman we've wanted. It's frustrating. Yeah. That's what Alexi told me that Mafex hasn't even done a classic Wonder Woman nope. yet. That blows my mind. Nope. I, just, I don't know, man. It makes nope. no sense. Hey. Uh, my missus is in the chat, Amanda, who's in the room next to me right now. She says, my sleeping <laughs> pattern is a myth. Uh, and then she's put the speaker <laughs> emoji. I don't know if that's because I'm being too loud. It is. It's now just gone two a.m. in the UK. By the way, just letting you know, two a.m. And as I said, we've got to be up tomorrow to do some nonsense. So, uh, yeah, I did. I she was meant to be out tonight. I did warn her about doing this type of show. I knew it would go for a while. Uh, I also just. Just, just remind everyone, he's coming for you, all right? He's coming for you. <laughs> Greg, wherever you are, he's coming for you, all right? He's out there. He's not even with me anymore. He's he's moved on. He's moved he's on. on to, the move. He's moved. He's on the move. <laughs> you should all be concerned. That's all I'm saying, all right? Just be, be concerned. Any parcel you open, he could be in there. Just put it there. But yeah. so, so Mark designed him, yeah? Yeah, Mark made him. He's a custom. Mark is the nicest guy in the world. Yes. And... What yeah. sort of dark is. mind has yeah. Mark got on yeah. the Mark, <laughs> Mark is secretly sadistic. That's what we. That's, yeah. Do you know he's one it's... of those serial killers that pretends to be really, really nice, but then like <laughs> creates evil, evil, but... crazy ducks to come and kill you, like crazy stuff. So, yeah, be careful, everyone. Be careful, everyone. Right, Justin, are you are you sticking around for us for a little bit, or you you um, got to go? It's up to you. The floor, the, uh, I... the opportunity is right now. Do you want to say goodbye to everyone, or are you staying around? Um, I, I'll go ahead and head out. Uh, wife's putting a little. 
the little man to bed. So, and I'm off work tomorrow. So we're going to watch a movie and drink that's, a little bit. That's a shit excuse. To be ah, that's whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Just say goodbye. <laughs> that is not what you're doing. Just say goodbye. Just, uh, good that, that, yeah. it, it's great seeing everybody. <laughs> I hope to be back on here soon. Um, my work schedule switched around. So I'm off Fridays and Saturdays now. So it's all just To be crazy. fair, today was a ah. spontaneous so I, I wish I could have organized the anniversary better. It is what it is. You made it onto the show. That's what matters, all right? We exactly. appreciate you. Tell the people exactly. where they can find you online. Well, you can find me every now and then here on Legends and Liquor on this amazing channel. Again, congrats, Stan, on three years. Thank you so much. Um, you can find me on YouTube at Just Justin Collects, uh, where if you're ever tired of quality content like this That's and you just true. want to watch shit content, Look. just go over to there. <laughs> Justin has so many yeah. more fart sounds than I do on my channel. Like, <laughs> that is sure, right? Like that is like when you know something shit when you hear a little fart sound, and I uh, exactly. Like, so that's when I, I don't even need to like. You can listen to your reviews via audio only because if you hear this fart sound, you're like, wow, that's a shit figure. <laughs> um, so just Justin collects. I'll, I've put it in the chat. It's in the description. Go and subscribe to him on YouTube again. Another branch. Um of the the tree uh of uh, this community here so please go and support again you, you're reviewing the stuff that i never really get the time stuff that i buy like i've brought the wonder woman i've brought all the michael Moss and mars i just I, I obviously prioritize legends but like so i live very clearly through people like you opening this shit up before i open it up so i have enjoyed watching the channel and your your collection your first video on the channel is like on 10k plus right <laughs> Uh, it's over 12k now. It's like 12.4 or something saying. like that. That's nice, great. nice. That's great stuff. That's great stuff. I, I wish the rest would do something like that, but Look. they're doing okay. It's like three, four, five hundred it's on. It's consistency. Yeah. It's consistent. Honestly, you just—it's a slog. You, you just got to be consistent, and then one video will just catch fire, and other people will find yeah. onto it. Again, the exactly. biggest examples of that, like, and again, I love these channels, uh, but the Geek Effect uh, and Nostalgia Unboxed two channels that i was a big fan of before they started reviewing all the goku stuff and imports and now look <laughs> at them do you know what i mean they're fire on fire right, right now and don't get me wrong the quality right. speaks for themselves but again you just yeah it takes a while for the youtube algorithm right. to grab hold all right so maybe exactly. review some of those goku figures maybe, maybe that'll make a difference maybe yeah <laughs> but i do say that i wouldn't even be where i am right now without the support of everybody else here everybody here you dan jay mark uh, Mark's an amazing guy. He does a lot to support everybody. Makes Just crazy, everybody here, the whole crazy duck figures, group. but he's a good guy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I look forward to catching the rest of the stream on the replay tomorrow. Or in the next day, I don't know how long this is. Yeah, we're but, gonna talk, um... we're gonna talk about you just randomly throughout <laughs> it, just to make you paranoid, so you have to listen to it. <laughs> all right, but uh, thanks for letting me pop in. It's good seeing everybody. Look forward to seeing y'all later. All right, goodbye, 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 goodbye. Well, that's, uh... all right, well, oh, yes, I appreciate everyone staying with us. Jared's been here from the start. Jamie's here from the start. Craig's here from the start. I appreciate everyone popping in and out today again. Well, so... I wasn't here at the well, you start, were, you Dan. You know me. I was. I was at least twenty you were, minutes you were late. You know. late. Yeah, you were uh, Running on my. T if yeah. I'm not late, it wouldn't be a show. I wouldn't believe it, it was you. So, to be fair, you know. I'd be asked where the real Craig is. So it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tariq's I've, gone to bed. I've... He's just left the Zoom call on, and that's fine. I, 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 <laughs> it's, it's, again, it's two a.m. in the UK. Tariq, do you want to go to bed? Shall we jump to you for your top, to your favourite figures, and then you can get gone? Are you good? I'm good. I had a Lego accident. Uh oh! What happened? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no! Not the blackbird! Oh no! Oh, no. What happened to Batman? He head? stood on the table. That's <laughs> yeah. no, all good. Okay, okay, right. Let's do let's do let's do our favorite figures of the year so far. Is everyone in this chat right now available for the next half an hour max? All right, let's say half yeah. an hour. Yeah, are we good? Ooh, yeah. Uh, My good. phone may die, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> all right, cool. Because I want to do everyone's top figures, and then I want to race some ducks, and then I'll go to bed. All right. So, uh, Amanda. If you can hear me, I apologize, all right? But there's no more, <laughs> no more super chat shots have come in, so I think I'll be okay. I'll make a cup of tea before I go to bed. I'll be fine. Um, I reckon we should do a few more shots, Dan. I don't know. Look, super chat just shots to, only, just I'm afraid. To... Nah, if, if anyone wants oh, to donate, yeah. they will, but it is 2 a.m. in the UK now. So come on, fans, if they donate, don't, cause I'm drinking I will be fine here. with that, by the way. I'm Craig. absolutely fine yeah. with that. Craig, do you not have $15? He spent it all oh, on no. Google Nights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I did, Ash. He spent it <laughs> all on the school and soldiers. <laughs> yeah. uh, Z-Man says, have a great night all. Z-Man, are you going to bed? Z-Man, did you want to be on the show today? I've been checking my Instagram, but you're not here. 
He uh, said in the chat earlier he would like to, but he was super tired. Oh, okay, fair enough. That's fair. It, to be fair, it is two a.m. in the UK, so it makes which sense. is like why some what of the East Coast the guys drop it off at nine o'clock or just funny. They're like, "Oh, I'm tired. I gotta go." Like, okay, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's only six p.m. here on the West Coast. Uh, Craig's talking about taking shots. I'm like, well, I kind of wanted to go to the gym still. <laughs> it is now seven minutes. Past Come on, Miguel, stop, stop. So. All right. Hey, I can yeah. do one. I can do one now. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll have to give me two minutes huh? to get a new point. I'm ready. Uh, yeah, okay. oh, look, look, Caleb, look, 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 Caleb in the chat. Let me just jump real quick to the chat for a second. <laughs> Hang on. Where's my where's my chat gone? <laughs> oh. Caleb, well, I appreciate Sorry, you, Caleb. Where, where's he gone? He's gone here. He's, he's dropped a super chat and he said, "Spoke too soon." Dot. Ah, dot. Ah, yes. That's a seven. That's a seven minute past two a.m. on a Saturday morning shot because of Caleb's collective mentions. But I appreciate him again. It's all part of the fun and games. Uh, Amanda might definitely have to hold my hair if, uh, <laughs> if at this point. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Dan. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll yeah. do a deal with you now. Go on. Go on. If I get an extra duck. Yeah. And you do a shot. Don't yeah. do it, Craig. Don't do it. I, I would. I, I would. I'm not going to show you my 12 inches, so don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, I, I will show you how I get on my bed. As the rating commissioner, I say, you you take that fucking shot now, man. Absolutely. <laughs> look, 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 look. Caleb's already in the chat. And I Let's choose, you, I choose shot, your shot, poison. Shot. What are you saying? <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, Christopher. True. True love is your woman holding your hair for you. That's true. She. If that will. is true love. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. That's, That's true. how you know you picked a winner. If we just whisper for the next half an hour or forty-five <laughs> minutes, she'll be fine. She won't. <laughs> what, are say, what are you saying? What are you saying? Oh, there you well, go. Well, well, there's Caleb. Caleb. Collects ninety-eight. Oh, donated fourteen dollars. Let's do Spoke shot too to Caleb soon. First. Spoke too soon. Thank you, Caleb. Right, what, I'm, go I'm going for it, Craig. Are you going? Are you doing it? Okay, yeah, yeah, Rob. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it saves so bad. Oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, right, oh, we, God, um... we got Victor. Victor wants to join us. Uh, one second. So, Victor is Flaming Sauce. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. There Flamingo. He is. Flamingo. What? <laughs> no, he's different all over the place, right? He's Instagram's <laughs> Flaming Flaming Sauce. Flamingo, Flamingo sauce. Flamingo sauce. Oh, okay. Look, right. How many shots have I had, Victor? <laughs> just let me off. Just let me be. All right. Just it's two ten past two in the morning in the UK, and I'm a few shots Stop. in. Can you hear me? We can hear you. How are you doing? Perfect. I'm pretty good. You? Not well, my friend. Not. <laughs> not... Is this your first time? No, he's on been the on. Uh, I was in the inner circle. Oh, the, yeah, I think like two oh, weeks oh ago. that's true. So you've been on for the inner circle, but this is your first time on Legend of the Liquor. Correct. That yeah. is true. So do you know what that means? You means you have to take seven shots on the stream right now. Shots, <laughs> shots. Uh, yeah, no, seven. <laughs> joking, I'm joking. We still need to see Craig do his run and jump. Oh, hang on. That's true. Hang on. Let me just say hello to Kenny again. Kenny, Kenny, welcome back. Did you miss us? I did, I did. That okay. I was like, ah, I, I miss you guys. I miss the fun. I needed to come I love, in. All right, good, good, right. Craig, I like the fact that I say I'm going to try and jump onto my bed, and then there's three other people join the stream. Because you've got an audience now. Like, right. So yeah. Craig. So basically, Craig's mattress is on. Like, are they Calaxes, Right. So you've got displays Calax under your units. bed. Calax units. So Craig's they're mattress. On, there they are. They're on Calax units. Are on Calax units. So, so Craig, right, turn that camera and get on that bed. Let's see. Let's see how you get Craig. on. Craig. <laughs> That's the coolest shit I've ever seen. It that's is. Cool. I told him yeah. that. Yeah. If my wife would allow that, that's our life. That's, that's my bed. Look, look. it's on collection. It's so up. look, he's got displays right. under his bed. It's genius. It's genius. He's, he's, he's right. maximizing so that space. It, it's it's going to be hard with it like a camera in my hand, but basically what? I just... I need to set the like, camera up. Yeah, put the camera back on the desk yeah, and then jump on your bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. This is but too technical for me. Don't go, yeah, don't, don't go in the bathroom. Yeah, don't go in the bathroom. Drink it since 5 o'clock. Straight to bed. No guys. bed. No I thought bed. that was the POV of a woman now. then. Getting lured to his bed. Just, right, let's get him on. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, oh, he's on. Lift up like that. Oh, there he is. Look at that. He's oh, yeah. 
That's awesome. Go. Green shot. Look at that, ladies. Ladies, come on down. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you go. The on worst channel. only fan video I've ever seen. What's that, David? What's that? that? Like the worst only fans video I've ever seen. <laughs> Good job we didn't pay for it. So. You know what? You know what? We can't all be stars. We can't all be porn stars, you know, David. So you know. <laughs> right. Okay. I think. I think it was great. I would pay for that. No, it, it, uh, look, I do think the Calyx is on the mattresses on the Calyx is actually a genius idea. I've seen other people do that on, on Instagram and stuff as well. So I think that is like a trendy thing to do at the minute. I, maximize that I did it because the room I was in is pretty much the same size the room stands in, which is tiny, but a li tiny. tiny little bit bigger. And look, basically, it. I'm touching the walls right now. Yeah, it's basically, tiny. I was on. I sofa bed for a long, long time, and I went, you know what, sod this, I've seen this idea, whacked a load of Calyx units in, so there's like, there's two big long ones and one little one either side, and then I've just basically whacked a load of like uh, slats that are brought, already like uh, made, whacked them on the top threw a mattress on top and it basically it was on the one side of my room and then all my displays are on the other side of the so room do you do you know in but, the little calyx cubes do you have like little displays under the bed as well uh not at the minute the only display under there which is covered by boxes at the minute is my uh invincibles okay. figures they're the only ones in it would you be concerned but, if like you had little displays under the bed and then you know one thing led yeah. to another with a lady friend or something. You brought her back to the room, <laughs> and then you started shaking the bed or bouncing on the bed, and then the whole collection just underneath your bed just sort of just, just tumbled. It'll never happen. Never happen. <laughs> yeah. Like like cousin Toy Story Five. You said, what the fuck? Like so you're saying there's a chance. There's, 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 no, there's not much happening in the Craig Smith household, so. Okay. You know. Well, you you, you can you, you can always play hooky like uh, like Craig did. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Craig did. Can you just that yeah, word means? No, I can see him again anymore. Go on, Christopher. You've always got your right hand, Craig. Craig, I don't care what anybody says. I'm a left. We all I'm a we left. all wish we had that. No, we all. <laughs> I, I would. If yeah. It was yeah. I don't care. I have like three ladies over. I'll ruin my collection. It was worth it. <laughs> it was worth exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you are it's living the dream, Craig. Still wish I you got the it. collection. You just need the ladies, and then it's a, it's a masterpiece. <laughs> it's so close, Craig. It's so close. You just yeah. we, we have this conversation. <laughs> you'll, you'll, get you'll get there. You'll get there. Dan said to me and Tana, he went, "You're both single." He went, "Yeah." When you go out. Courting for ladies or looking for ladies. <laughs> like, if you go on a date, how long do you leave it until you let them know about your collection? It's a genuine question, yeah. And you Tanner's know. was, uh, what was Tanner's? Uh, I'll just let them find out naturally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mine was, <laughs> mine was, like I go on a first date and I just say, I'm an adult collector. Yeah. And leave leave them guessing. You leave with that. Yeah. You Ooh. leave with it. Yeah. What does he collect? What does he collect? Yeah. What does he do, Craig? Is that you adult do, Is you tell them that you bring in at least six figures a month. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a wide table. Yeah. That one is well, Jamie. A couple of 12 inch. you got plenty six in inch, collection. 12 yeah. inch. Yeah. I play around with five inch now and again. All right. All right. All right. Let's Remember, go. you say my ex. She showed me what stuff it just feels like, and I will show Dan. you. <laughs> Dan owes me a shot now. Why? What? Oh, what? okay. Yeah, because you what said a shot and an extra duck, okay. and Jamie agreed. Okay, go on then. What, what am I drinking? So, you're drinking that school vodka. No, fuck. I'm not drinking that. That's like yeah, <laughs> go on. It's reserved. No, it's reserved for no, like a $50 you, you super chat. You, Your name's not, not Doom Customs bad. or Bring Toys to Work. <laughs> I'm not drinking no super chat. Sh I'm, no, 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 no. That school vodka is being guarded right now by the Sentinel. Oh. Oh. There he is. The <laughs> love you show me down lately. He's guarding it. All right. Um... That only gets used. Right, hang on. I keep hitting my headphones out by accident. It'll have to be rum then. It'll have to be rum if you're chickening out. 
<laughs> okay, but well, there he is. I'm just making sure the light still works on him. There he is. He's guarding. Drink, t- drink some tequila, damn, be a man. I've got no, te- I've got no yes. tequila. I've got nothing. I've got Ooh. nothing like that. Drink your skull. Drink your no. skull. I-, I was reserving that for like fifty dollars super shot. chats. You need, no. you need some. Fifty-year-old Jemson is the way to go. No. Man, I jumped on my bed for you. Yeah, that's, the that's Irish more than what <laughs> most people do. These guys know what the context of that is, because that's a weird <laughs> sentence otherwise. Yeah, if you, if you came in a little bit late, that's that's going to be awkward. Right, okay, well, let's get it right. Let's Hi, actually... well, welcome to Legends and Liquor, and I've just jumped I'm on my bed for that. Right. Dan Hayden says, can't believe you guys are still going. I tapped out two hours ago. Look, Dan Hayden, it's the, it's the anniversary. <laughs> we can only celebrate the three-year anniversary once. That's all I'm saying. Right? I, Kurt, Kurt Kay's still here, and he's like 20 years older than us. So. Bloody hell, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> in Jamie's case, it's more like 25. Yeah. He's still got his breath in his glasses, Val, so he's all right. I'm just dying in the <laughs> Hey, um, I need to spit everything out. Hey, can we look? Can you guys see this? Hang on. Clear enough? What is it? See the louder? Uh, see a white screen. The, uh, oh, the oh. oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> right, Jamie. Uh, right, let's get into. The, I want to know everyone's favorite figure, your favorite purchase. Look, there's no need for that, Kenny. Right, everyone's favorite figure of the year so far, please. All right, so that's what we're going to get into now. All right, your favorite figure of the year so far. You can throw a runner up in there as well. Uh, but yeah, other than this guy, other than other than the dog, <laughs> that would just be an unfair, an unfair advantage. You see, uh, so, Jared, right. you were up top. Let me put Jared back up top. Jared was up top. He just moved around a little bit. So we're going to get into everyone's favourite figure of the year so far. Uh, and then we will finish off this anniversary stream with some duck races. I get it's Friday night. And I know in the US there's a lot of other YouTube live streams on on a Friday night. So I apologise if I'm overlapping with anyone. That was never my intention. Uh, but uh, I'm enjoying myself right here. Um, and it's probably easier for me to just stay up right now and uh, yep. sleep. So, uh, once. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, so Jared, what's your favourite figure of uh, the year? Okay, so, so I've already said my honourable mention, which is um, this lad here. And I honestly, if anybody's watched the movie and is on the fence about the figures or, or anything, this guy here is amazing. Of all the figures I have, the whole wave, he's like, I don't know what happened with McFerrin. It's like he's from a different toy manufacturer altogether. So he'd be my honourable uh, mention. And what's his name? Um, what's the character's name? It's Fade Harkonnen. Okay. Is his name? It's Austin Butler. That's Elvis. Oh, you know the Elvis movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you see the movie, he's amazing. Is he a bad guy? Brilliant. Yeah, he's yeah. amazing. He's brilliant. Like, but like, I want to do a bit of photography around that that guy. There's a second version of him where he's screaming, and he should have been the single card release, but I don't know why they didn't put that head sculpt in as well. So you have to buy a, a double pack to get him. But, oh, okay. Strange. Brilliant. But um. So I'm all in on, on G.I. Joe Classifieds. So I, I had a look through my Classifieds of what came this year. And without a doubt, the best. Oh, just brilliant. Like, he's just amazing. Like, I think we overlook how cool he is. Like, and even the small details, the razor blade for um for an earring, the, you know, just the detail that they go into on these guys, the tattoos, everything. He's brilliant. And he's just fun on the shelf. I've had friends come over to my house and... They, they kind of go and ask me about him. They don't know anything about toys. Yeah. They know I have a collection to come in. They're like, who's your man? What's the story with him? Like So so I think for me so far this year, he's been the figure of the year. Yeah, a lot of people have been liking him over Ripper because Ripper had the glasses that would fall off. Oh, and stuff like that. Terrible, yeah. I display him without the glasses. Yeah, I took them off. I just display them. And he's too he's too good looking then <laughs> compared to... He looks like an 80s um, henchman from Die Hard or something then. <laughs> no, <you know? laughs> like, so, so um, yeah, no, he is a brilliant figure. And if anybody's waiting on him to come or whatever, he is amazing. Very nice. I, I, I think Jay's toy collection could pull off a pretty good version of... Uh, yeah. If, he, yeah. if you've got some sunglasses, yeah. I reckon he could make it work yeah. for sure. The Paddy Mahomes sunglasses on him. Yeah, Brilliant. looks good. I, I need to open Buzzer and Ripper. I wait. I, I wait. I wouldn't open one unless I had the other. Now I've got them both. Yeah. Um. I need. To, oh, who, oh, Tor- Torch is on the way too, though. Torch, yeah, yeah. 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 Torch on the way and Naga Hyde as well. So I've set up a cube now. Of just uh, yeah. Dreadnoughts. And yeah. we may get what's it? The Thunder? What's it called? The Thunder? Something? Yeah, it's under machine. The car. The, machine? the, the vehicle. Yeah. Machine. Yeah. Oh, and, and well, uh, not, monkey wrench. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm going to show you something really cool. Um, just two seconds. Right. I won't take up too much time. So it was my 42nd birthday on Thursday. I've yeah. been a collector since. Happy birthday. Yeah, related. Thanks very yeah, much. Happy um, birthday for Thursday. Last Thursday. Um, so I've last been a collector. Thursday. Yeah, so I've been a collector <laughs> nearly all my life. I've always kind of, with G.I. Joe's was what I collected and I kind of stacked up and stuff. <laughs> um, I have three kids and my eldest boy went out with his own pocket money and bought me a figure. Oh, cool. Because he knew it. Yeah, so no, look, I'm not a Pops collector at all, but he was so <laughs> proud of himself to come into the house and give me that. So it's the first figure I got bought by my kids. Oh, oh that's sweet. So he really? sits, yeah, very sweet. So he sits very proudly because we watched the soca together. So I know where the sentiment came from was that we sat and watched the soca together. Yeah. So he was, so he's a big Star Wars. He has a huge uh, Black Series collection up in his room. Obviously, influence from myself, like you know, and so, um, so yeah, so I was chuffed with that. That's a real that's cool, that, that's, cool yeah, that's really sentimental, cool, yeah. isn't it? It's not about yeah, it, yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't matter that it's a pop, it's like it's what <laughs> it represents, yeah, 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 exactly. So, so he sits uh proudly centered right in front of my monitor here now, so he'll be uh, my, my main focus for, oh, for a little while. Like... No, that's very cool, that's very cool. I like it, I like it a lot. That's what it's all about. That's what collections is all about. Everyone has their, those uh, those stories attached with certain figures yeah. and whatnot. That uh, looks good. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, right, Jamie. Right, you're not allowed to pick that duck, all right? Okay. What's your runner-up so, and your favourite figure of the year? Runner-up will be... Madeline. Madeline the Goblin. Queen. Are you Wait, sure that's girl. not a clown? No, no, that's her. That's her. her hair's down. Right? That's yeah. how you tell. <laughs> so, number checking. one is the Oscar <laughs> Autumn <laughs> Edition. <laughs> you get oh, a Yeah. Very nice. Well, <laughs> comes with the mask, the alternative head. Oh, the... Yeah, Very nice. I've, I can I hear can I hear people talking in the background? Yeah, talk, I don't know who it is. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know who it is, and I, I don't mean to offend anyone or anything. But yeah, if, you, if someone is in the background, just just put yourself on mute. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. Otherwise, I feel like, what's going on? Who's talking? Uh, so, so, sorry, Jamie. So you were saying Oscar, the ultimate WWE yes, yep. Oscar. Yes. Yeah, it comes with the softwood cloak, the mask. comes with alternative mist face, alternative hands. It's a look, great Something. blurry looking figure for sure. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Luckily, I know what it looks like, so it's fine. It is a great figure. Yeah. Apparently, B Bill McKenna, the guy who runs, that well, is in charge of that whole Mattel line, he's like a big like Japanese wrestling fan. So any like Shinsuke Nakamura, Oscar, anyone like that, he puts the all of the tooling and new bits into those characters because they're his favourites. So, yeah, she looks great. He went on record to say that he does Japanese women well. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Yeah. Um, that's super that's, weird. That is weird. I'm pointing to the Julia. But, but he is a big fan. He is big. There's no doubt that's a great figure for sure. Uh, right, let's go across to Craig. Craig, runner-up and favourite figure of the year so far. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, my runner-up is oh, it's pretty much the same as everyone else's, but Angel. <laughs> That's fine. It's a great figure. It's a great figure. A brilliant figure, which I forgot to mention in my pickups. Like I had Angel along with the Wolverine packs, apart from Psylocke. So uh, you can only guess what my first runner-up is going to be, because I've been waiting for these for a long, long time. Your first runner-up? I thought Angel was your runner-up. It's not Hulk, and it's not Wolverine. It's Patch and it's Joe Fix It. Wait, so are these your favourite so, figures of the year so far or your runners up? I'm confused. Favourite figures oh, of the year nice. so far. Angel was the runner up. Nice, nice. I don't know anymore, Dan. I've, okay, I've, I've been drinking since that's five o'clock. Me too. Me too, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. These are Angel and they're yeah, fucking. Yeah, no, no, no. They're yeah good. you know, they're, yeah. They're so, yeah. But Patch yeah. and. Uh, yeah, Joe whatever his it. name is. Joe Fix It. Is, yeah, yeah. Definitely not Hook. I <laughs> heard, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, they're the winners. Like I've been waiting for them it's for a, a while. Set. So, I set, yeah. like, I, I, like, fair enough. The articulation isn't in certain places. Like, I would like if Joe Fixit could fold his arms, yeah. like he does in the comic book cover. But we've got him in bigger form. 
So they look great. These are a f- physical representation, a tribute to that, uh, that yeah. Wolverine. I think it's Wolverine Definitely. 8 cover from Madripoor, where Woolpatch and Joe Fixer yeah. are both like uh, undercover, if you will. Uh, it's just it's just a nice two pack. Isn't yeah, it? like they're and, our mind's eye of those and, two characters for sure. And just to piss Rich M off, I've got an honourable mention. Of course you have. And it's uh, <laughs> it's Sabretooth, Sabretooth. Okay from that two pack but he's up there somewhere uh uh yeah he's just great like he's bigger he's chunkier he just looks more imposing on the shelf like Sabretooth should Sabretooth was a beast so he looks great on the Wolverine shelf at the top I agree I agree so. I need to I still need to open mine yet but uh I know I know I'm gonna like it for sure massive upgrade all right let's go Tariq Tariq Favourite figures of the year so far? Runner-up and then your absolute favourite. Cool. So runner-up to me, it actually has to be the Lego. Oh, nice. They've oh. been doing a lot of uh, buildable figures. Most people kind of hate them. They do look a bit cast. But I think this is pretty close to what you see in at the beginning. What, so, what's the price point on those? This is this one's 34. The rest of them are usually like 25 so he's a little bit more because he's got the the glider and stuff. Essentially, the glider, yeah, the glider's really good, um, and even has the um, nice. That's my runner up, and that uh, goes to Peter. <laughs> All good. Um, yeah, my favorite figure, just because I've been waiting for this character to be so long. They did have one a few years ago. Night okay. After Sorry. watching episode five of uh, X Men, I can see why that one's slowly selling out in places. Uh, he's in the intro now, right? Spoiler alert! So uh, he was in episode six intro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jamie doesn't come with swords, but I'm sure there's going to be an age of apocalypse. It was a great figure the first time round, and now it's completely pinless with the new heads. It's a great figure, great representation. You'll get a sword with that stone anyway. Oh, with that stone, yeah. Jamie's really yeah. hammering home that Excalibur, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. For sure. Uh, right, let's go to uh, Miguel for his favourites. <laughs> Good one, Miguel. Great, great, great stuff. Great stuff. <laughs> I'm <joking>. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you're there, Miguel, we can jump to you. Are you there? So, sorry, sorry. No, I was, uh, I was I, muted. No, I was using it for comedic value. It's fine. I did that on purpose. Uh, do you have your fr- runner up and your favourite figure of the year so far? You know what? As, as you guys are talking, it, I, I keep switching back and forth, and you, you you know as well as I do that it never stays the same. Yeah, it you know, will change tomorrow, you're... but right now, in this moment, what are your favorites? My favorite is going to be the thrill of the hunt. It's let, let, let me be different for the for the three okay. anniversary thrill of the hunt of finding you know finding something that people are going crazy for, yeah. or something that's sitting on the pegs, but you haven't locked it down yet, or it's something that you've really been after. Because I'm I'm thinking I really I really like Big Boa from GI Joe. Uh, the the retro Duke was really good. Yeah. Uh, the 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 Cyclops was good. It was a, a bit cartoony, some, but it it, it it was still good. He's he, he's he's on the shelf, and the uh the, the Warlock wave is 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 put away somewhere. So you know, the, I mean, it, it it's it's constantly going to be changing. So I'm gonna, I'm going to just leave it at Thrill of the Hunt. I like Look, it. Fine, fine. Again, your wolf. As I said, the Wolf Pack for me has always been. I discovered you via your toy hunting videos and living vicariously through you guys shopping in targets and walmarts and all the places that i could never get to uh, and that's part of the hobby as well isn't it it's just another aspect of it it's like going out finding those stuff on pegs that no one else has yet or the hottest thing out you can get it in your home. again it's stuff that we can't really do in the uk because we don't really have retail stores that sell collectibles it's like it's all it's all online so I, I, again i do live vicariously through you guys sometimes so front of the hunt i like it i like it a little say that's different. the one thing we miss about toy collecting there was being able to hunt yeah just being able to find something in a shop yeah. by surprise that you actually want yeah. or something yeah, yeah guys there's, there's there's no greater feeling that that adrenaline that 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 yeah. pumping in your chest when you you walk up to the aisle and it's it's there you know it's like, I, oh my god let me let me you know, there's I a four year old that I, wants it, but you got you gotta yeah. get to it first. Yeah. I remember being sixteen and going into Dublin City and a guy set up a shop in a in a basement of Temple Bar. And some people will know Temple Bar, especially English cup people might have been over, like you know, so it's a kind of a party place. But he sent up with this um, basement and it was all old G.I. Joe's and um at the time I was collecting Star Wars uh, the collector series, you know, the twelve inch figures. Okay. 
and I was 16 and I remember going in on the weekend and find the shop and oh my god he had brought Han on a tauntaun over via an airplane uh, seat he had to book an airplane seat to bring this wow. figure over like so <laughs> and it was like amazing so do I, I still have so when I was 16 I bought um, Han and Luke in Storm, Stru- Storm uh, Trooper uh, disguise and I, and I had to go in over three or four weeks and pay him off Oh, I like it. Yeah, so I was, working, I was in, in the day. <laughs> yeah, I was in I was in school and so I was working in a bar at the weekends and so I'd go in then on a Friday after school and pay him off over three or four weeks to get him and I and I still have that, that set there now and that's my most prized possession nice. as a toy collector. And that was because we couldn't get them over yeah, here at all. It was a KB collector specialist. Yeah, but, but the hunt was always I love that. Like when you'd find something yeah. nobody else had, like you know. I agree. I agree. And again, that's it's, what it's, stories attached. Yeah. If, if if anybody, if any of you guys ever make it out west, man, I, I will gladly, gladly take you, take you through through my my hunt, my stomping grounds, my my hunting areas. Yeah. For sure. For sure. I will. For sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Christopher Allen, my friend, runner up and favorite figure of the year so far. You're on mute, Christopher. He's right. He knows. He's figuring it out. <laughs> He's drinking with us, you see. He's a good man. It's true. <laughs> it's the same button it was last time. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> yeah, did, did we even take that last Caleb shot? That's the last time you guys make fun of me for my age. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he's good. 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 He's back. He's back in uh, the room. It's fine. It, it always disappears <laughs> when I want to talk. Um, what were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Runner up <laughs> and favorite figure of the year. All right. I hope this doesn't like ruin what me and Rich have. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> kitty pride, kitty pride please. No, I don't, I don't, I don't have kitty pride. It ain't kitty pride. It ain't kitty pride. Um, it ain't Chris no. Star either, is it? No. Okay, so runner up. I got this guy. Yeah, Scarlet Spider Man. Great figure. Yeah, yeah. But you said there's only two, but we're going to go with three. Oh, uh, okay, um, that's fine. <laughs> and then. Uh, Raphael, I found Raphael. I go really quick, though. Who gives a fuck? Oh, the Pizza, yeah. pizza Club Raph, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah, all normally all I don't, I don't, I don't find these in stores. But I walked in and they, they had like one of each. Nice. And I was like, holy! I was like, wow, that's a first for me. So we went with him. Nice. And then uh, I guess number one will be Quick Kick. GI Joe, I like it. Yeah, with his chocolate bar. Still faster than all you guys with two, okay? So... <laughs> <laughs> very nice. nice. Uh oh, Caleb's back. Caleb, okay. oh okay. <laughs> You did, it's now half two in the morning. If I was actually, on, if, if I was actually on a night out, like this is the point of the night where you start winding down and drinking water because you're heading oh. home. You're going to get a kebab or a burger or something and get a taxi. I, I can, I, oh I can take God, it for you, Dan, like, if you want. Still drinking? What, what are you drinking, Miguel? What are you drinking? Uh, P- Patron, Patron Silver. Patron, pass the Patron. Oh. Go on, then, Dude, Go on, then. Cheer, cheer, cheers. This is for, this is for Caleb. Oh, this no, I drink you. it. I drink it with you. I drink it with you. Fuck it. Fuck gotcha. It, fuck All it, right. Fuck it, fuck it. Normally, four, right? four o'clock is when I go for a kebab. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Good, <laughs> yeah. We've got right. just under 20 minutes before this becomes the longest stream. All right, we're going mm-hmm. longer than 20 minutes then. Let's go. Let's yeah, do this. You right. should go 21 minutes Let's then. do it. Let's do it. You've right. got to raise Wait, bloody up. Yeah, C- Caleb, thank you very much. He said, someone say shot. You absolutely did, my friend. Miguel's going to join me. Thank you so much. Oh, no. Nah. Miguel yeah, can join you. Dan, I got to leave. 20 minutes. I can't do that. That's all good. Right. All good. <laughs> I'm just, Allen. I'm just kidding. I'll stay. I'm just joking. Oh, good man, good man, good man, good man. Christopher Allen. I'll take a seat. I've been drinking since five o'clock, so it's starting to hit. It's <laughs> starting to hit. <laughs> just starting to hit, huh? Yeah, yeah just Victor, Victor's jumping in and out. He's like, he's bored of us already. Drink. Victor, are you there, my Caleb friend? Are you still there? Collect 98 donations. Yeah, can you hear me? We can, yes, we can. Somebody say, no, okay, uh, uh, since I'm using my phone, I got a phone call in between this, so. Oh, okay. Trying to get the video back. No stress, no stress. It's all good. We're here when you're ready, my God, friend. is that you? 
<laughs> yeah, it's that's a what, oh, no, he's there. He's that's there. what it feels like when God talks to you. <laughs> yeah. Who? Okay. I what that. do you want from me, God? <laughs> it's that episode God. of The Simpsons where it's like, I need a sign from God, and the phone yeah. rings, and it's like, oh, hello, Homer, <laughs> this is God. And it's like, free Jones from the da 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 It's funny, it's funny shit. Uh, right, okay. Victor, right, Victor, I'm moving you up. Sorry, sorry, Kurt. Victor's going in front of you. He's not, he's not, I feel bad, right? Chris and Rallon ain't having it. Right. He's not spinning up from Kurt. Right. Victor, my friend, we're coming to you. Give us your favourite okay. figures of the year so far. A runner-up, and then your most favourite of the year so far. Um, well, I mentioned in the, the inner circle last time, I'm in the middle of a change right now, uh, just moving to, to a different state. So all my stuff is back in California. We will use our imagination. But, we're all toy collectors. We're with you. People, but right? um, one thing, I'm, I'm kind of on a Mesco kick right now. So I don't know if it's recently biased, but um, runner-up, I'd probably say... Mezco Snake Eyes. Very nice. He's fantastic. I'm I'm all in on the the classified Joes, and uh, I'm fairly new still to to Mezco, but these have been great. And um, it even made me buy Spider Man and and Destro as well. And then um, Destro the first one, then it was Roadblock, and then it was Snake Eyes. Is that the order that Mezco released on? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I think the next one is um, Storm Shadow. I think that's. Yeah. I think people are getting that in hand right now. Firefly, I think, as well after that, I think. I think. Yeah, I think that's in May, yeah. yeah. And so um, that'd be my runner-up. And then my my number one, also a Mezco, that'd be Dr. Doom. Yeah. He's fantastic. It's um, all die casts, a lot of effect parts, um, just great in hand. I know he's not as posable as the Legends, but he's fantastic. Yeah, I think uh, he's shooting at least for like my top three right now. I brought, he's pretty I brought this at a toy fair, the the Diamond Select like throne essentially, and people are telling oh, yeah, me, yeah, yeah. people are telling me I should get the Mafex for that throne, like and get you rid should, of the you, you definitely should. As like, um, I love the the Legends one. Um, it's great. It's fantastic, but um. Just something about this Mafex one. I know you could throw a, a, a uh, soft goods cape yeah, on the yeah. Legends one, but it's just you should definitely pull the trigger. And and with that throne, it'll look fantastic. I've seen, I, it's been one of those figures that I've been in my basket a few times. A few times, I'm tempted. I yeah. don't buy many Mezcos at all, but that's one I think I could fudge in to my collection for sure. Over, over here in the states, um, I don't know um, how the international shipping is with Entertainment Earth, but I've seen that. that and I think Entertainment. Yeah, uh, it's pricey, but I think they like reduced it by like twenty bucks. I think recently, so I don't know if it's worth it with the shipping. But if anyone is same thing thinking about it, I should. I really recommend it. It's great. Yeah, I, I, I you're not the first person to say that, and I have again have been very tempted by it. I don't get many Mezco. I've got I've got Blade and I've got Night and the Moon Knight. I've got they're the two I've got. I had Punisher, the original one. But I managed to sell him for like three hundred pounds, like ridiculous money. So I couldn't yeah, say, he's pretty up. Couldn't say no to that, like. But I was going yeah. for like a Marvel Knights vibe, but I think mm. Doom as like one of my favorite. They do a villains. Secret Wars wave. Do you think Doom will definitely be one? Well, we've just got Doom in that two pack with. Um, yeah, I know, I and he looks weird. exactly, exactly like a secret. Yeah, so I don't know. I, I genuinely don't. know. I held him. off. Now Doom will be one I would want because I had him as a kid, like, and I'm very. They'll just put it on a Secret Wars card. That's and what so I'm saying. You again, the retro card. Exactly. Card, retro card Slightly makes sense. Maybe, yeah. Only idiots right. would buy retro cards. For, yeah. For <laughs> and a lenticular uh, shield. Have you? Yeah, the, 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 I think the, the Leticular Shields are what people are most curious about. Like, that's what people want yeah. to see for that nostalgic factor. But I don't know if Legends will do that or not. I don't no, know. No, I don't think so. Oh, I, I, I think, is it, yeah. didn't Todd um, uh, tease that uh, Secret Wars or something like that? Like, um, no, so, we, retro we, wave? There's no, there's no lion. See, we're getting a Secret Wars retro wave. Like, that's, it's a fact. It's happening, yeah. all right? Spoiler six, alert. Six figures. Yeah, it's happening, all right? There's no oh, lion okay. about that. But we just don't Not know. Not ten, because we wouldn't. Like, She-Hulk wouldn't be in that. That's true. Iron Man <laughs> way. We're getting six figures, not very, ten. Very true. Six figures in a, re in a retro carded uh, wave, but we don't I was know just, the sorry. Go on. I'm drunk, okay? Apologize. Beforehand. You like this figure? You like that? Yeah, I love I love it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on it. I'm going okay. to try to... Give it another chance. What are your... Give it another chance. Yeah, I will. What are your negatives with it? Phenomenal. 
don't know. I just I think the <laughs> classified figure with the timber, the white timber, is really good. And then I got this, and I'm like, why? I don't know. But I'll work on it. It's, uh, it's tailoring it's, on it, no? You'll learn like, to love it. The fact that they can actually Fine. move soft good so good at such a scale, no? Okay, I'm not saying it's terrible. I'm just I think saying, if not, you uh, can send it May for free. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> what are we give it, give Craig will jump on his bed uh, feet again. <laughs> give us some I think it's um, um, like I said, I'm, I'm all in on the classified line. They're fantastic. I think it's the best. I'm, I'm big into Marvel. I love Marvel Legends. That's probably my go-to line. But I think classified is Hasbro's best line, hands down. And... They're just, I mean, obviously, they're a lot easier to play with and, like, feel good in hand because, you know, you could um, mess around with them, don't feel like you're going to break anything. But, like I said, I, I'm the same thing. Meth Coast, I have um, the Fantastic Four set, Doom, Iron Man, and Roblox, and then my recent pick up, my pickups. But the Snake Eyes really surprised me because I did watch reviews, and there was people complaining about, like, the articulation and his height. Um the one issue I do have is um, his head pops off fairly easy, but I mean he's great. Like I'm um, not, I, I'm not shit on your taste at all. I'm not. <laughs> I just was wondering why you liked it because I, I want mean, to find a reason <laughs> to like it. That's what I want. I like I, yeah, I don't I hate it. I don't hate it. I'm just like. That's the magic about you know collecting. I mean? that's yeah. the, not everyone has yeah. to like the same thing. So, for no yeah, I wasn't reason. trying to be a dick. Did, I wasn't like, you, why did, did you like? Did that? you pick up? Uh, did you pick up any of the other ones? The roadblock. Yeah, and yeah, the yeah. I got them all. I'm like, maybe I should stop. I, <laughs> Firefly. I'm getting Firefly though. Firefly is my favorite character. And then after that, maybe I'm done. You know. But I don't know. I, I just don't love. Like I love me. Mesco's you you are internet gold right now. You are internet gold. <laughs> Mesco, Mesco makes my favorite figures. Like this is my favorite figure I own, right here, right here. It's a yeah, oh, so yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. the one figure I wish I had. I'm like, I'm like, I just don't see what the Joe. I love GI Joe. GI Joe's my favorite <laughs> line. That's why I collect figures. And I just, I, I don't know. I just don't see it. But yeah. I'm glad you see it. And hit me a DM. And tell me what, what I'm missing. Yeah, is all yeah. I'm saying. Hit, again, all right. Some figures are hit and miss for different people. It's all good. No, no, no. It's all good. I like hearing people's opinions. Yeah, good. That's why we're here. That's why yeah. we're here. It's all yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, Right, I'm sorry. Kurt, no, no, don't sorry. apologize. It's all fun. It's all good for conversation. <laughs> right, Kurt, give us your favorite figure of the year so far and a runner up. Honestly, how am I going to follow that up? Are you freaking <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? Like, can we just race a freaking duck after that? <laughs> but do you have a favorite? Give us a favorite, at least, so All far. Right. So, uh, Nightcrawler, huge, tremendous. I mean, Star Wars guy here. I, I don't have a Star Wars pick. And um, Angel up behind me, also phenomenal. The uh, the the, <laughs> the empty box two-pack, phenomenal. Great invisible figures, figures yeah, for sure. Where are like, they? Are they on a display or something? <laughs> they're... Over there okay. by the other chair. They're around. That's somewhere. Yeah, yeah, somewhere. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I haven't. I've still got some Tolkien books on this shelf. This is, we haven't seen D. Blake makes tonight, but I we mean, haven't. new. Oh, that's cool. Shout yeah, out new sign. Yeah, for sure. New sign from him. Treat tremendous. your shelf, people. Treat your shelf. He's good at what he does. All right, that's right. He is. really, really is. Um, the Hobbit, that's where, that's where Adam lives, I the Hobbit. Is it, is it, you, you're lucky he's not here. You're lucky yeah. he's not here. Right. <laughs> Craig, Craig, a Hobbit is is a species. They live in the Shire. Oh, uh, they live in the Shire. Yeah, yeah, that's where Adam <laughs> lives. You live near where the origin of the books come from, right, Craig? You live near the. Yes, I've I've visited it multiple yeah. times. He lives near it. He's he's good. He's he's, he's in with the law, right? Sarah Old Mill. Compulsive collector, my friend. Favorite figure of the year so far, and a runner-up if you have one. Uh, I mean, I, my runner-up is Craig climbing up into his bed, honestly. Um, That's fair. That's fair. I'll do it again I, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Let's, let's go for a bit of time. <laughs> I, uh, I haven't opened any of the classified figures that I've gotten yet this year. I've just been super busy. Who are you um, most so excited really, to open, though? Uh, from classified yeah. will, will be the vamp. 
Um, oh, and I, I, yeah. I just wanted to be able to take my time when I open it. I get that. Um, yep. I get that. But my favorite so far this year, um, because it's just, it's a great character design. The story was fine. It was okay. It wasn't the, big, the greatest thing, um, but it was good. Uh, but the way the figure just pops on the shelf, it's Hallow's Eve. Um, ah, nice. Good she's like, and I'm way over there. I'm not going to go get it. Y'all know what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it, it's it's just an amazing. I love the bright colors. I love the masks that, that she can hold. Um, I wish you could they, wear they, them. That's my criticism of her. I wish they would like fit it, on her face, kind of like Zartan. Yes. Yeah, like yeah. like they already know how to do that in the offices. So just I don't key know why to her face type thing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it but it it's just a great figure, and I absolutely love it. I I, I was so much happier with it than I, I knew I would like it, but. Once I had it in hand and and got it all posed up and holding the masks, I was like, "Oh yeah, this is this is my favorite Marvel Legends figure probably since Black Widow." She's a great representation of a relatively yeah. new character in Marvel lore for sure. Yeah, uh, great goes with Chasm really well. Uh, she goes with that Madeline Pryor we've just got as well, as it was Madeline mm-hmm. giving her those powers. Um, I, yeah, no, I like no that one. Kitty Pride. <laughs> I'm always trying to sneak that in there, any? But uh, yeah, very nice, very nice. Uh, right, let me. Uh, I, I, Dale in the chat is asking, "Am I right believing Dan has never seen Lord of the Rings?" That is true, unfortunately. I've not seen Lord of the Rings. I've tried to watch it a couple times with Amanda, but uh, you need to watch it. The, like Jay needs to watch. Kenny, Kenny's helping us out. Kenny's showing off. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Kenny. For us. Thank you, Kenny. Yes, thank you. Indeed. She does look. Watch good. it. You need to read it. Watch yeah. it. Yes. You are read it, and then watch it. You aren't oh, missing yeah. anything. Am I you not missing? <laughs> no. That's, that's, that's the honest review no. I need to hear. No. <laughs> that's, that's what I've been waiting for. Yes. Listen I to the drunkest guy them. on the stream. Take all yeah. your advice from him. Yeah. I have a big for sure. It's five o'clock and I'm not as drunk as that Christopher Allen. What are you saying? What, are you, anybody, saying? Uh, what are you and, saying, John? I, I was just going to say I haven't had a drop of alcohol, but I would never fucking watch Lord of the Rings again. <laughs> <laughs> See, terrible. It's mean. terrible. This is what I mean. It's half and half here. Like, I've never yeah. seen it, but I've got half people telling me love it, half people telling me no just thanks. Just fucking like... watch it, yeah. man. At least yeah. Has anybody yeah. else, yeah. 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 Has anybody yeah. else, um, wait, wait, has wait. Anybody else pre-ordered the wait. 5K Toys Gandalf? Hang on, hang on, hang on, Jared. We'll come back to you one second. Christopher, yeah. Allen. Christopher Allen, yes. Okay, sorry. Do you like rings? Uh, no, no rings. <laughs> do you like the people that are it. like, the ring is telling me this. The ring is telling me that. No. no. If you don't like that, you're not going to like the movie. <laughs> Honestly, me, me and Amanda have tried to watch it twice. And like, it's we, a, we turn it off because we're just bored. It's a, yeah. nine, yeah. it's a nine hour movie about a road trip without a car. <laughs> where, where they could have flown they, they could have flown too it's summed yeah. up in clerk in the movie clerks too they sum it up pretty well right it's okay. like uh i don't yeah. know have a I ring have a ring this uh, yeah. if they had a car it'd be one movie it wouldn't be three. <laughs> uh, uh, so what, a... what were you saying jared about gandalf i um i pre-ordered the 5k toys um there's a Gandalf figure, but I think I've only pre-ordered the Balrog to go with him. I don't think I have. One twelve scale, scale. you talking about? Yeah, it is. Yeah, and it looks. Did your really girlfriend cool. teach you that? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> My wife. <laughs> um. So I I pre-ordered it with with the stand, but I think I've only ordered the stand, and I, I think the stand is about two hundred quid, and I'm like, what? Whoa. Yeah, so I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna back out of that. But I, I they, they have this awesome looking Gandalf with it, with you know, the Balrog. Does everybody know the Balrog? No, it's the big demon he fights yeah. in the caves, it's kind of famous, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. But so, yeah, definitely, toys, definitely not the guy from Street Fighter, yeah, no, definitely not. No, he's big and red, like you know, and um. So I pre ordered it. Just upside down, I... by the way, just letting everyone yeah. know. Right? <laughs> 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 I'm way <great> drunk. <laughs> yeah. Um, but if anybody any anybody wants to get a really good looking Gandalf for one six scale, they're, they're, it's on five K toys at the moment. Amazing I, looking. Jared, I, I, while I'm you're speaking, talking. forgive me. I, I'm just gonna read the Lord of the Rings in the background. <laughs> We're gonna shatter <laughs> this record, okay? Uh, prologue. What are you saying, Jamie? <laughs> Uh, we need to put something out there for Big Will. We need drunk Christopher Allen on Who Crew Wrestling. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That would be interesting. That could be a, this could book. Be... 
Is Dr- Drunken Master. <laughs> Drunk- <laughs> he, 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 he will wipe the floor with everybody. Drunk Tress is going to lose. He's, he's, like, yeah. <laughs> he's all talk, no action. <laughs> yeah. Victor, you're all right now. You're upside down for a second. Though. I was worried about you. Oh, yeah, it's my phone. Uh, uh, my phone can only take so much uh, mess, Coast, Snake, Ice, Slander. Um, oh, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I am sorry. <laughs> I no, want I'm, to I'm like that. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, my phone was dying, so uh, I had to make sure that uh, I had to charge it up. It's all good. We have been streaming along. Right, let's go to Kenny. I, Kenny. I am wondering, Kenny, where do I find uh, you on Instagram? Are you I want to see good, are you I wanna, see are good you gonna, photos you gonna, of this. Are you about Victor? Victor's got that one. That's Victor you need to Victor. Meet. Okay. I thought I said his name was Kenny. Flamingo Swords. No, 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 oh, sorry, Victor? Victor? Yeah, Victor. I'll send you some pictures. Yes, yes. The singers will figure themselves out. On Instagram, out. I'll, I will like those. I want to see those. Yeah. I, want, I want to know what we're dealing with. Okay. Go. Anyway. I mean, you, 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 got a good po- you got a better pose right now than, than I do. I mean. <laughs> what? The singer sucks? <laughs> <laughs> right. We're, Kenny, we're Kenny, 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 Kenny. All right. Have you have you done you've, you've done your top figures right? Are we good? I, mean, I, just, I did, yes. I did. I don't. You, then you did them and then you went and then now you're back again, right? Exactly. Yes. All right. Just double check and see. I just didn't want to miss anybody. All right. So right. He only come back to see me jump on my bed. That's, That's true. Come oh, back. It was an audience. It's, right, it's, it's, and then when I came back, oh, for, honestly. Up. Right. I heard that that was going to happen. I was like, ah, I got to get back in here. Right. Say, Victor. Victor. Right, I'm gonna raise some ducks now. For you, right? We need to get. We need to get. We need to get. Out of here. Right, hang on. Hang we on. are officially the longest. Longest stream, stream ever. Congratulations, everybody. You're all part of the longest stream ever. Right, and three years. Three years. Uh, longest stream ever. Crazy. Right. Get a listen. get a get a golf clap in there. This chat. Week, let's get a golf clap yeah, in there. Yeah, give us some claps in the chat if you're still here. I know. I know it's a Friday night. There's probably a ten of her live streams on YouTube right now. I do apologise. It was never my it, it never yeah. my aim to overlap, but it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, well, we right? don't all have Christopher Allen. That's true. Get them <laughs> <laughs> right, this is the current leaderboard for the Duck Racing Championship. Right, this is with good luck. Good luck if anyone cares about Duck Racing and they, they, they they're going to forget it happened on this stream because it happened so late into the stream. You're going to have to fast forward. But uh, Kirk, Kirk Keith is currently in the lead by one point. Behind him is Pete Little Leaf Creations. Uh, James, who joined us oh, earlier, he's like disappeared. He's got 15 like points. Uh, anyway, we're going to grab a figure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving Christopher Adam for a second. Uh, uh, Jay, Jay, we've got Daniel S, uh, Classic Spidey. I think, where did you get some points on the board, uh, Jamie? Where are you? Uh, somewhere. I don't know. Christopher Adam's got six I'm, points. I'm there, six. Christopher Adam's got six points. Uh, Jamie, oh, so Jamie and Christopher both have six points. Uh, does anyone else on the board have any points right now? It is quite new. Compulsive Collector, John, you are currently uh, minus one point. Are you aware yes, of this? I am. Okay, cool. So you're on the board, though. Like, it's better than I wasn't years. on the board at all through last year, That's so what I'm saying. it's kind of better. So your name is there. Progress. Yeah. yeah. Progress. I think minus one is good as well. Cause are we, are we doing a duck race? We are. We're racing ducks. <laughs> Can I say one thing? Yes. <laughs> okay. Just one? This is better. This is better than this. <laughs> this is better than this. Oh, so that's classified right. versus Mezco. Classified Mezco. Yeah, classified. Better than Mesco. Anyway, <laughs> the, that guy can the, send me a photo and maybe I'll change my mind. There you go. I don't know. We will find out. The theme of tonight's stream has just been yucking Victor's yum because we were all taking turns shitting on McFarlane earlier and now Chris Butler <laughs> is just <laughs> like absolutely trashing this fucking Mezco figure. Like, it's, oh my God, I'm so sorry, Victor. We're not usually like this. <laughs> McFarlane. <laughs> Almost I'm like, made I'm like down, down with McFarlane, down with McFarlane. I, oh. I love McFarlane. <laughs> hey, you guys don't like McFarlane? I love McFarlane. Look at this plastic man. Plastic he is like I, 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 I hate He's like fell off. him. Ah. He's plastic. He's plastic and he's to be fair. Man. Yeah. To be fair, I did agree to buy a McFarlane figure off of Christopher earlier. That today, is true. So I, I am you want it. In. I'm yeah. ten dollars in on that. That, 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 that was like five drinks ago, so I'm not. I'm, I'm no not even worry. sure if that's valid anymore. <laughs> yeah. that's no one told me that. That's very no true. Told me that, Kenny. Man, condition. If you don't want it, it's all right. I don't care. No, no, I'm. I'm still in. I'm he's still in. He's in. See, the deal's still happening. Uh, Phoenix in the All chat right, says cool. it's almost 3 a.m. in the UK. That is true. It is now 2:55 a.m. on the longest stream ever for Legend of Liquor. Uh, hey, here on a no. Friday night. What you say? Not no, the no, longest no. ever. It is. It's the no, longest it ever stream. It's the fact. No. It's true. Ask Jamie. Where's Jamie? No, it actually is the longest stream. And in five Jamie, minutes, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
I'm four. just kidding. I'm yeah. just kidding. Uh, I am going to. I take... get two ducks. I get two okay, ducks. Okay, Craig's going to remember he gets two ducks. Okay, let me. Yeah, put two, two ducks fucking out. ducks. All right, all right. One, two. I'm calling the second duck. Don't forget the dots. Don't forget. The I'm going to fucking follow that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if all it right. comes first, Craig, you don't need to. Uh, I don't know what it is. Hey, Jamie, I really feel like a dick. I was just joking. But in four years, it's also going to be the longest stream. So get prepared. <laughs> yeah, another year. Every anniversary. Yeah, every year. Every anniversary. Yeah, every year you every have to anniversary be a just be a so longer. Join us next year for part four. <laughs> Dave, Dave what happened to you? Where did you go? Oh, he's so back. my phone died. <laughs> And I had to charge it, and I ordered food, and I decided to come back and be Christopher Allen's designated driver. David, did you give us your top figures of the year? No, I, I died Quit before then, give that. us, before we race some dogs. Come on. Okay. Quick. It's, uh, well, it's obviously Prowler. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> oh, there it is. Um, now for, for right now, it's from Lady Mandarin. Lady Mandarin, good choice. Beautiful. Yeah. And Janet Van Dyne. It is Janet. But yeah. soon to be unseated by She Hulk because nice. it's. That's it. Good that's year for it. the female legends so far, for sure. Yes, man. Right. right. Okay. Yes. We're going to race some hey. books. David. Hey. Evan. And Smith. Yeah, three of them. The yep. Best. You got. Three drivers ever. Drivers yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ever. No, really, really. Thank you for what you did. I appreciate you. Can we give Christopher an extra duck just for being drunk? <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on. That I mean, comes no. there, so I get <laughs> no, three ducks. No. Then. Give it to David and Evan, and Smith already has a duck, right? So give it to those guys because those guys are great. They are good guys. They are good guys. Yeah. I've, uh, I've, only, I've only been on for about the last hour, and this is this is what I've done. <laughs> plus, plus a shot. Plus a shot. Yeah, Miguel. Haven't you got to go to the gym, Miguel? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, we'll see. We'll gym? see. Two, two, TBA to be determined. Who's Jim? TBD. All right, hang on. I don't know anyone called Jim either, to be fair. Um, right. Amanda's having an affair with someone called Jim. She keeps telling me she's off to see Jim. I'm like, what the fuck are you on about? <laughs> uh, right, okay. Two minute race. Let's do this. Right, full screen. Uh, good luck to everyone. This is for regular points, right? First place gets 10 points, second place, nine. Third place, eight, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Tenth, tenth plate will get one point on the board. Uh, good luck to everybody. If you are a channel member, uh, you are in. Simple as that. If you are a channel member at any single tier, I appreciate you. Thank you so much uh, for that. You get to be a part of this Duck Racing Championship League. And uh, Jamie, just remind the people real quick what they could potentially win if they become a champion. There he is. He will come for you. All right. All right. He will come for you. Do it's not. Great. Do not speak. He's coming for you, all right? Uh, the winners from the wrestling matches this week should get an extra duck. Just saying. That's an interesting statistic there from your boys got toys. Yep. Maybe we will, maybe we will yes, integrate sir. that. Maybe we will integrate that. Of course, Miguel says yes because he's, he knows he's one of Mm -hmm. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a current title holder. He is current he's a title champ. holder. He's a yeah. champ. Yes, sir. He's a champ. Right, we're racing some yeah. ducks. I'm, I'm shuffling three, three times. Three times. Three of course. Years. Yes, three times. As we've been doing for season three. Three years, season three. One shuffle, two shuffle, three shuffle. Two minute oh, race. On your marks, get set. Right. Go. They're off. All right, we're racing some ducks. This is for points. All right, this is a regular Legend of Liquor season three. Duck race. This is for regular points. We've got Gahubri J starting off nice and quick in the middle of the park with his woolly hat on. We're now, do I say Kurt K is behind him though? And Kurt K has just took the lead, it seems, but he's got close on his tail. Classic Spidey 97. Fiendish Frank is up there. Where's Frank gone? We haven't seen Frank in a while. And Cousin Jimmy. What's going on with those two? Uh, action figure well, of the, the multiverse. Doctors, eh? Uh, STM figures, Mark Tac Tac. Uh, we've got Jarhead, uh, St. James in the middle of the park as well. Don't forget the dots. I can see him in the middle of the park. MCU collectors down there as well. Uh, see, I told you me and MCU collector were friends, really. Supporting the channel. Oh, channel uh, Daniel S, Z Man. Is Z Man still awake or is he went to bed? Z Man's in the middle of the park. Uh, the Mrs. is there. Uh, Christopher Allen. Do you see her? Christy Reed is in the middle of the park, just behind Z Man there. Uh, we've got collecting rushes, the red duck up top next to Classic Spidey. Curtis 
Randall's up top as well with the purple duck. I can see David, Evan and Smith in the middle of the park there. I can see Gerard as well, just next to Christopher Allen. Savage sent Kurt, uh, Keith T, Tac Tac. Don't forget the dots is above them. Cute Court just took the lead there, but Daniel S is still the purple duck in the middle. Uh, but then we've got another James, James St. James as well with the, the, is it like a snowman duck, if you will? Craig is up there as well. Where's Twice. Craig? Where's Craig Nostalgic? Craig. He's got like a funky pirate hat on. Funky, look out for the funky pirate hat, people, because that is Craig. Funky pirate Dot, hat. Craig's Dot yeah, Nostalgia Dot him. Collection. You can I see, see him. him. Yeah, he's next to Christy right there. I can't there. believe you've actually ripped Dot. Don't forget not the Dots, Dots people. The Dots. Uh, Eric Stream is now the <laughs> Dot to Dot right up top. 14 seconds I'll, left. Watch out for Kurt K. Tariq's those, there those as well. Tariq's still with us tonight. Tariq's got, got a bit toys tired, though. Your boy's got toys. He's got some sort of disease. Is it a quick disease? We're about to find out. Is that Gary? Is that Gary A going through the top? It looks like it's Gary A. Congratulations, oh, Gary A. Yeah, Gary A, congratulations. Uh, Not another Gary. Another Gary. <laughs> it is another Gary. Congratulations. You have just won yeah. Duck Race. Uh, there is your photo finish, people. Let's have a quick look at the board. So Gary's first place. Arvin is in second place. Owen's in third place. We've got uh, Jang Jangalo Fett in fourth place. For fifth place, we've got Roy Her Hobbies. Then Home Dude. Home then Dude. Curtis Wrangle. Then we've got I Am TJ Williams. Northern Nomad is slowly racking up the points this season. I'm just saying, in tenth place, Northern Nomad gets a point on the board. Uh, in last place was... Encounter Coach. Just uh, no, it was Hero <laughs> Collections. Just Justin Collects finished second to last, though. Kurt will be happy about that. Uh, Where did my two bloody ducks come? Uh, I will copy it. That's I'll sad. tell you in a second. Right, let me copy these results. There you go. I copied them. Uh, there's your first place. Let me go back to that. Let me put the results into the leader on the table here. These uh, ducks were drunk rematch. Um, <laughs> so Craig was... You were at, oh, Craig, do you know what? Don't forget the ducks was so close to some points today. Look Don't forget the ducks. Don't forget the dots. Don't forget 11. the dots was eleventh place. 11th oh. place. <laughs> Bloody northern nomad. Who's Bloody northern nomad? That sucker. <laughs> that sucker. <laughs> northern northern nomad. Christ what a sucker. Christopher Allen was in sixty second. Uh, Kurt K, you were in twenty eighth. We uh, just hit six hours. Six hours. Okay, we need to go, everybody. All right, there's your duck <laughs> racing. There's your duck racing championship for the day. I will add them to the leaderboard for the next Legend of Liquor. The next Legend of Liquor should be in its regular regular scheduled programming on the 28th of April. Oh, no, wait. The 5th. Oh, 5th, shit. No, 5th of May. 5th of May. 5th of May is the next Legend of Liquor, all right? 5th of May is the next Legend of Liquor. When two does weeks, it ever land on Two schedule. weeks' time. Two weeks. No, it will be. We'll get back on schedule, back on the Sunday regular <laughs> schedule programming. 5th of May will be the next Legend of Liquor. If anybody has watched the end of this stream, uh, then wow, wow, what can I say? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Congrats yeah. to you. Just wow. Word of the day is Christopher <laughs> Allen. Well, yeah, I was about to say the same yeah. thing. <laughs> if, if, they, if they know, they know. Christopher's gone. He's not even here anymore. He's gone. No. He left he in the race. Him. He left us. Christopher Allen. He, he just that? disappeared. Didn't even say he goodbye. had to. The room had been spinning for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love Christopher Allen. Oh, all he did was go get a refill. He'll be right back. He's going to wake up five hours with done. a keyboard impression on his face. room. <laughs> 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 no. um, <laughs> It is now no, technically no. five minutes past 3 a.m. Saturday morning for us in the UK. We've been streaming for six hours. The officially the longest ever stream ever on my channel for the three-year anniversary of Legend of Liquor. I warned Amanda today was going to be a long stream, but she did not anticipate this. She's going to be mad with me in the morning. <laughs> um, I will, uh, yeah, hopefully be back at some point. Let me just end this poll before I forget. This six-hour long poll. How many votes has it had? Over, two, <laughs> over 200 votes on the poll uh where is it it's over here isn't it there it is i'm going to end it right now the poll says will 2024 be a better year for marvel legends in 2023 when all is said and done the poll is ending with 78 percent of the community saying yes 
this year will be a better year for Marvel Legends than last year. Um, with 3% saying no, they like last year, but 18% already think it's a better year for Marvel Legends, all right? So, again, this is, this is we're only in April. Legend of Liquor ain't going nowhere. A long way it continued for another three years, and I couldn't do it without the continued support of the community and the people that are genuinely monetarily supporting this channel. That's what it's all about. Every single person that's a guest here is a channel member at the Members Club tier, mm -hmm. uh, showing love. I appreciate them all. Let me go around the board, and we can say goodnight to everyone. Christopher Allen is back, by the way. He is back. I've just accepted him back. Where is he? Here, pop back. There he is. He's back in the room. Where, Christopher, where did you go? I have no idea. He's back. <laughs> That's what matters. That's what matters. I, I went in the upside down. I was like, this is what season six is going to be like? Look, season five. Season five. Season five. Okay. Yeah, you know. No, you don't even know about season oh, six. Okay, shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, this is so far behind. All right, then. All right. Well, Christopher Adams, tell the good people the where future. they can find you online. Um, They can't find me anywhere. I'm going to be on here. <laughs> I'm going to come on this show. Yeah. And hopefully you're already watching this show. Yeah. And it's going to be a good time. It will be. And, yeah, Dan, who reviews... That's it. Uh, Liquor and Legends. Liquor come, and Legends, yep. Come join it. <laughs> Could get involved. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Get involved. Uh, Kurt K, yeah. thank you very much for the super chat. I can see that there. What, is that a picture of behind the scenes image or something right there? I see. I am a disaster trying to use technology tonight. <laughs> you saw a little sticker. You've given me a little sticker or something here. I was... I was trying to make the full fourteen dollar chat. Uh, you give me one ninety nine. That's and not enough for a ninety nine. That's not enough for a shot, my friend. Sorry. Hey, about that. The full. Craig. Craig. That, 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 that might be a shot at Ross. <laughs> How fast do you get from car to alcohol? That's what I want to know. Me. No, Kurt. Kurt. Pretty quickly. Kurt. Yeah. Kurt oh, got Craig. out of his car I mean, with a drink in his hand. Thing. He got no. out. He's good. Uh, he was drinking when he was driving. He <laughs> no, he wasn't. No, shut up. There's Kurt. 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 One, no, one ninety nine. Kurt K. Thank you very much, Kurt K, for the one ninety nine super chat. That I will, the... for that I will just have a little sniff of this alcohol. Uh, please do. That's yeah, there you that, go. That was, that's, it smelled like that's alcohol. Exactly that's exactly what that's worth. Bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Take a the, shot. Yeah, no, the no message. Wait, your last shot. Not a chance. Not a chance. The, um. the message below that. The message below that was supposed to be one of uh, Dickinsonian uh, relate. God bless oh, us There you go, Dan. Oh, <laughs> oh, Dan you've got to do one now. I'm about to go you've bed. Literally got to do one. <laughs> Oh, 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 shit, i just seen it. Caleb, that's like his uh, third you one. Do need another drink. Oh, there you go. Look you at that. You do it, Caleb. I'll do it. Go on, Dan. Donated one donated $14. On dollars. I mean, shots. Miguel's Let's go. Friday says shots. Let's go. Caleb, that's very generous of you. That's like your third, at least your third super chat of the evening. Um, Wow. What are you, what are you, are you still drinking rum, Craig? He says it, yeah, it might be 3 a.m., but it's 5, five o'clock somewhere. He's not wrong, is he? Let's be honest. He's not wrong. <laughs> Amanda's going to kill me. I'm not going to be able to sleep. <laughs> I have a talk on Dan, what, what are you drinking, Dan? Rob. Uh, I'm going to go disarrow I'm, now, I think. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty right. sure Hawaii is okay. creeping up on 5 okay. o'clock, so this is for the uh, for the Hawaiians. Thank you. There you, you. There Thank you go. Caleb. There you go. Miguel's yeah. getting involved, too. I appreciate that, Miguel. Well, if anybody yeah. does UFC, yeah, that's for Max Holloway last weekend. Oh, there you go. We're all shot in it. I appreciate that, lads. Cheers. Oh. Uh, happy Come third on. anniversary to Legend of the We should probably wait to the end so this guy can go to bed. He's been up all night. <laughs> right? Christopher Have you Allen, been up all night? Don't worry about me, Christopher Allen. We're good. <laughs> I am worried about you. <laughs> good. I'm good. I, I, I don't okay. sleep. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You don't sleep? I'm going to text you later tonight. Do it. I will fly. I will fly. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I won't bug you. I won't bug you. Uh, right, let's go around the board. Let's find out where you can follow these people online. Let's start up top with Jared. Jared, over in Ireland, my friend. Where can the people find you online? Um, I have a, a toy photography site called Action Snap Saga. And anybody can find me there. Just I try and do at least one picture a week. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Well, we appreciate you joining us. Oh, you've been here for a long My while pleasure. as well. A long yeah, time. I appreciate you sticking with us. It's been brilliant, and I really love this community. It's great. Good, good. Well, you're always welcome. You know that. Thank you for this as well, by the way. Absolutely. My Thank pleasure. You. Absolutely. Uh, the Quack Quack Commissioner. 
at JMG Toys on Instagram. I'm right here every two weeks. It's been three years, hopefully another three years hopefully more. So. And also, I want to quickly say thank you to John for his kind donation towards Hellfire Hank and this guy. Yeah, and look, that's what, that's what you made happen, John. That's what you made happen. <laughs> Um, I am. I, I couldn't be happier about it now. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the Hellfire Hank box. Uh, Jamie had no idea. I thought it was hilarious, uh, but now he's been cursed with the duck. Uh, <laughs> Craig's dot nostalgic dot collection. Don't forget the dots. Where can we follow you online? You can follow me on Instagram. I think. Um, yeah, <laughs> Craig's dot something dot nostalgia dot collection yeah yeah, yeah that's um um knock, knocking about out with these bunch of yeah i'll say legends that's the there nice you go. word legend and liquor see um that's what the legends but, really sounds uh, for, for us. no it's liquor and legends get liquor, it oh, my, <laughs> bad, my, bad, my bad liquor and legends. My bad. <laughs> liquor first right yeah, yeah. My bad, my bad. but um hopefully i'll be posting some more pictures and i want to get once i get the other guy should go hazard. with this. Yeah. That will be coming tomorrow. That will be a reel. And I'll show off the actual sound effect. I don't believe he's talking, Craig. None of us can hear that shit. <laughs> you can't hear that. Honestly, mate, we can't no. hear it. Well, shut up, and then you probably can. Well, everyone, okay, everyone, everyone, okay, everyone shush. Everyone shush. Everyone shush. Craig. Everyone shush, right, and Craig Crespo. Anything? No, no Craig, you're here with Vince, mate. mate. There's nothing there, I swear to you. We're not even joking. Talk. I believe you, but I can't hear it. That's all I'm saying. Mr. Uh, Blobby has been there in the background <laughs> this whole time, and you've not mentioned him once. Because I don't need to anymore. Mr. I don't Blobby, need to anymore. He's feeling left no, out. No, I can see him. Really I see him. I appreciate him. He doesn't he's need to made be... it here for your three year anniversary. He doesn't need to be mentioned. He can't be bothered to acknowledge him. He, he doesn't need to be acknowledged. He that knows... deserved it. That deserved a third duck that did. No, he's been there. No. <laughs> he's been there longer than we have. He's Tariq, been there five hours. You know, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. You're you're another UK guy staying on very late with us today. Um, tell the people where they can find you nope. online. Yeah, you can find me on YouTube at Tariq P A Double R I. Got a lot of uh, yeah, Spider Man yeah. gameplay edits. Check those out. Too and then on Instagram, yeah, Tariq Music. Um, we're all saying goodbye. Very good. Very good. Right now. Sorry, Kurt's on the phone to someone at the minute, and we just interrupted. With... <laughs> sorry, yeah, I thought I was muted. Didn't even sorry. mute himself there. So just sorry, sorry about that, Tariq. Sorry, Tariq. Oh, sorry. The rudeness. Say that again, Tariq. Say that again, Tariq. Kurt, Kurt was oh, over. Good. I'll do it for just for Kurt. There you go. So, yeah, Tariq on YouTube. Um, Spider-Man gameplay edits with popular music, and then I've got Tariq music on Instagram. Yeah, listen to Tariq's music, people. Good shit. It made me jealous. I want to get back into music. I'm thinking about making a music. We do a do a collab. We, I'm thinking about making an an intro for Legends and Liquor the same way I've got one for the main show, but one for Legends and Liquor. I tried to find a beat earlier for it actually. Let me just give you a little preview. Actually, to be fair, you trust, guys won't trust hear me, it. Tarek. He's not that good. Uh, trust me. You he won't hear it. Um, uh, where is it? Not going? the legendary Dan who Dan W. This is a. Uh... We should all be in the uh, was, the official music video right now. That was right when now. he was younger. That was there when you go. He was like, right, okay, younger. okay, okay, right, okay. Everyone for the, the official music video. Everyone just like wave your hands like that. Right? <laughs> and I swear to God, I will, if I do an intro for Legend of Liquor, you will all be in it. Okay, are you ready? Are we doing left and right or up and down? Yeah. Okay. So start, start, start to the left. Start to the left. Everyone to the left. Everyone. Yeah. Right. Right, and on three we go. Okay, one, two, three, and we swap arms. One, two, three, go. One, two, three. There you go. Let's get this going. There you go. There you go. <laughs> There's no room. <laughs> we need the beat. Okay, that's going to be in the intro of my new Legend of the Liquor. I think it's perfect. It's chaos. Oh, bro. That's going to. That's the beat. The that, 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 But it's a little exclusive. I'm going to rap on that. I'm going to get Terry to do me a hook or something. All right. So there you go. Intro squad says the Phoenix. Absolutely. Uh, 
John, Compulsive Collector, uh, where can we find you online, my friend? Uh, if you're not only already following me, don't worry about it right now. I'm too busy to be on social media. Instead, uh, stream Mr. and Mrs. Smith on Prime Video. Uh, it's not like the Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt movie. Uh, it's from the same creative team as Atlanta. It's super weird, super character driven, and it's a better use of 10 hours than watching Lord of the Rings. There you go. <laughs> I, I have actually downloaded it. Oh, That's oh. a Childish Gambino, isn't it? With yeah, the, yeah, uh, it's, yeah. It's it's real good. I did download it. And, and by the way, people in the chat are going, that really beat goes hard. Kevin goes, yes. Uh, Caleb's is nice. Daniel S has got the fire emojis. You didn't even hear that beat, but I'll probably Craig's rocking I've out. Got a sick intro. I'm excited. I'll send it you, Tariq. I'll send it you. Uh, right, let's go across to uh, Kurt. This book is largely concerned with hobbits. <laughs> and from its pages, the reader may have <laughs> their character the and a little of their history. <laughs> Further information will be found from the next Legends and Liquor. Cheers, man. Which will be the start of year three. There you Congrats, go. Congrats, man. Thank you very much. And um, honestly, my Google account wouldn't allow me to send more than a buck ninety nine. So I, I got to I got to look into that. Um, but it was uh, it definitely was Charles Dickens. God bless us, everyone. With a uh, a cheers. And Merry Christmas Congrats. as well. Um, yes, that's what that's from, right? Uh, <laughs> and to all the <laughs> there you go. Miguel, where can we find you online? Uh, the Wolf Pack Toy Review. Um, you know what though? This isn't about me. This is about you, Dan. Thanks for thanks for being our friend for you know three plus years. Um, ma make sure you guys drop a like for my soon to be departed Dan. Who when uh, when once he's <laughs> no, off yeah. the stream, Amanda's uh, <laughs> she's probably wide awake in bed now, just going, "When will he get off the stream?" <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey Dan, Dan, I, I was doing the math in my head. Uh, 2019, roughly, I think, is around yeah. the time we started. We started talking to each other, and yeah, never ever did I think I'd be friends with someone from somebody across the world. And yeah, look, look what we've accomplished. Cheers, cheers to you. you. Cheers to you. You too, my friend. You too. Again, I can't wait to come to the US and do like a tour. Me and Amanda are planning for 2026. I hope, and uh, so maybe we can make that happen for sure. But uh, yeah. absolutely. Uh, Hit me. Hit me. Egg in suitcase. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, I think you did as well. Tell them, I know you've said it already, but because you came back, you can tell the people once again where they can find you online. Oh, hey, hey there! I didn't see you. No, uh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> right, right down there. Encountered underscore culture. It's the same YouTube, uh, Instagram. That's where it is. But again, Dan, I, I appreciate this. This is this has been awesome. Of course, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Victor, you joined us late, but I'm glad that you did because the Christopher Allen snake eyes is going to go down in history, <laughs> uh, and it wouldn't have happened if it weren't for you. So uh, thank you very much for joining us. I'll, I'll, I'll be I'll be sending that DM after this. Please do. Please do. I will follow up on the next Legend of Liquor how it all went. Make sure them pictures are badass, all right? <laughs> but tell tell the good people where they can find you online. Um, just on Instagram. Uh, flamingo sauce underscore on IG and then just here on the comments. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna post that into definitely the chat. not flaming. No, I, I, that's just me. That's I'm no, me think. That's, that, like that's me. literally just Dan. That's just me. <laughs> my, my, my brain, my brain will just assume what the word is without reading it. Honestly, it's a dyslexic thing. I promise you, it's my bad. I apologize, but it's flaming sauce. <laughs> flamingo sauce. Dad. I said it wrong then. Flamingo sauce. <laughs> flamingo sauce. <laughs> I'll put it in the chat, all right? I don't forget. But thank you very much, Victor. Uh, and last, Absolutely, uh, thank you. Last but definitely not least, David, Evan, and Smith. It's actually flaming David <laughs> underscore. <laughs> don't forget the dots. Flaming dot um, underscore. Don't forget the underscore. Yeah, don't forget the dots. Fuck your um, underscores. And clearly, I'm doing something wrong with my life because it's Friday night. I'm in a room with 11 men, and I'm fully clothed. And <laughs> <laughs> so what We're, the hell? No 12 inches to be No, no retro or classic. Where's the, where's the dick? Where is the dick? So... Thank you guys again. Congrats, uh, Dan. Three years is amazing. Here's to 30 more if Amanda doesn't murder you tonight. <laughs> I'm worried. I'm genuinely worried. Genuinely Did he say last I, I, I don't get a turn. Make it all. 
I've already come to the Christopher. I, I started with you. <laughs> no. I started with you. Oh, look, you're going to get yes? a second go. Yeah, I did. Look, oh, don't worry. I'll get back to you. Okay. I can continue, Dave. My bad. He, he started, he passed, after you started with him, he passed out. He woke up. <laughs> We're doing this again. We're doing this again. Okay. Thank you. No, um. You are such a help, though. Thank you. <laughs> oh, really? Of course. And, uh, you, you can know, find me sitting I mean. next to Christopher <laughs> Allen on the bar stool. Of course, of course. Right, Christopher <laughs> Allen, okay? Definitely last and definitely not no. least. We started with me, apparently. <laughs> we did, but we want to hear it again. Where can we find you online? I just want to say... Final I words, love... yeah. Give us the final words. I love you. David <laughs> Evan Smith. Love all three of them. Yep, They're going to kick your ass equally. at wrestling. Yeah, and that's Don't forget the underscores. <laughs> There's underscores? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Three, two of them. Two of them. And flaming. Make things really complicated. <laughs> where are those underscores? Is it after David? <laughs> yeah. It's not where you think. Oh, oh, you think. Oh, oh, David, David, David underscore Evan underscore Smith. There you go. And he's a great guy. He is. He's the greatest guy I've ever met on the internet. There you go. Oh, For real. Oh, For real. Oh, I'm not taking that's that away. Oh. I like David yeah. Smith. I'm not taking that away yeah. from him. Absolutely. Let me just thank you. Let me just thank the chat because we've still got people watching us now. So thank you very much. I think you've all Those 38 people. Yeah, no. So, it. Honestly, it's a Friday night. You random six hour legend of liquor. Honestly, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Shout out to anyone in the replay crew. Again, shout out happy. Say happy birthday. Happy anniversary. Whatever you want to do in the chat. I appreciate you. Shout out Phoenix, Kevin, Daniel S. Caleb, of course, with a very generous. Can I say one more thing? Shot. Yes. <laughs> no, but anyway, this is the third anniversary yeah. of Dan Who. And this is amazing. Like, if you are wondering if you should, like, jump in on this, you probably should. Because it's fun. It's a fun time. More. I have anxiety. I don't like to talk to people. But I like to talk to these people. Yeah. These people are very fun. And we like talking to well, you, too. Well... Okay. So much. Yeah. I don't think so. But no, it's a really yes. good <laughs> okay. okay. But it's a really good time. Most people suck. Like you might live in Utah where people are Mormons and they're weird. But these so aren't those people. These are normal people. And you all you gotta do is like jump in on the membership. Oh He's my god. Talk to there you go. Become a channel member right. and you can talk to normal people. I was gonna say we're too yeah. normal when we spend all our money on collectibles, but still we are normal in regards to ourselves. But thank you to everyone in the chat. It's again. All relative. Uh, Pretty normal. Of course. Again, Caleb says congrats, oh thank you very much. Dan Hayden's still awake as well. Shout out Dan Hayden. He says happy anniversary. Uh, again, anyone who watched from the start to six hours in, anyone who made it through the whole thing, honestly, just just slow clap. Bravo, bravo, yeah. bravo, honestly. Hope you had a and good thank you for letting me make fun of Mormons. Of course. Of course. <laughs> I, would, I, would not. Uh, I, I wasn't in the show until we made fun of Mormons. So now we have. What, we what, what would the channel be if we couldn't do that? Exactly. That was Mormons. the one thing we were waiting for. Yeah. 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 Right. I, still okay. don't have, I still don't have an end screen, so I'm just going to play the intro to see us out. But everyone give them a wave, all right? Congrats, and, uh, Dan. We will see you on the next one. Well done, Dan. Officially the less, la longest ever. I've only been here for one year. Yeah. And yeah. You've had more yeah, assignment in that one year than like the last three. Minute, lads. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, 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 pr I'm pretty positive I was on the last one that was the longest. I, it, it, it might be me. I'm a, I, I've got yeah, I, I was on the longest yeah. one yeah. as well last there you go. So I appreciate you all. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you in Good the chat. Night. Goodbye. Write in the, something in the comments. Be nice. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Beautiful lad.